<sighs> okay. Give me one more second here. This brisk Saturday morning at 1.42 p.m. The sun is rising. Or, more specifically, it's kind of on its way to setting. Consistently getting around 6,000 KBS, which is... Nope! Uh, the second I sent that, it went down to 3,000. I have no idea why this is a consistent issue. The best thing... Okay, here's what I'm thinking. Do you think maybe all of my firewall settings got reset when I reinstalled my OS when the PC got fried? Because I'm thinking maybe OBS or something is getting blocked by a firewall or whatever. It's so weird that that's still an issue with things. Like, you still have situations where you're like, oh, the firewall blocked it. Like, why do they all fucking suck? Thank you for the fire about the fireplace. I don't think I've ever actually lived somewhere that had a fireplace. Oh, Britt lived in a fireplace. Well, oh, actually, wow. Oh, hey, Sean, thank you for the raid. <laughs> my, my house didn't have a fireplace, but my daddy built one. Your dad built a fireplace? Uh -huh. Hang on a second, we'll turn this down for a second. Welcome, welcome, Sean viewers. I tell you what, let's uh, let's start getting things ready. Your daddy had a fireplace. Uh huh. So basically, our house used to have like a little garage bit, and so when I was really little, my dad renovated that bit into just a whole nother room. And then I think later came the fireplace, or maybe just like soon after. But basically. I just grew up with my dad just Yeah. Your dad had a lot of cool projects. Like you had a, the, the whole little um the little playhouse thing. Yeah, he, he made us a a two-story clubhouse. Yeah, there was like a so yeah, I went down. <laughs> I hadn't been, I hadn't gone into Britt's dad's backyard. Um we'd visited a few times, but usually it would just be like we would we would pull up and then hang out in the living room for a minute and then go out to eat somewhere. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, no, in the backyard, there's like this two-story like clubhouse thing. I mean, keep it like, to be clear, Brit did not grow up wealthy. <laughs> <laughs> Brit is not, not the bourgeoisie. But yeah, it was like a, actually pretty cool, well, it had a balcony on it and stuff. Well, I guess that was the thing, is that because my dad wasn't rich, he just had to learn to build a bunch of shit, because then... I made the desktop background. Oh god, I had like a lot of stuff when I was little. Um, did you know I had a go-kart as well? <laughs> and my dad built. <laughs> a go-kart? Uh-huh. Or just out of, like, parts that, yeah. He, he just, he just basically, like, um, welded it all together and, like, he got an axle for, like, you know, um, the front, right? So you could turn it and stuff. But then he, uh, attached it to, like, um, a lawnmower motor. So, <laughs> so it would only go, like... 15 at most, so it wasn't like yeah. crazy or anything. But I like, feel like your fun. dad would have probably had an easier time as a parent if he wasn't raised with like strict notions of like gender. <laughs> because I feel like what what we're basically describing is almost like the equivalent of like the dad who wishes he had a son so that they could do roller derby and whatever. Right? They could yeah. build they could they could fix up cars together and shit. Yeah. And it's and like do handy handyman stuff together. Mm. But obviously there was nothing stopping him doing that with you. It's just like, again, this like notion of um, gender probably made him be like, ah, eh, no, nah, she wouldn't be interested in that. Right? Like maybe you would have got I into mean... like stripping down go-karts and <laughs> I think fixing up go-karts. I think it was just partially because I was accident prone. Like he did try and like, um, get me to do things every now and again, or um, at least get me to help around. Like, I I know it was necessary, but I really freaking hated having like pick up scrap wood and like well, shit like get that. In. 
He didn't so, like the manual labor part of it. No. But no. I think the thing is, is you have to get past that part to get to the. You have to get past the labor aspect of it to get to the creative yeah, element, the, I, the creative side. I was also like ten and incredibly Please impatient. Yeah, yeah, more yeah, so that's than thing. I. But I just mean like, I feel like the creativity aspect would probably appeal to you, but you need to be like. You need to reach a certain level to do that. It's like um, yeah. when I was getting into jujitsu for a little bit. Like at first, it was kind of just a pain. I actually, I didn't mind the manual labor aspect of it because I enjoyed working out. I just liked the idea of wearing myself out with exercise. But um, once we, I like had picked up on a few like, you know, stances and moves and stuff. It was cool getting a little bit creative with it and like being able to, I don't know, move forward there. Mm. Oh. Uh, Where'd you get the ride? Straight out of some driveway in Rancho? Yes, exactly. Wow. Well. Is that a problem? For me? <laughs> no, not at all. Yeah, your car... Dude, no why does your car fucking day. suck? <laughs> Dude, you. why does your car fucking blow? <laughs> How far is the camp? Just past the city line. This... We'll jump on the What's with your please? shitty fucking car, dude? How the hell did you land in this mess? I like the that was the funny thing the also going to jujitsu is um you know I don't it would be I can't think how often like my cousin himself would uh, drive and who when it would be his friend but it was like a real like beginner because obviously he was like you know uh, I think they were like, 17 18 so they were like freshly driving and they had these like tin can cars and it's like literally strip half the parts of our car that's what that car was oh my God. <laughs> but what am I supposed to tell you? That I'm not about to let my partner rob me and get away with it? Squeaky's that little. my fixer made me look like a goddamn fool? Are we having any frame drops in Cyberpunk right now, chat? What about you? Why do you need that clown from the AV? This particular clown's got intel I need. And I'm running out of time to get it. So why didn't she tell me she knew about Nash? Rogue? Oh no! I'm sorry to, to hear that. Oh, hey, she is driving. What, what happened? Oh, um, they um, were just talking about problems with the game. Oh, any new play for us start crashes at the exact same spot every time now. Ah, oh, I'm sorry about that. I had a similar issue with um, I think XCOM Chimera Squad. The that game was mostly not too buggy for me, but then once I got to the very <laughs> oh sorry. <laughs> Once I got to the very end, it got really glitchy with the ending, and then whenever I tried to start a new playthrough, it was just really glitchy. Um, I think they fixed it with patches. There is a recent Cyberpunk patch. I don't know if you've done that yet. Uh, yeah. We're going out into the sticks, bro. Oh, yeah, I guess like my only other suggestion would be like the first thing I would think of guess is you'll have to trying ask to repair the files. Oh, Maybe something sure. got like I'll especially ask why she told me to work with that. So yeah, if it's like on Steam, was mm -hmm. I think you can go in the game properties Wait, Nash is from there or something like yes. that. Yes, he runs with the Rates, the largest raffing group in the area. You know about. But the most rate. likely, if you googled mm -hmm. it, that no might have been a that suggestion already. So you might have already done yes. that. Yes, so. Am I supposed to already no know this lady? Panam. So think yeah. murderers, rapists, um, freaks. Well, they I think he just teams. met her. Mm. Sometimes form actual gangs. So, um, Most of them are This feels like she just showed up. I don't get her yeah. connection yeah. to well, other people. I think the situation is... Bitch what, wait, what is your goal like now that. again? Because I think it's essentially you, bet, you met up and you have like a similar goal in mind. Want to track down Hellman? Who? <laughs> <laughs> um, oh. Is Hellman the guy that killed uh, Dexter? Guess so. I don't fucking know. Start yeah. the afterlife. Sure. No, wait. Takamura oh, yeah, killed. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, who? Hang on. Sure, the place has changed over the years. One thing. Wow. Well. Sure, you got a question. Uh, you can't shake. Some ringing endorsements of 2077 in chat right now. She took a job from Rogue and fucked up. Oh right, yeah, because I'm going after Rogue. Okay, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, that was Takamura. Takamura killed Dexter, which oh, another thing, another reason to think of him as. Our, our greatest husbando. Um, Storm was arguing with Rogue. No, Storm was arguing with Rogue. Not Pan Am. But Pan Am's associated. Hellman's the guy that designed the chip. Oh yeah, because we're trying we're going we've got two leads, remember? Mm -hmm. There's this there's the, the Silver Hands lead and there's the Evelyn Parker lead. We've already found Evelyn Parker, so now we're just kind of letting her chill. And while we wait for Evelyn to chill out, we're 
finding out more about the guy that designed Johnny Silverhand's chip. Chat, yeah. have I accurately ascertained the plot of this game right now? Okay. So right now we're doing a favor for I not have known that Pan Am, so that Pan Am can help us with Rogue. Mm -hmm. A fixer of her standing knows. And Rogue probably knows we're talking about her right now. Nash gotcha. and I had a role to play in her game. Because I do remember her storming but off. Yeah, she was talking, there was it. a lady talking to Rogue. And then bitch. Rogue stormed, and that's then the she truth. stormed off. Excuse me, could you not use a misogynistic slur? I'm a feminist, so I don't appreciate it. Ooh. Hey, do you where think... do you think we are? Honestly, I'm getting kind of like... Oh, there's a lot of cactuses. Arizona? Probably Arizona. This does look kind of Arizona-y. Maybe yeah. New Mexico. I say Arizona slash New Mexico. There was that bit in New Mexico, like Albuquerque area, where oh, wait, there was no, no, just no, no, no. that one mountain you could see. Are you in the? Are we in a on a coastal area? Yeah, there's a coast here. Um. So. I but mean, then it might be just like that a might be a lake. mash of just like several different environments. Oh, you're actually in California. Oh, okay. Uh, we don't oh, really know the terrain of California that well because we, yeah, I haven't actually been to California, so I don't really know the terrain. Is it? Is there really a lot of like cactus stuff in California? I guess so. I thought California probably was like a little like, bit deserty, but not like, like towards down the the south bit. Yeah, so, south. Yeah, 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 yeah. I imagine. Probably the northern bit SoCal. is more mountainy. Yeah, I definitely want to go to California, but like mm -hmm. it's literally the furthest place from us of anywhere that we could drive to. I'm pretty sure. Okay. Right. We're almost yeah. there. Yeah. Because we'll we are in the northeast, right we're in like the, the northest part, and we're among the northmost states, and pretty far to the east. God. Those aren't really <laughs> cactuses. What are those? They're like little trees. Oh yeah, they're like little trees. Yeah. Are there no cactuses around? Hmm. Guess not. I thought I saw I mean, some. Maybe there are. I don't know. Oh. Whoop. Well. Would you look what the cat dragged in? Is that a ghost or I don't want to get out. <laughs> Fuck you, I don't want to get out. <laughs> Can I get in the back? And who's this? My babysitter. V, this is Scorpion. Mitch. This is giving me flashbacks to like, I don't know, my mum meeting up with her dealer. <laughs> 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 Oh, Jack, we're just gonna go. No, 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 no. Man. <laughs> the big city got too small for her. Uh, Do you have any idea how angry the old man's gonna be when he sees you here? I love you, mom. <laughs> Your mom's amazing. I'm just great. come by for a spell. Saul needn't know a thing. Ah! Need your help. With what? What's this about? Night City is between Los Angeles and San Francisco. So, oh, it's, so it's more like in the... That's like, um... Is that more central then? I thought San Francisco was like a little more north and... No, it's LA kind of... LA is more south. Yeah, it's more south. F and screwed Pan Am. It's just like... The plan is to show them that was a bad idea. I don't know. How bad did they get you? It's like you? right around San bad Francisco. Bad enough to make me sit like quietly through all your bullshit. In California you know, we would then, do anything yeah. for you, sister. Um, but now, or LA but now it's hard. Seriously, rest you won't just, help. Um, well, the old okay. man told us to. Mm. Sit I think tight Sacramento's and get those generators back up after the batteries went kaput. Generators? <laughs> you won't help because of some goddamn generators? Is this another joke? Really could use your help. Not this time. We're needed here. Fuck! I don't believe. This. I like that they let me jump again. So you'll stay put because Saul told you to. You couldn't care less about All me. Alright, calm down. Yeah, We're fucking this gangsters, dude. It's None of this. So you want to help us you know because that. we because we need help we with can't this. Leave <laughs> camp. No chance, wow, Jack. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I'm just Alex. What kind okay? of voice was that? <laughs> <laughs> My voice when I'm mad about something. <laughs> You know that's that, you know that's what I sound like when I'm mad. But so. Saul never said a thing Does about <laughs> Okay. Okay. Well, I'll Give need that go. rifle of yours. And some of my own stuff. Take whatever you yeah. want. And take care of yourself out there. Yeah. Thanks, guys. I'll grab the gear. Sacramento's north of San Francisco. Both are kinda of north of Central, but not at the very top. Okay. Let's go. Looks Thanks, like you're stuck with me. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I like that they only sometimes make it so I, I can't know. jump. Maybe a little, yes. 
Oh, that's good. I I definitely do hope it does end up fixing your problem. Oh, file integrity no, verification. Yeah. That's cool. We'll talk next time. Yeah, that's always a good a good a good thing to try. Hey, Panda. Based on Moro Bay and I'm not afraid of anyone, Mososos. you know. Salam alaikum. Fire and might. <coughs> nice cities right at the dividing line between No Cal huh. and SoCal. Have that means North Cal room? North California and yeah. South yeah. California. Concerned, friend. When I think of NC, I just think North Carolina, so... Yeah. It's kind of like when I see LA, I just go Louisiana. Wait, sometimes. really? Sometimes. Will you help huh. me with this? No, when I see LA, I always think... I always think, um... Los I guess Angeles. for me, when I was growing up, Ooh. I'm more likely... What's inside? Think of LA okay. as in, like, Louisiana. Yeah, yeah, I mean, you grew up in Mississippi. Right. That's so it was, the, it, was, it was the next day, yeah. Figure out your differences with Saul. Will you come back? You okay. Oh, nice hair. Do you think I could pull this off, Brett? I mean, I think you pulled off most of your hairstyles so far. See? So. Whoa! Look at that. <laughs> Sunglasses on the back. Yeah, so I, I've never been able to pull this off though. Sunny's I'm not this kind of guy. I could not pull off the sunglasses on the back thing that I do sometimes see people do. Especially in this weather. Just wear them, honestly. Do you have a reason to live? Because we do. Fucking lefties. <laughs> honestly, try and have a fucking conversation with a lefty. And that's what fucking happens. They just go... What do you believe in? Do you think we're at the end of history? Because we're not. I want the same rights you have. Uh, I don't want to be discriminated against. Yeah. <laughs> I think injustice is wrong. Oh, okay. Next time, Ellie. I promise. <laughs> wow, I like those windmills. Those are some... I've never seen a windmill that looks like that. I don't think windmills are supposed to look like that. Is that a good or a bad design for a windmill, chat? So Only answer if you are a... Windmill expert. If you're a windmill expert, please. Oh no, turbine. Sorry, it's a wind turbine. Actually, uh, it's not windmill. Windmills. Mill. Yeah. Is that a good design for a wind turbine? Only if you're a turbinologist. I'm off. Should yeah, yeah. Go on. Go already. <laughs> Wait, no, it is a windmill. What? Paul is Wait, is that? A, I thought that's a wind turbine. Put it in the trunk. I'm pretty sure that's a turbine. Because that was the thing. I got everyone was making fun of me in uh my objectivity in art video because I said is it a windmill or is it a Aww, is it a windmill or is it a flower I and might have I... called it a windmill and then you wrote it down I'm sorry that might have been my fault <laughs> I just said windmill I wasn't trying to correct you oh okay <laughs> so that yeah the, the wheel seems completely superfluous I'm not really sure what it's I guess it's supposed to be like the, if the wind is going through here it's a future wind turbine it's like i guess it's supposed to aid in like the but i feel like the added weight would um counteract any benefit from like the increase in a uh, wind whatever it's called yeah you know I, like I guess they're like trying the to get the wind to push it along like, right but the, that the the um propeller weighs a lot less so the wind can blow it yeah but that wheel seems like it would weigh it down Mm. Make it make it harder to spin, but it looks nice, so that's cool. I guess that was their solution for all the people that were like, I don't think turbines look nice. They just—it's yeah. weird because there are also regular wind turbines around. Well, that would be not normal, right? Seems you got a because real like problem. we have Sorry. old technology. Like sometimes you stumble upon a steam train, right? Mm -hmm. Rogue Saul. Like you, there you might be leader. steam trains, and then the their leader. Seems in a hurry. Modern, Delta the hell out of train. There. Let's just say Saul wouldn't have been happy to see me. Uh, I like wind turbines. When I look at a wind turbine, I think renewable energy. So it makes me happy. It's so like, um... Over a new leaf. But you saw it. We got a handful of tents on a heap of sand. It's like when you, when you put a bit of mint or something like that. Or like mint or like some lime in something. And it just gives it like a freshness. 
you know? And it's not like, does, it doesn't mean it's more fresh, but it gives it a fresh, there's a, it's a feeling of freshness there. You know, if I take some Coke and put some lime in it, it's like, oh, that's fresh, you know? Wind turbine, same thing. I see one and I'm like, oh, I feel fresh now. Oh, yeah, this environment feels fresh. I wanted something different. I mean, better. I'm assuming that Saul's Ellie's out coward. here is a lot better. He'll be the end of the class, the I'm certain. City is just like a smog hole. Mitch and Scorpion seem good souls. The best friends a girl could ask for. I'd stay in the camp too if I were in their shoes. Fuck Saul and his generators, of course. Yet the clan comes first. But I'm not part of it anymore. Still treated you like you're one of them. They care about you. What are the other types of turbines mm -hmm. we're talking about here? Vertical wind turbines look close? fine. What? Do you have anyone you would call close? Oh. <laughs> this is, yeah, this is the perfect time for a oh, terrible no, flirtation no. slow. Right now, no. Could just be a matter of time. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Those two in the army. <laughs> I just yeah. feel disgusting. <laughs> this is Alex. Panzer boys. Something got raped. I, I like. I love the look of this Scorpion environment. Yeah, this is really Mid cool. I'm glad they went with this. They both got some kick-ass combat implants. This looks really cool. Really Keeping in mind that I am biased towards these kind of like mountainous desert environments, I, I do like these kinds of these vibes. What? Okay, I'll do that next stream. So Rocky Ridge, Britt was suggesting a meme dusty the hole in the <laughs> for future streams. Out here. Natives either moved to Night City or just got the hell out. Then you know almost all American there is deserts to know. underrated. I, I love the look of this. It's like it's probably one of my statue. favorite biomes. I was supposed to breathe new life into the town. Yeah, I play Minecraft a lot of it. it didn't happen, of but in the real world. How many ghost towns you think I like, like, the big Hundreds? snowy mountainous biomes, Thousands. and I like these kind of big desert plain the biomes. All you have to do is pull over after sundown. It's quiet then. And you hear it. It's What's kind that? of sad because it, it's like, um... Sorry, I'll let this conversation go after this, but it's like... I feel like you're always a little bit, um... You're made a little bit cynical about the uh, environments you grew up in. Like, I don't know, like, I... Growing up in Southeast England... It's like, I, I've, there are actually a lot of beautiful, you know, towns, like these very picturesque villages, and then there's a lot of really nice forests and stuff, and it's like, I love that stuff. There's nice lakes, but it's just like, that stuff doesn't impress me at all, because that is what I grew up around, right? Mm. Whereas, like, going out into a desert, or like in these extreme mountainous um, climates, it's like you really just like go, whoa, holy shit, this is not... I've never seen anything like this. I don't know. The wind whistling through boarded up windows. Tough yeah, unless you unless you grew up in Colorado, in which you can still probably appreciate it. Not with a bang, but with whispers and whimpers. Life gives nice beaches and stuff. Maybe I just need to go back. I tell you what, that's it. I'll go back to Southeast England now after having not really spent much time in them. They're over there for like two years. And I'll probably be able to appreciate things okay. about it that I wasn't we able to before arrived. because that was just what the world was to me. What do we do? We get ready to greet the Raffins, and we've little time for that. We'll need to improvise. It literally just seems like a we different art director with no communication with the others. Like... It is very sparse for how like packed in the city is. Like I feel like mm -hmm. it doesn't make that unless there's some backstory to this. It doesn't make that much sense that you would have like this major city and then just like nothing. I feel like it would be kind of like. You know, there'd be a lot of slums here. I feel like this would be extremely, like, slummy. Yeah. But, um, I get that they wanted to have some variety in the environments, right? Where it's like, they just wanted to have an area that was big and open to contrast the very packed-in vibe of the city, right? But it just doesn't really feel like it makes that much sense. That's just what it's like in the West, though. Well, it just to feel like it wouldn't be that way, like, in this sort of cyberpunk dystopian future that there would just be like you would drive t like five minutes out of the city and then there would just be nothing i don't know but i but but keep bearing in mind while i'm saying this on like a uh i guess a like a narrative level mm. presentationally i love this environment i'm glad it exists and it does really shake things well, up in a way that i like it's implying that in the future it's just like outside of the cities are very unsafe basically yeah, yeah. 
Yeah, it's just like it's just abandoned outside of the it city. Seems like if you live outside of the city, you're like. Actually, you know what? I, I you know what? Thinking it through a little bit more, I actually don't disagree with this this uh, interpretation because yeah, actually, I I think the cities are becoming more built up and more congested, and a lot of towns, a lot of the smaller towns, are being abandoned, right? Mm. Not like they're just being flooded because everyone wants to be in the city. No one wants to be like thirty minutes out of the city. Yeah. So I guess I'm just being biased by the fact that you know I live in the UK, which is very different, right? It is in the UK. It's it's in London. You know, thirty minutes out of London, there's still a lot of big towns, right? And then um, even in even in like Cleveland, you you have to go quite a bit out before you get to really nowhere, you know. Sorry, I'm distracting from the game. Yeah, I guess, like, true... Mm. I think it's essentially less the location and more of, um... Well, location has something to do with it, but, like, it's more of just, um, road layout. Mm -hmm. Like, for example, if you want a good example for here, um, there's, like, a hoity-toity, like, rich town, whatever, called Parma around here. Mm -hmm. But... Um, you can't access it through the interstate, and they deliberately made that there so that their community is more insular. Yeah. Right? Well, here's what I would... Okay, so here's what I would have probably said, right? Here, what I probably would have had was... Because here's the thing, uh, in terms of, like, the design here. I'm actually not sure... Oh, we can go out here. Okay, sorry. So we'll keep in mind that I might be wrong in some ways, because, like, I still need to go here, and... Uh... Yeah, there's like, oh, oh, yeah, wait, wait. There you go. Is this going to be farm? Okay, so if this is farm, that's cool. So here's what I would be thinking, right? I would say, okay, there's a lot of badlands that we haven't really explored. So I'm going to be mindful of that. But what I would say is, in general, this feels like just a, a big city here. And this is probably a little bit more slummy here, right? But I think what I was kind of imagining would be like, you would come out of the main city and then there would probably be like very dense slums. Like yeah. real like ghettoized environments, well, yeah, like no support. I would imagine there would just be a flock of people moving in and there's just not enough housing. Or yeah, just, exactly. So know, I'd imagine like really dense, around like the border into the city, I would imagine just dense slums. And then I would imagine this big open badlands... Uh, where you would have, like, um, this big open badlands where you would have, like, farms and stuff, but then it would be just completely, like, lawless at that point, right? I feel like this is very underdeveloped. Um, I feel like you would have to, this area would be, like, all slums, and then this area would be, like, well, I guess really all, all just I the open really nothingness. Say it's just, take the bit where it's, like, you're leaving the city, and then there's the, the whole badlands on the right, push it further to the right and then just have like a little bit just for like slums yeah. even if it's just like an aesthetic thing yeah because the thing is know? is here are like i'm not sure what this is i i might be wrong and i don't want to be because this will look stupid but like this uh, the vibe i'm getting from this is like industrialized farming might be around here mm -hmm. this or maybe like this is like a port not sure exactly but in any case you would have this the industrialized farming and then you would have like the you know the crop like the the smaller farms but they would be completely uncovered by like the law the law doesn't give a fuck about them right i don't know scan uh, okay what's over here Okay. Hmm. Much to consider. What is the other devices here? Down, Rocky. Bridge could be any debtor. Everything's down. Nothing works here. Okay. Well, have you found anything? No dice. Nothing's up. All cut off. 
Oh, I'm making yeah, that's the biotechnica agricultural plant. Yeah, yeah, I would imagine just seeing the divide, right? Surprise, that would be really interesting, is to be able to see the divide between the industrialized farming, so like everything relating to corporations, right? Like all the this is where all the corpos get their um, synthetic agricultural products from, right? And you would see that that's he that would be like heavily policed. This would this would be extreme. It would probably have its own dedicated police force. But then you would go out here and you would see like the you know the the local farmers and there's just nothing there's no protection for them no one gives a fuck about them All right that that would be an interesting contrast i think get some power flowing let's check the substation okay but I, again i get that the game's already like fairly sprawling and they have lim there's a limit in terms of scope you know those circles are a solar power plant kind of area yeah i was kind of assuming that yeah that's cool i look forward to going there I think that in general, I just, because you, I feel like, because of the limit in scope that a lot of these kinds of games have had, it's like you rarely get to see these kinds of, like, exterior, you know, Badlands-style environments outside of, like, a post-apocalyptic RPG sort of thing. Like, these sort of in-between spaces where it's, like, it's sort of a uh, small town, abandoned slums in the midst of, like, deserts and stuff. I don't know. Um, I it's like I even though Night City itself is very impressive, I feel like I've seen a lot of Night Cities in my life. Uh, we're seeing this outside of the context of like highly stylized things like Borderlands. Um, is a rare treat. Okay. Yeah, I really wish there was more. The breakers, I think no that that is honestly something I would love Come to down. see more games use. Like, if I were to make a game, I think what I really want to capture is scope more so than anything else. So, like, I'm fine with the game not being like graphically amazing or anything. I'm fine with it not being super um, complex, like gameplay, so having a lot of variety or complexity to the gameplay. But I would love just something that really. Gave you a sense of just scope to an area that you're in, like this this huge place. Because that's that was really what I felt driving through a lot of the US. Was just like, holy shit! There's just like hours and hours of these like all these different environments that you just drive through, and that's just really interesting. There's something inherently eye-opening about that. The kind of right. so the intersection is I don't know, from take that it transformer all in. substation, In my opinion, right? anyway. The switch gear on the roof. We'll flip the switch there, and everything will light up like Christmas. Understood? Fine idea. Let's get us some power. I'll look around for access points. Great. They're likely to show up in numbers. We can't know. Have you played them. the Shadowrun trilogy? We need to outfox them. Okay. Get to my car I started Relax. playing Shadowrun Returns and then I to play a little game with I think I got assist. distracted and then I yes. when I went back to it I'd forgotten the, lights, the plot, so I stopped playing it. Um Brett. Okay. Brit just disappeared for a minute. Um I started playing Shadowrun Returns and then I I now. No lost good. lost yep. the plot first we start up the control terminal below so i was thinking of going back to that before i move on to any of the other Come on. ones we'll give it a boost from the car battery that should do the trick wait for me by the substation there's like one oh, area and i see there's a slum and it's really tiny yeah that's what i mean it's just like the it feels like the proportions are off here that's that's the biggest vibe i'm getting it's like you know uh does it does it does it actually describe what each area is like or uh, is there a way that i can get it to just tell me that or no i don't think so like, you know, if this is like, I think city center, I'm imagining, yeah, Corpo Plaza, so this is like business center. I haven't really been to that much of the game, so I can't really say for sure. But it just, I, the vibe I, I always get from these kinds of places is surely like the cities would be a much larger contingent of this area. This is interesting. I wonder what this is all about. Hmm. I'm really sure. This like is like some random part of the town that's not built up at all. I'm really curious what that's all about. Yeah. Well, what was it? Oh no, you just disappeared for like 20 minutes. No. Oh, like 10 minutes. <sighs> Alright. I that she was impressed by the sick ass trick. Oh, shit. How do I... How do I... 
get through one night without you. Oh, shit. If I had to do, 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 what kind of life would that be? Oh, and I. Oh. Whoa. Hmm. Keep that in mind. You're the one I love. My soul. I don't really the know the lyrics to that song, shape. but I do like it a lot. I'll make a bypass circuit to the power supply. That should do it. We'll just have to get it up and running. Grab the jumper cables from. Oh! We'll Brett, I need to grab the jumper battery. cables. I need to grab a set of jumper cables. Do you guys remember that Reddit guy? <laughs> Maybe I shouldn't go into it. Can I take this rocket launcher? Um. Yeah, I'd really like this giant fucking gun you got, dude. Oh. Red wow. cable connected. Give me a moment. I need to hook everything up here. This quest light chain is so blatantly underdeveloped. Now yeah, the, the vibe I'm getting right now is that they kind of, um, they might have underdeveloped a lot of the Night City outskirts part of the game. There she goes. Oh. Thought the old jalopy served us well. Okay, I've got voltage. Start the terminal inside, and once the power is on in the building, get on that roof. You got it. I'll set up on the tower. We'll have the whole intersection on the car. The car just fucked now? You flip the breakers when I give you the signal to do so, understood? Yes, ma'am. Your, ca your character touches the hot parts of the jumper cable. Nice. We had to get jump started outside Brit's college once, because uh, I left the car on for like 20 minutes. Our car doesn't, did not like that. I was watching, what was that? I was watching something for a video, I forget. Oh, it was Frost Nixon. That was when I was watching, was it? I think so. Yeah, I think I was watching Frost Nixon for the Frost Nixon video. Hmm. Switch gears got power. Prop. Was it that recent? We'll have some fun at the intersection. Sure. Let's get into position. Okay. Now we wait. So we're helping Pan Am. As soon as we see them, with this gang. Power. Got it. And then Cover Pan Am's going to help us with Rogue. Of course. I've got it. I've got it all figured out. They're rolling in. And my thorn. You see her? Really, really hard to miss. Let's take them by surprise. Let's try to do this quietly. If anything happens, I'll start picking them up. Sound good? Sounds great. Did I just hang out here all night? Tag them. You wait for me here. Get good and ready. The show starts now. Let there be light. Oh. I don't think I was supposed to do that. I'm gonna do things a different way. <laughs> I think the idea was the lights turn on now, I'm supposed to pick them off. But instead I threw a grenade about 20 feet away from them. So. Oh God. I'm sorry, Jet. Please forgive me. Really, really hard to miss. Let's take them by surprise. I hated doing this mission with stealth. This section's kind of poorly defined. Yeah, I, I guess I get it. I get it. I get what they're going for. Uh, 
Is there one more? There we go. Do I have anything that's, that I can silence yet? No, don't think so. 21 to 26, 15 to 18. Yeah, nothing like hits hard. I want something that hits hard and I can put a fucking silencer on. But I guess that they're, they're kind of aware that that's like the moment your character becomes extremely overpowered. Is once you like, once you can silence a sniper rifle, you're kind of like. Let there be light. You get into that point where it's very easy to get overpowered. Colorful bunch. Okay. Tag, tag, tag. 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 Tag, tag, and tag. So, okay. Could cut off everything. Let's do this. And chat, you know what? We're going to do this fully stealthed. We're going to do this with all stealth, okay? And at no point are we going to get spotted. And then I'm going to prove to you all that, you know, I am a gamer. I'm not, I'm telling you. And I do like to game. There you go, one down. All according to plan. You're gonna go... Can I put you in this dumpster? No. It is literally a dumpster. I guess not. Oh, what's that gun? What gun did you drop? A bullshit gun for bad humans. Game stuttering at times. Uh, duh, duh, duh. Yeah, we're getting drop frames. Wait, Brett, are you on the laptop? Okay, I'm getting drop frames for some reason. Let's go. Up here? So far, I'm not seeing the issue people had. Sniper. No sniping. Fifty one? Oh, wait, hang on a second. Yeah, that's bullshit. That gun sucks. Oh, hey, hackable thing. I wonder if I could hack this from here without getting spotted. We're gonna go five five one C one C five five one C one C. There's a person. Another bad gun. Yeah, lots of bad guns around. Many bad guns. I need to take out this person up here. So where is a window for me to climb into? Oh wait, is there someone standing guard at this door? So, spoiler. Sure. Oh, there's a person. Uh, what if I could distract you in a better direction? Yeah, let's distract you with this. Fuck. Fuck, 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 fuck. 
How? There's no way that you can see me. This is bullshit. Uh, how about this? I feel like that person like actually had some kind of uh, some kind of ability because the fact that they were spotting me and I was like directly behind them just seems kind of weird. Yeah, I'm not killing them for the record. Oh, sure. <laughs> no noise. <laughs> just gonna silently open that. Good stuff. Sure. Sure. More money for me, thank you. Ooh! Punk bandana headband. What's this? Oh! Oh, looking good. Oh, looking good, looking good. Now I'm like a real freedom fighter. You know, actually, I'm not. I'm not too. I'm enjoying this. As far as stealth missions go, I think this is a pretty, pretty good one. I didn't really have to activate true gamer mode. Uh, Howdy, Arm Rico. How's it going? Oh, hey, gone. That. Like that. Good work. What now? A few shifts still. How is she talking to me? Better off not leaving anyone to tell the story. It's as if you've read my mind. I mean, things are going well so far. So, fucking, let's go. I have to take out the brutes by the car. One for you, one for me. Zero FPS. Oh, it's zero DPS, sorry. Um, hmm. Interesting. So I don't know why I equipped that automatically, because I did not equip it there. It, would not, it did not go in one of my equip slots. So... <laughs> The, the DPS on the machine guns doesn't show up right for some reason. Fascinating. Uh, what time is it, sorry? Uh, so that's just objectively better than what I have then. Okay. That's cool. Oh, because it has an attachment on it? No, no, it just is. Uh, the time is 2.30pm. So I guess I'll just get rid of the sniper rifle that I was using. Yes. Have I got any other crafting things I could do here? A, sp a special cane? An iconic cane? <sighs> Look at that. That's like fi 500 DPS. Not bad. Okay. But... I just need something that I can put a... Um, Put a silencer on, really. Oh well. Backpacker. Grenades. Whatever. Uh, oh, where's the last one? Yeah, it has a better scope, too. Wait for me in the car. Fuck. Covering you. We have to pick all of them off now. Um. Uh, 
Okay. Let's go. What is that melee weapon? It's a cane. Switch seats, leave the driver to the pros. Switch seats, couldn't wait, huh? What are you waiting for? I wanna drive. <laughs> well, but I wanna drive. What are you waiting for? <laughs> there. Couldn't wait another minute, could you? Let's just go home. Can we get Taco Bell on the way back? At last. And I tell you what, this time, could you please remind me not to order a crunch wrap? Because, like, I like the quesarito, I like the uh, cheese and bean burrito. Eh? But the, the crunch wrap is just never. Yeah, I Sentimental know. attachment, I get, but a car is a car. You don't know squat. I shouldn't even have asked. No, yeah, but See, like crunch wraps, honestly, I feel like I used to sleepy. like them, but I don't think I ever did, really. Listen, V, it's not over yet. It's not? You got the cargo, you got your car. I did not get Nash, who was not in Rocky Ridge. The fucker didn't show. Pan Am. Listen, I have a plan. And I don't care. Whoa! Rush, that's what we were after. We got him. Six street away just toward, listen and I... to me for fuck's sake this is really awkward could you I just drop I honestly I'll just get an uber we'll take the old unfinished freeway nearby they will not be expecting us I'm sure of it all right so where's this hideout let's go <laughs> fuck it let's go honestly I disagree with your decision but like yeah if we get what to Nash did Fuck some dudes up. Wait, hang on. Was that secret error? Oh. I placed my trust in him. He was the first person I worked with after leaving the Alder Fathers. After I came to Night City. The, the voice lines feel stilted because for literally everyone in this game, aside from maybe two or three characters, there was no voice direction given. I'm 100% sure of this. Like, so many times in this game there's been a line and it's just like, you're clearly not reading that right. Uh, it's just... I think it's just that there was a, a lack of voice direction, probably because of the amount of voice lines in the game and how quickly they had to run through everything. I granted him my trust. Vengeance is rarely worth the risk. Oh, shut up, Alex. Reason against gut need. An interesting take. I'd like to see for myself. Fucking nerd. I think that's why Keanu's lines feel so hollow all the time. I think Keanu's definitely one of the better ones, but that's just because I think, you know, Keanu is obviously a very experienced actor at this point. He's probably had a lot of director training. Eh, he's probably had a lot of direct... Like, he, he kind of can pick up on things in a way that a lot of newer performers probably would need a little bit of direction for. Like, I would. I wouldn't just be able to immediately, like, have a strong character in everything that I say and say Let's everything get. the right way every time. Sometimes I'll like misread parts of my own script, you know, and I'm just glad that I have the foresight to notice that. I think Keanu might just not be a good, good voice actor. I mean, it is a whole different skill set. Yeah, it's a very different skill set. He's mine. Okay. What? We couldn't just like okay, never mind. What, asshole? Did you really think right, I'm gonna die? So just straight into immediately like full combat, I guess. How's that dirt thing? Oh fuck. Huh. So I think that those poison grenades actually do a, a good amount of damage. That thing just blew through me. Oh I'll tell you what, there's a there's a perk I can get that gives me like a I believe 
natural uh, resistances. I think I just tend to avoid putting uh, any points into... Oh, okay, so I'm in the driving seat right now. So that's cool. Uh, hmm. Yeah, I tend to avoid putting resistance in anything because uh, of Dark Souls. Game on! Oh yeah, big charge. Oh, yeah. I like that. A little bit hard to control. Okay. I'm not really sure what to do there then. Because it doesn't seem like they give me any cover to work with. So I guess I've just got to take them out quickly before they can throw a grenade. They do an enormous amount of damage, but this is pretty much the only place in the game they exist, I think. Cool. <laughs> okay. I love this. I love doing this scene every time, too. I think this is really cool. I'm glad I learned that little trick about the sniper rifle there. Basically, if you if you click, uh, if you aim and then hold down the, the shoot button, on. Come on. Come on, hold down left mouse, uh, it will store off a bunch of damage. So I can do that. Don't know why it does such such varying amounts of damage, though. Okay, yeah, no, that's pointless now that I think about it, because the, the damage varies considerably. That's how it's done. Shut your fucking mouth. Oh, yeah. Let's go. He's mine. Oh. Oh yeah. Hell yeah. I swear that I'm hearing. I dis I simply disagree. I was actually stuck in the environment. <laughs> I know what it sounds like, chat, but I actually tried to move multiple times and I'm pretty sure that I was stuck to that piece of cover. It can also go through some light cover. I'll keep that in mind. Yeah, the thing that the the issue that I was having was that because of the the randomness of the amount of damage that you do on shots, it felt kind of pointless to charge up shots because even though the overall damage is more, I would rather be shooting more often because it's like if it's gonna crit on a low hit, so it crits on a low hit, so it does like two hundred damage. I mean, a regular shot doing good damage would do like five hundred. So Come on, it's like okay, oh shit. Yeah, critical headshot there. Did like 50 hundred. Oh, okay, I got sniped. I, I have to say that in general, chat, I, I disagree with the way that you play games. Because last mission, like the, earlier in the mission, with this sne that sneaking segment, everyone was like, oh yeah, this segment's not so great, it's kind of boring, it's kind of bad with stealth. I had fun with that. Now I'm doing this shootout, everyone was like, oh yeah, this is a pretty cool game, aside from the, like, pretty cool mission, aside from, like, any bugs. And it's not. It sucks. It's a it's a hallway. It's like a hallway shooter. It's just it's not. It's become like Call of Duty. The game has essentially made me start playing Call of Duty, and I don't know why it just sometimes doesn't do any damage when I clearly hit. But it's cool, I think. That shoot his armor. Get it back! Let's 
Get oh, yep, stuck to the environment. There you go. Um. Yeah, it was a okay, so he's shooting me for cover there. That's cool. Oh, wait, hang on. The game is now. Alright, what's, th what's this? Hey, you better step it up before they do. Oh, shut the fuck up. I hate this person. Know that those grenades here. I'm certain of it. Yeah. The 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 weapon variety means I can never trust any. Like the 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 amount of RNG on every gun makes it so I can't trust any shots that I hit because I can hit someone in the body and do 150 damage, or I can do 600 damage. It's like what? It, actually, you know what? It is reminding me of Borderlands because I had the exact same issue with Borderlands where it's like if I crit, I can kill a guy in like two hits, but if I sometimes you just randomly do no damage. It's like really odd. Like, it's trying to be... It's it's when these games try to blend, like, a Call of Duty style of gameplay, which this clearly is, but then blend that with, like, an RPG format, right? Where it's like, so now I'm not really being rewarded for, like, good play, because it's mostly based on if I roll good on the damage, right? So it's like, I'm trying to play well, and the game is not... Because the game is also doing an RPG thing. I feel like these genres don't actually blend together as well as... Like, yeah, 700 damage. I just did 700 damage. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I just hit that guy in a fully charged shot and it did 100 damage. Uh, anything I can do? No? Okay. Oh yeah, you can just hit him through cover. Oh no, not through that cover. Come on, limp dicks. I deeply dislike this mission. Fuck! Okay, so point black shotgun actually does no damage. Gotcha. I'm glad that we had that cleared up. Forty four damage. <laughs>
I just feel like a lot of the time they try to like mesh together. Oh, precision rifle. Is that like a hunting rifle type thing? I feel like they try to mesh together FPS and RPG gameplay like way too often in these kinds of games in a way that feels kind of um, haphazard and doesn't really doesn't really benefit either genre. Like, I feel like I'm not being rewarded for playing well because the amount of damage I do is mostly based on dice rolls and not on, you know, how well I'm hitting. And, uh, you know, that that's obviously mostly... Like, the reason I didn't like that encounter was mostly just because I was forced into it, right? Like, it wasn't like I got to stealth my way through a few of them and then combat started. It was just like, nope, this is a shootout. Welcome to Call of Duty. Okay. What else we got here? Yee, best gun. Okay. Oh, wait a second. 21 to 25 damage. Uh, is it that good, though? If it's precision, I guess it's going to hit fairly often. So, sure. I'll give it a try. Oh, I can put silence a silencer on this, though, actually. I'm pretty sure. Can I? Can I put a muzzle on this? No, scopes only. Uh, da -da -da. I think that makes it just hit harder. An ammo counter attached to the left side. Let's throw, like, a decent one on here. Uh, designed to keep a low profile. Uh, standard. Yee. Yeah. How about that? Sure. And that would make it non-lethal, which is bad. A bad idea. A bad idea. Um, I don't trust this gun anymore because it was doing like no damage. I'll leave it for now, though. Oh, wait, got a perk point. So we're going to put that into... I think I can do just for guns and stuff. I just want to make my guns a little bit better, I think. Handguns. Assault. Increases damage of rifles and submachine guns. Does that include sniper rifles? Crit chance by 10% when firing from behind cover. Uh... Sure. Yes. Okay, that's good. I mean, I'm, I kind of don't want to take that anyway because 3% is like nothing. 3% is an extraordinarily small amount of damage, but this, how is this? Oh, yes, I can charge it up. Okay. It fires six bullets every shot and can be charged. Okay. Well... I'm, I'm up for that, because that gives me more, more roll opportunities, I guess. Because then it's like, I'm rolling... Would that mean that I'm rolling six times? It's more like a shotgun with the range of a rifle. Oh, that sounds pretty good. Alright, let's go. Alright, moroseness aside. Uh, let's move on. Hello, Rogue. Pan Am. What did you say again? Solve your own problems? Clean up your shit? Nash is dead. Currently One not big on, pa Happy. on Pan Am. And the Sixth Street merch. Not a good, not Nash a person that I like. Anymore. But if you ask nicely, I might be able to help you. Help me? I take my cut up front, honey. But I guess I'm touched. Was actually wondering if you wouldn't forget about Biz while you were out chasing down a vendetta. Fuck. Well, that's what I liked about that as a system, is like... So, so I don't think New Vegas controlled terribly as a shooter. Obviously, it wasn't great. But, like, I think that is a pretty good solution to the issue of FPSs um, trying to blend an FPS and an RPG, because it's like, it's at least putting that on the surface, right? It's sort of saying, yes, as an FPS, if you just try to play this like an FPS, where you're just trying to hit the like hit as many headshots as you can or whatever, then, you know, that's not gonna you're not gonna have a great time because it's very dependent on dice rolls right like putting stat putting points into stats and the stats will then give you a more beneficial rng whatever right 
that's why I like Vats was because it just kind of put all the percentages front and center, and it was just like, don't worry about like hitting, like trying to be the best at shooting. Just like do the Vats thing, like because that isn't the focus of the game, right? Well, the game knew what its focus also, was. Um, so, feel any better? Like, Maybe a little. Let's get out of here. As far as like when I tried to play Fallout, it did definitely the bat system helped me in terms of playing like a first person. Game. Yeah. I mean, the, the, so for the people saying like they played game for New Vegas for the gameplay, people who played New Vegas for the people played New Vegas for the story, not for the gameplay. Like the atmosphere is an extremely important part of New Vegas for me, and the atmosphere is very much built around the gameplay. So I don't know that I would necessarily say that. Like if we were, if this was, if we were like clicking through text docs, if this was like, if 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 New Vegas was just like a visual novel, I wouldn't enjoy it nearly as much. There's definitely an atmospheric element there. Five five e nine five five. Uh, five five. Five five e nine five five. Five five e nine five five. What else we got? Didn't finish yesterday, so I'm writing here. Sure, you'll read it once you take care of those farms out in Salinas. Good luck, by the way. Anyway, never heard of anyone taking anyone back, but they're Raffin. But sure, maybe we should be the first. They're all fucking hypocrites anyway. I mean, that your whole life, they feed you this non-stop scop shit about family first, clan unity. Then as soon as you hit a rough patch, they turn you into fucking pariah. Uh-oh. This cancel culture discourse? No, thank you. Okay, enough of that from Twitter. Let's go. Ooh. Old Edge Runner. What is this? Ooh, better than what I have. Okay. I feel like I'm, I, I'm not liking how stylish we are now. It doesn't feel right to have a, generally a, a genuinely stylish Alex. Oh, that seems really good, actually. Deals low damage that applies poison to the target, spreads the two targets within a... Yeah, I'm going to switch to that. Yeah. Although I do need to switch cyberware at some point. I feel like we're pretty limited still. I do have money now. Yeah, 39 grand. So... I mean, considering the amount of damage I was taking from poison there, I'm going to say that that's probably a good, a good investment. Uh, is that it? What's this? Sure. Thank you. Is that everything? What's this? G grenade, 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 grenade. Anything else over here? Eh. Some shoes. A knife. Uh, different shoes. Wait, uh, let me just scrap whichever one of these shoes is not is the worst. Uh, this is the better shoes. Eh. Pretty good shoes. Okay. Let's roll. One bitter cold bitch that broke. Think she might have lost the plot. Mean to say she used to be sweet and alluring? <laughs> Never that. But she's no stranger to the other end of the stick. Think she might need a nice strong shock. I really would rather drive. I'm just saying. Oh. Hey, boss. Got your cargo. No, no fast ones. Come on, let's meet. Sunset Motel. I know you're not kidding. I'm certain to be there. Okay, I arranged our meeting. Let's do the deal and start working on Hellman. Agreed? Did you know that you could subscribe for free for Twitch Prime if you have an Amazon Prime subscription? Just saying. <laughs> uh, Sunset Motel. Sunset Motel. What's that? That sounds pretty cool. A safe spot. It's not far from. Brett. Brett keeps disappearing. Should be fun. Um. 
So... You, can I put on the, uh... I always hate it when the Uber driver doesn't have the radio going. You know? I feel like you need that little bit of comforting atmosphere, background comforting atmosphere. I get that might annoy some people, but I don't. I like it. Uh... They're here. Okay. Let me do the talking. Sensing trouble? No. Kaboom. At least I don't think so. Oh god. Not again. <laughs> Dude. Hey boss. <laughs> Fucking hey stop. This is How's Nash? Didn't seem to be answering his phone. <laughs> this is a little bit one. extra. There's no need. They're just gripping the door you while blatantly balls, holding girl. a gun behind the door. What's this? <laughs> a bonus of some sort? Just here to keep you in line. Ooh, Don't fucking mess with us. Than Nash, do you? Wait and see. <laughs> I like this one. What? What? There. First class merch. Mm hmm. What? How's the drop frames right now? So, everything's in order? Check your account. Should be pretty plush in a couple of minutes. It's been a pleasure. But I believe Rogue's the one who is to pay me. You're all right. Think you earned a tip. Let's roll. That went well. Come on. Let's get a drink. Thank you, Shaving a Haircut. Bruh! Where'd you keep disappearing to? Well, I was on the toilet. You have been gone for 20 minutes, son. Um, no I haven't. You left when I started that combat encounter. Okay. Well, sorry. It's on Twitter. <laughs> Nash is dead. Oh, okay. Okay. Raffin's wiped. Six streets pleased. Pretty good day for Pan Am Palmer. The day's not over yet. You still have a chance to piss me off. Uh. <coughs> <coughs> sure, just walk right through. <coughs> 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 Sorry, I just started coughing. Hello, Noah. Hey. New biz or new friends back there? Take a wild guess. Is everything good with you? Did those bozos come around again? Raffins? Nah, it's been quiet. They'll be back, sure enough. But this place has seemed worse. What can I get you? Brosif. Two of them. So that package for Street, what was it? You didn't peek? Valoperidol. Drugs for the cyber psychos in our midst. They trade in them? Look at that. Yes. This whole area is just like normal. It doesn't look that rivers. weird. I mean, they do have Cheers. the neon signs, but Here's I guess that's just to the aesthetic of the to what's to come. era or whatever. Well, I just mean like nobody's like sitting backwards or eating pizza that's floating in the air. No one's eating an infinite burger. Another one over here. Just smoking an infinite cigarette instead. Mm. Maybe it's a jewel. What do you think of that That's outfit? Not... Cheers. Cool. Let me know if you need anything else. What have they got in there? This is me at the bar. <laughs> oh, 
Honestly, you should just take bigger sips, I think. He's taking a lot of little sips here. Well, he learned from the best. Good, 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 good. That's how Mr. Raffin. Mr. Davis Arini done with him? Oh no. The shiver cockroaches. One's never rid of them. But it should be quiet for a time. They'll need to gather their wits and dust themselves off. The Alda Caldos. Think he'll ever go back? I mean, not right now, but someday? I don't rightly know. On the one hand, I don't have anyone outside the clan. Shit, I don't really know any other life. But on the other? Without my clan, who am I? Oh, not drunk anymore. Who would I become if I stayed in Night City? Okay. Let me just... I'll tell you what, my tolerance on alcohol is fairly high, and this is honestly a, a, a fairly close representation of how I often feel when I'm, like, having a night where I'm drinking. Yeah. I would drink a few, and then I'll stop for a while, and I'll be like, shit, wait, I'm sober again. And then I have to drink again. It sucks. It, I think it's a big part of why I don't like alcohol. It's because it's just, I get sober again so quickly when I, like, forget to keep drinking. I need to, like, do more. I think I just, I need to jump in real quick. It's not like dank, where you just... I wouldn't know, I've never done any illegal drugs. But, yeah, I imagine. Okay. This is a Christian. Could always try it out. Stream. See who this is a good Christian stream. We wouldn't be Except tempted by such. City vices. doesn't always play fair. Don't know if it's worth sacrificing your friends along the way. You mean Mitch, Scorpion? Come on. Sooner or later, Pan Am, this city will suck you in. You won't need to cut whatever ties you got left to the other Caldos. The city will do that for you. <coughs> I guess I should think about it. <coughs> All right. Time we look to my needs. What's the plan for? Ooh. Come up with a plan. A first draft. But I need to sleep on it. Work it out. Then we can talk about the details. I think it best to rent rooms here. Just to stay in the area. A good Christian We'll tree. get to work around midnight. It'll help keep us out of sight. Agreed? Maybe we rent just one. <laughs> Good idea. Noah has two twin beds in every room. We'll save some money. I mean, unironically, I think it'd be good to save money on rooms. Oh no, R romance in this game is just through shit for people and then you can fuck them. I guess it'd be like a <coughs> GTA thing. Honestly. Not quite what I, I had in mind. As far as like GTA just, what goes, what did you have in mind? I think they have a missed just, opportunity, uh, and not like making like glad to have made. kind of like a mini <laughs> so dating thought, sim aspect. I'm glad we it. meant to. Just like that could have been a damn thing. tough day. Yeah, but thanks you know. to you, it all went well. Maybe calls for a why can't there be a, ro a little why not a non-binary robot option? <clears throat> How about that? A, a, you could have like a robot person who identifies as non-binary. Well, sir. I would say, while that would be nice, that would to have that would that would uh, that would add would to a problematic would, trope. It would add to a problematic yeah. trope because it's like well, like genderlessness have, like, is like somebody, is about being non-human like, in some way. Yeah, so yeah. you have like non-binary, so it'd be like a robot. Or, yeah, like, sometimes think, they do like persons with autism or like autistic people. They'll yeah. do like an alien or something, and that's the allegory. Or yeah, like it's whatever. allegorical for that. I, so I get it. I, yeah, like, I, I get it. Yeah, I get what you mean. So where it's like, like, I was literally, I didn't mean it in that way. I was conflating the fact <laughs> that I think it'd be cool to have a robot romance, and it'd be cool to have a non-binary romance, and I just threw them together in my head. But yeah, it wouldn't need to specifically be a non-binary robot. But I'm just saying, like, more than just, like, you know, I'm saying, male like, human, the fact that there straight, would be, like, male human a gay. non-binary robot, for example, wouldn't be the most problematic thing you could do it would just also depend on how it's handled but it would just kind of be like a um i guess i go into caution mode instead of like danger alert i'll just go into caution mode because then it's just like okay wait i need to understand the context of this thing mm -hmm. and then like from there i decide 
I think you could do a non-binary robot and not be offensive. Well, I don't think it would be offensive anyway. I don't think it, like, inherently anyway. Because I think that, like, um, you could make a good character who was a robot and then, oh, it turns out they're, like, non-binary too. And that's kind of, you know, that's kind yeah. of cool. But it's, and it's like, I think it's just, it's not so much that it's offensive. It's just that it, it potentially contributes to a problematic trope where, like, it has to be some kind of represented as some kind of otherness to be, you know... Uh, of of a different sexuality or well, that's why, uh, like, neurodivergent um, in any way. Yeah, that's why like in a lot of media where it's like depicting autistic people, it always be like they have this actual secret hidden talent. Like they're just secretly like really smart, but it's like all they're all trapped in their head and they can't they can't speak and you know they really want to engage with people, but it's just their autism is yeah you know like. That kind of shit, where it's just like, the reality is, is most people are just average people that don't really have, like, a quote-unquote supernatural ability or whatever, and that same thing applies to people with disabilities, and so I just think we shouldn't rely on um, people that have disabilities to have just, like, some kind of exceptional yeah. other ability that was another thing to make up for that it. was something they that did but just be treated like you and me that's something that do does uh. on a meta te meta level bug me about the queen's gambit because the queen's gambit is actually a really good show and i really liked it and i know it's based on i believe a novel that is fiction but like based on real life ex real life uh, events or whatever um that's one thing that did bug me where it's like so she's 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 framed as being neurodivergent and having been abused and i especially don't like the abuse part where it's like she has this incredible gift and it's like would she have had that gift if she hadn't been like it's like neat these constant creation of narratives of characters being abused and then gaining some superpower out of that and I, yeah. and I just I, I take issue with that because it's like you're almost rewarding that right you're rewarding the the, the abuser in that way by being like well, well yeah you abuse them and now they have a superpower so part of it is just kind of almost like a fantasy aspect where it's just like maybe thinking um well it's kind of terrible and I don't want to get like too much into it but just like maybe thinking um through sheer willpower, I guess, I will get through this bit, right? Yeah. And I think that's a really... That's a really toxic mindset to have because that's kind of the mindset that would lead to you perpetuating staying in an abusive relationship. Mm -hmm. Thinking that you can just endure this thing and then it'll be better. Or that person will change. Well, no, will uh, see, happen. the thing is, it's like, yeah, I can, I think that there are definitely, you can definitely say to yourself that an, a, an ex a negative experience that happened to you did make you a stronger person in some ways. Yeah. I think that that's definitely can be the case. I don't think it's like problematic to acknowledge that at all, but I think it's just this overwhelming narrative because it, it makes people that have been for abuse and only come out of it with pain feel like they're doing something wrong because it's like why didn't i get a gift out of that yeah you know in that kind of situation it's like why am i just like traumatized and not you know even though that's the average experience it's like n for some reason it's weird because it's like you didn't become really good at chess or something right yeah you didn't write a great novel you didn't do whatever you know um professor x is the quintessential example of this in my head with regards to the disability on some level we're meant to understand his telepathy as compensating for his inability to walk yeah it's like he 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 traded one in for the other right yeah it's like a uh yeah and to a lesser extent his baldness also <laughs> I believe his baldness is also subtextually communicating uh, him giving one thing up for another. Mm. Uh, they do bring up his baldness a lot in that me in media, but I guess that's just because it's like they're trying to met they're trying to uh, make they're trying to uh, acknowledge the fact that you know Professor X is supposed to be bald, but in in Hollywood it's like obviously stigmatized to be bald for the most part. So they have to be like, ha ha, he's going to be bald. Unless it's like 
Patrick Stewart, someone who's always been bald. And also there's like narratives almost always written by non-abuse victims. Yeah. In isolation, there wouldn't be much wrong with a character gaining a special skill because of their experiences of abuse. It happens. But the problem is abusers use that to justify themselves. Yeah, ex exactly. Like, that's the... Like, imagine that Michael Jackson sort of narrative, right? Where, like, he abused... Um, mm. Michael Jackson's father was hor horrifically abusive. But, well, Michael Jackson's a good, good singer. So, you know... Like, something to think about. It's like, no, it isn't. That's an atrocious thing to do to a child. But the the way the narrative frames it leaves that question there, right? Like, and then people, people who know nothing about these situations and only watch pieces of media then stumble into these conversations and go, oh, well, you know, it does make you stronger in some ways. And it's like... What the fuck? You just well, got tricked. You got just got taught by media to treat abuse as like, eh, it's a trade off. What well, good things, bad like things the happen. Same thing with like bullying and stuff. Like you hear so many people will recount their stories of like them being bullied, and it's just like, well, I'm glad I went through it because it made me a better person. And then they'll carry on that idea of thinking, well, actually, yeah. And then bullying they become a bully. Good. Yeah, they become a bully <laughs> because then they're like, bullying's good because I was bullied and it only made me stronger because they can't admit that they got fucking abused. Yeah, and yeah. that maybe, no matter what they were doing, they shouldn't deserve that. Yeah, it's tough. Bration. Anyway, let's do the Fair. sex scene. We can celebrate. Good night today. I'm beat. No one will need a rose. Twin beds. Just for tonight. I'll go catch a few winks. God. Stupid, stupid, stupid. Okay. Hello. What's your rush? Look, uh, I, I got a meeting. You ever do that? Ping me on Discord if you need to mod or, or to do something. Thank you, Professor Gator, and thank you for modding. Thank you to the mods. You ever, you ever see somebody just put down their glass like there, and you're like. What the fuck? <laughs> Just fucking put it near the middle of the table. Don't have to worry about it then. And then they go, oh, it fell over. I can't believe. Oh. You knew that was going to fucking happen. And then they had to go, oh, I'm so sorry about that. Um, We'll just comp and we'll just comp it. What? You uh, lost your way? Have you ever known somebody who would like intentionally like do that kind of shit like in a restaurant? Where Brit, check out how heavy this flag is. Wow. It's like wood. What? Oh, is this the new flag? That is... I don't know what the fucking flag that one is. That's 14. Ah, life's good, eh? 14 stars. Hmm. Well... I guess in the post-apocalypse, all of the flyover states got fucked. I, New flag it, after Biden's America. Yeah, that's it, when the secession happens and Biden's left with 17 <laughs> states. Is it, um... What would be the 17 states that Biden would keep? All the ones that are libcucks. California, New York, New Jersey, uh, Massachusetts, Maine, Vermont, uh, Pennsylvania. I got seven. Uh... My oh my, look at Florida? him, so handsome. Not Florida, definitely not Florida. Oh, but uh, you need to have somewhere to vacation. Uh, Colorado. Nevada. Nevada. Oh, Nevada, watch Nevada it. You'll swallow a fly. Probably Nevada. Oh. That's nine. Rhode Island, yeah, Rhode Island, definitely. Connecticut. Mm. Uh, Virginia? I don't know about Virginia. Oh. How does Virginia tend to go? What um, does Virginia? Do you think Virginia would stick around? I'm up to 11. 
it, uh -huh. Virginia's kind of like the same situation where. Oh. Um, Maryland? Did I say Maryland? Uh -huh. Uh -uh. It's very conservative in certain parts. Mm. Wait. Kentucky, my actually. Oh my. Look at him. I, you know, so I always handsome. feel like Kentucky's, you know, on the verge of being a little bit libby, but then it never is. It's weird. Uh -uh. Just the vibe I get. But then Ohio, sort of the same way. Oh, oh Michigan. It. You'll swallow a fly. Was oh, yeah, Washington, Oregon. I'm up to 14 now. Uh, 14, we need one more chat. Mm -hmm. Just one more. One more state to be in Bynes, America. Uh -huh. Uh -uh. No, wait. 17, isn't it? 17? I think so. Okay, so we need mm. three more. Georgia. Well, mm. uh, oh, I guess it would be Georgia now. No, it wouldn't be Georgia more oh. so than like... I don't know. I don't know, because cause the... Like Montana... <laughs> I don't know. Uh, my oh my! Look I honestly know. I, I I really need to get more familiar with the po the. I need to get a lot more familiar with the politics uh -huh. of like the north part, like um the northwest. New Hampshire. I don't know the northwest very well. Watch it. You'll swallow a fly. I said New Hampshire. I said Connecticut. Uh -huh. Alaska. Island? Alaska and oh Hawaii. <laughs> New Jersey. Yeah Hawaii. Yeah Hawaii. <laughs> New Jersey. <laughs> Hawaii would stay in Bynes, America. I already said New Jersey. Mm. Uh, uh, I don't think... I don't know. Ohio probably would, uh -huh. in the end. Ohio, Minnesota, fucking... Uh, uh, North Dakota, but not South Dakota. There you go, done. <laughs> Sorry, that was taking too long. There you go. Those are all the states of Bynes, America. Completely out of my arsehole. Mm -hmm. Ohio, yeah, it'd stick around in the end. Oh, the north part, just the north part. Split them. North and south Ohio. Mm. You could split them. At, nah, because then we have to leave Pennsylvania. Leave it, not Pennsylvania. Um, Cincinnati behind. Because we could have Cleveland and we could maybe separate them at Columbia, Columbus, right? <coughs> Columbus yeah. is, is at the south part of North Ohio. And then South Ohio can just be all that rural part. Breathe. And then uh, Cincinnati. And then, honestly, better off for all of us. We get a new Republican state in South Ohio and a new firm Democrat state in North Ohio. Split them all. Wow. <laughs> you would think Cauterize that would be the a wound. good idea. Except that it would just screw over, like... Oh, yeah, no, it would be terrible. I'm, I'm kidding. I'm I'm kidding. <laughs> Um, that's always like the cynical city slicker thing is like people were saying that about London like because like all of the areas around London are uh, conservative but like London itself is fairly um, labor so well I guess increasingly not but like still and people were saying like you know you you take the M25 and you just like dig a moat around it <laughs> so it's just London Oh, actually, what am I thinking of? I'm, am I thinking of a different motorway? Watch yourself. Whatever, the one that goes around London. I think that is. Then. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know why. I've, I've been driving around those roads for my entire life, but I just immediately... That's just not something that stays in my head. Yeah? What's up in the big world? Now that I think about it, you don't have Vinci PD bothering your way out of here. No corpo supply inspections either. You got anything... I live in North Ohio, and two of the teachers from my high school attended the Capitol riot. I'm sure we can find you something. What, what are you are carrying? You Firearms. Best in all the Badlands. Pretty cool. Sell our junk. Uh, probably sell some guns, too. Just for a little bit of spare change. A little bit of chalk. Uh, sure, take that. So, what you got for me? Uh, nope, nope, nope. I'm thoroughly, I'm so thoroughly unimpressed. I'm completely and utterly unimpressed with everything that you have tried to show me today. I'm disgusted that you would even try to t get my attention. If this is what you have to offer, you disgust me. Oh, hello. Hey, Judy, what's up? Hey. K. 
Can you come over, Stat? Something oh. happened? Yeah. Just come. Oh. Wait! Judy needs my help. But Pan Am is in the hotel room. Where's Judy? I'll be good. Uh, meet with Takamura, go to the chapel. Go to Judy's apartment, there you go. Here, boy! Good boy, good boy! Oh, who's a good boy? Good boy. Such a good boy. Oh shit, wrong way. Oh shit. Good job. Oh, good boy. Oh, he's a good boy. Uh, don't care. Didn't really. Stop with the fucking cars, dude. I don't care. I have my pup here. Oh, wait. Chat, do you prefer first person view or third person view? And uh, not not for you personally, but just for the stream. Basically, if you say first person, then that's because you like to see me crash into things. If you say third person, it's because you actually want me to be able to get somewhere. Do not care. As if, like, so so oh, much in this game, I'm just, like, helping the police. I, I, I've talked about this a few times now. Oh shit, not good. Oh. Uh. Oh, good boy. Third person, we get to see more of your outfit. Oh, okay, that's cool. I get the argument. Oh wait, I need to do the ripper dot stuff. Alright, after the after I go to Judy's apartment, I can hopefully go talk to Victor and get some get some things on. Oh, have I not been to Japantown before? Oh. I like this area. This is a cool area. No, I was in City Center, I believe, at the start, because that's where the business people are. Because I'm a corpo, remember? And my character was a corporate guy, so I started in the city. This is pretty cool. I'm enjoying this. Oh shit, wait. I forgot to take that turn. No, it's okay. It's alright. Oh, I always have this problem with the GPS. Oh, wait. Mural. Oh, wait, it's down. Eh, I've got time. Excuse me. One second, Judy. Just want to take a quick peek at this. I've I heard such, such I've heard glowing reviews about this, so I really would just I if I'm in the area I need to check it out because I know I'm not going to do so again. I know I'm not going to be around here again. So just give me a second. Uh, where is it? Where is this mural? What are we looking at this. Oh, that's beautiful. Oh my god. Wow. Honestly, I thought it was going to be overhyped, but it wasn't. It was beautiful. Okay, Judy, I'm going to be right to you. 
And once I'm over, I'm going to talk to you about this mural. Ugh. It's a life changer. Let's go. So, did anybody try to mess with you? You blind? Oh no. Oh. <laughs> the song. What do you think, bro? It's like... That was lag there. I like, feeling I like how just, um, I guess blatantly transparent in its message this song is. Like you know the cheeky, like, so the cheeky girls? Well, it's just, We like the cheeky boys? I guess it's just a matter of like, you know, how um, a lot of romance or pop songs are just about um, essentially it's about hey baby I want to fuck right but it, they use flowery words to say that but not actually say that yeah you get what I'm saying so we like to fuck it's just it's just there <laughs> no. later Make sure to clip your favorite parts of the stream. Makes it a lot easier for me to compile highlights. And if you enjoy the stream, make sure to subscribe. Uh, subscribe. You can also gift subs, I guess. Or you can just donate. This game has cost me over $250 to play. <laughs> Thank you. We like to dance. Oh. How'd you wind up here in this city? Oh, it's a long story, you see. Take cover! No way. No way. In the bathroom! Bird offs herself oh, to express her undying Stop gratitude. talking. I was, I was only gone an hour. Checked her pulse? <laughs> She's gone. Gotta do something with her. Don't want any trouble. I'm calling the badges. Can you carry her to the bed? As if that'll change anything. Yeah, I, I need to report an accidental death. North side, Jackson Street. No. No imminent danger. Suicide. Tomorrow? No! Today! What part of dead don't you understand? No, she was not pronounced dead by trauma team. If she'd have had coverage, we wouldn't be talking. And fuck you! If you don't want to move your asses, 
Why don't I come down to the precinct and trash it into bits? Now will you come and arrest me, you pussies? Fine. Dog strong, I honestly. Me I think we're in the same headspace on that, and it is probably going to come across when I write a video about this game. They'll be here soon. Like I'm getting a real strong sense of the kind of guy Johnny is at this point. Keep her on ice until tomorrow. Can you believe the balls? All things considered, you let them off pretty light. Had it been me, they'd have gotten an earful like nobody's biz. Put something on her. I'd rather she look like a person than a body. Did you wait outside? Everything just every angle. What's a bad side? Anyway, what are we talking about? He wants you to wait outside. Close the door, V. Please. A cig. Didn't know you smoked. Uh, quit. It's been years. But right now I need something besides air in my lungs. Please, V, just one. No. You said you quit? No. No. Sorry, no can do. No can do. You she quit. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna get hooked again. supply you. I don't want that on me. Yeah, we. Please, I don't just want. Give me a fucking smoke. No, I disagree. Sorry. No. Sorry. Fresh out. Shit, try V. I know you're not. How? <laughs> I'm not gonna. Off. Not now. What's it called? Enable you? I'm not gonna be an enabler. No, thank you. Listen, I've been there myself, and I know that I would. I wouldn't want myself to give me a cigarette What's either. So no, thank you. Here. <sighs> Alex would be the type to make all of this justification. Just because he doesn't want to give away a cigarette. Yeah. <laughs> it's just because... Want to hold on to it? No. You seem to like it. Keep it. <sighs> Thank God. I was only saying that as a... I was just saying that to be nice. If she actually said yes, I would have fucking... I would have... I would have started some shit. Burn her hair. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck Evie. <coughs> I let her down. I thought if I gave her some t space, time, she'd get back on her feet. <coughs> hey, Stay keep your chin up, kid. Hey, kid, keep your chin up. You know what? I I watch the Dark Knight Rises. You know what? And they say. Let's just not say anything. You fall so you can get back up. The dawn, the dawn, it's always darkest before the dawn. Her condition, couldn't think about anything else. Tech-wise, she was clean. Akuna Matata, kid. Uncorrupted. So it's the circle of life, kid. Psychological trauma. Had to be that. Uh, Did some more digging and her virtues found Woodman. He kept her. And had his way with her. The things he did. And once he got bored, he pawned her off. Just to double check, chat, um, is there a route that I could have taken here that would have led to Evelyn being alive right now? No other specifics, just yes or no. I had no idea that guy was such a monster. No, okay. I saw him as your average Trixie sleazebag. I was just curious. He puts on a convincing facade. I knew him, but I never thought him that sick in the brain. Gotta be I like the little shaky feet, it. shaky leg things. Like what? I really just think that's a cool touch. I, I really don't I see often in games. So I'm really glad whoever thought to do that. I think that's really cool. Because Jackie does that where he kind of hops his legs up and down when he's nervous. And then she's doing that now of her feet. Thanks, V. Sorry. 
but uh, I'd rather be alone now. Promise to keep in touch. Sure, you don't need anything. No, but sweet of you to ask. Anything comes up, holler on the hollow. Like, I think what's really interesting is it's like, what does the game want you to feel about this environment? You know? It's like, because you're sitting here, right? And the game has clearly framed this shot in such a way that you really see the spectacle of the town. Like, see how the buildings kind of go here and then go here? And then there's this big thing in the center, and it's like, there's the bridge across here. And they're really trying to demonstrate the spectacle of this city in a way that's almost supposed to i think impress you i think you're supposed to it's supposed to be almost an escapist fantasy land right mm -hmm. but cyberpunk fundamentally doesn't feel like it's intended as an escapist genre because it's specifically predicated on our anxieties about the world as it is now i don't know if that makes sense necessarily but I guess it's supposed to make you feel like... I'd almost say, like, just kind of, like, anxious about the future. I mean... Where it's like, there is cool shit. But this does but look cool to me. This is cool. What's the expense? You know? Yeah, yeah. Like, oh, there's... The, yeah, so that's what I'm saying. It's kind of... It's almost doing the abuse narrative. Where it's saying, so if you look at the city, you can see all these terrible, the impoverished people, right? Mm -hmm. you, the, there's this terrible underlying issue of crime and poverty and lack of support and police brutality. And yet, when you really look at the city, it's like an escapist fantasy land, right? It's, mm -hmm. it's, it's not like the most beautiful thing you've ever seen, but it's it's quite spectacular and it's almost giving that sense of like you know well we have this giant bustling metropolis with so much going on but we do also have a poverty problem and it's kind of like well was it okay to sacrifice one for the you know it's like because of the game wanting you to give this i mean i'm not specifically saying this is just the game a lot of media has this thing the ju the the judge dread movie has this to a certain extent uh, the the not the recent one but the older one with Stallone where they're trying to give you spectacle and it it confuse I feel I feel like it confuses the message because to me at least it, it makes it more of a trade off situation rather than just a way to communicate more a Blade Runner esque you know this is just a, a terrible world people live in in which they're just forgotten and they're just living in amongst the cracks of this great well cold kingdom of I like building it's like the idea maybe is is this kind of like all the weird tech and the future buildings and all that stuff is a means to you know attract somebody to your story or whatever but really what the important thing is is the i guess underlying i think yeah that's the way that cyberpunk as a genre has unfortunately been very le sorry verily fucking hell been very easily um recuperated as a genre is because i think it has this side side aspect of giving you visual spectacle and escapist fantasy alongside the like critique like clear political critique of like social conditions and the system and the way people are treated right mm -hmm. so because it gives you both of those it allows you to just sort of lull yourself into this feeling of like well you traded one to get the other was it it's i guess in some ways it's good in some ways it's bad you know what i mean like that's something mm -hmm. that the genre can very easy very easily fall into and how much it does in this game i can't say exactly because again i have not completed it these are my thoughts as I play the game, not meant to be conclusive. That makes sense. Hope does. Where's my bike? What's up, everybody? Meet with Takamura. Ooh, perhaps. What else is about? Hey, he's pretty nearby. Other than that, it's just like helping the police with some shit or neutralizing a guy for some reason agent saboteur let's do that so this is all about 
Britt, I need to pee. You get to drive me there. Oh no. Say hi to chat, Britt, and Hello. say hi to Britt, chat. Hi. Okay, so today I'm going to attempt to drive to the next place. Okay. Okay. So I do apologize if I'm not the best at this video game. I kill you. Nice. So when Jack gets back, you tell him I did it perfectly, okay? I was like completely 110% flawless doing this, okay? How's it going? Oh fuck, oh fuck. Uh, no, da, 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 da. Hi guys. Okay, there's some people there, so I don't know if it wants me to just like go through them. I think I'm gonna have to let you do this, because I don't know the context. You just drive straight through them. Are you sure? Oh, okay, I'll take over. Wait, 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 what button is save? F5. Just drive right straight to the thing. Just ignore them. Okay. Well, they got it blocked off. Can you just drive through the barricade? I don't think so. That looks like a pretty... Just try it. That looks I'll reload if it doesn't work. Okay. See that big yellow barricade thing there? Mm -hmm. Okay. Just try and drive through it. Mm. Remember to turn left as you hit go through it, if it does let you go through it. Oh, that stays. There we go. <laughs> Good, yep. No! Back, 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 back. Yep, left. <laughs> straight, <laughs> straight, right. Straight. Oh god, oh god straight. this is the thing straight, that's being straight. shot <laughs> I Right. Sorry, the control. <laughs> okay, get out of the scene. Oh, You're not a gamer. Okay. I think you gotta do it, Jack. There you go. There okay. you go. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know why you always do that. You always hand me your headset, but. Oh, sorry. I think it's important to have it. Yeah. Also, you gotta hydrate, by the way. Uh, my jug's empty. Okay. Just drink this and I'll work on getting you another jug of water. Thank you. Should One second, that? chat. I'm hydrating. <laughs> you wanna hear some, hear some ASMR real quick? Hang on. Are you wooting? I wooted. <laughs> I wooted. Is right. that a new type of guy? Guy who woots? It's a wooter? guy who says he woots instead of... Oh, he's a wooter. Doesn't doesn't like any fun drinks. Only prefers a wooter. Well. <laughs> Thanks again to anybody who throws some support at the stream. If through subscriptions or donations, it's all appreciated and helps me keep the stream going. Jetero Shobo. Ring a bell? Guy's a fucking psychopath. Records himself torturing joy toys and sells what? that shit to like-minded scumbags. The mocks finally tracked him down. This is your chance to give this fucker what he deserves and earn a little scratch while you're at it. Warn this sicko attached. Okay. Let's go. Sounds like fun to me. How's it going? Are you going to cause problems for me today? Hope not. I really, really hope not. What's up? What can I get you? Nothing. Don't care. Wait. Okay. Want to have a word with Joe Taro? You have a death wish? Some people say so. Leave a while, you still can. Trust me. 
Don't scare me. Why is everyone so skittish around here? Just drink that. Hello. Oh, I can't go in. Hmm. Interesting. So, what if I were to go like this? Hey, hey, relax. I'm gonna get it back. As in today. And then go like this. Oh no, nothing. What? Huh? Ah, I was hoping that would do something. Hmm. Alright, so how about you? Can I distract you or something? How about this? <laughs> this is pretty stupid guy AI, I have to admit. Come on. Uh, yeah, yeah. There we go. Self-hiding bodies. The way of the future. Oh. Uh, oh. Uh, could you just not... Just don't say anything. Thank you. <sighs> Dang. I need to put points into technical ability. I feel like I'm slacking. I feel like I keep needing technical ability for things. I can never, like, do anything with it. Uh, what else we got here? Oh, more rifle stuff, I think. We kind of want. Um, reduces time to aim down sights. Sure. Seems useful. Could be able to, like, quick quick hit, quick shoot, whatever. Where is this friend? Anybody around here? Oh, camera. Breach. Uh, 551C. 551C. Deactivated. Right, so that was all the cameras off, I believe. Ping. Wait, what was that? You know what, actually, I'm going to do a ping on you. Okay, lots of guys. Lots of boys. Lots of boys. Uh, I like how the minimap is telling me to go backwards. Because the game is not able to recognize... That I cannot go through that door. Really cool. Really cool. Upgrade Let me jack in. If you please. Uh, BD1CE9. 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 Done. Oh, I could jack in here too. Well, why not? Uh, 1CE955. 1C. E955. 1C E955. Oh. 1C. Good stuff. So. Jack, how do you feel about Blade Runner 2049? I feel like it's. Um. I, I really like it, but I think I love Blade Runner. The original Blade Runner is probably in my number two or number three favorite film. But I'd say it's like between that, maybe my third favorite, and it's like between that and Apocalypse Now. Um, and I feel like that's because mostly the atmosphere, like the story isn't necessarily my favorite thing about Blade Runner. It's just got such a strong feeling, strong sense of atmosphere. And I feel like Blade Runner 2049 tries to take Blade Runner and make it about the narrative, like the story, the specific moment to moment plot more so than the atmosphere of the world, which I feel like was a more 
key part of how Blade Runner played out. I don't know. Um, but I do like Blade Runner 2049. Yeah, there's a version that's like narrated and it's kind of weird. Let's jack in again. Uh, E9, E9, BD, BD. E9, E9, BD, BD. E9, E9, BD, BD. All of this helps me in some way. But I can't quite work out. I'm convinced this game will age like wine and everyone who makes fun of it now just participates in the lol bugs bandwagon. Uh... Like in the, new, the that sort of New Vegas stage, where they kind of make a few, there's a few patches, a few bug fixes, and then really the game isn't that broken, but then there's just the memory of how broken it was. Um, or like No Man's Sky is the obvious comparison. Um, I think that it will forever be a terrible thing on the legacy of CD Projekt Red because of how, how broken it was. It was literally bricking people's fucking PS4s. Um, but, but... People will largely move on as patches basically fix the game. Like it's a good game, I'm pretty sure. It's kind of like a Borderlands on a, on the level of like bo a Borderlands or a Deus Ex: Human Revolution. Somewhere somewhere between those games. Okay. Uh, do I have a new thingy here? Yes, I do. And the rest of them, I can just churn up like they were nothing. Uh, is that it? Oh, got new guns too. What was that? Nope. Nothing. And I got some street cred, so that's cool too. Wait, how much am I street cred? 22?! Holy shit, where did my street cred go up so much? Does that mean I can get, um... Is that the the do I, did I need twenty to get double jump legs? Can I go get double jump legs now? Yeah, it's just like a a kind of derivative gameplay that executed fairly well. It reminds me of it kind of reminds me of like um. Although keep in mind that. It kind of reminds me of Jack 2, where Jack 2, like, sort of compiled all the all of the trends that were currently popular in gaming at the time. Like, the, oh, we'll take, like, a 3D platformer thing, and then we'll mix it with, like, a, you know, run and gun, but then also, like, a GTA thing. And it was just... But I think Jack, and Dax, Jack 2 was not that buggy and was an extremely good game, whereas this game is less so. The, the NPCs in this game really don't give a fuck. <laughs> they really don't care at all. Uh, anything I can hack over here? What's this? I can literally just like grab people from directly in front of them and they do not care. And honestly, that's the way I like it. It's funny how playing the experience of playing this game versus The Last of Us. Where, like, I feel like The Last of Us 2, it's hard to maintain stealth, for me at least. It was hard to maintain stealth, but once I was in combat, it wasn't too bad. Whereas in this game, it's the opposite, where, like, stealth is actually pretty fun and easy. But, um, once you're out of stealth, I'm not too into the, the gunplay. I honestly enjoyed the entire Jack franchise, but no one but me seems to remember Jack X Combat Racing, though. You know what? I I mean, the Jack franchise is my, one of my favorite video game franchises of all time, and it's very dear to my heart. But even I actually, actually have not played Jack X.
I don't really care about the ga about gameplay as long as it's not tedious and I have fun with this. I care about the story when I play RPGs. Yeah, mostly the same. Uh, like I'm, I'm still. If I wasn't narratively interested in this game, I would have dropped it by now. Um, I'm trying to think of the last time I made it through a game like this where I didn't care about the story at all. Uh, but oh, Dishonor Two. Dishonor Two was kind of similar to this, and I did not care for that game story in the slightest. It was super dull. Um, which is weird because I like Dishonored One quite a bit. Oh. Uh, I like this on the two, but like what I'm saying is, uh, I, don't have time for it. I I liked the gameplay of Dishonored 2 so much that I played through it, even though I didn't care that much for the story. K153, thank you for the Twitch Prime subscription. I really don't feel like this today. Show yourself. Uh, can I distract you? With? Oh shit, man. Oh, Smart weapons. Smart weapons require a smart link to unlock their full potential of their targeting systems. You can still want to be, tr be sure to visit your local trusty Ripper Dog. Okay. There's a hacky thing over there. I think there's probably a person on the other side of this door. Oh, yep. What? Oh, fuck. Oh, God. That fucking situation! Me. I'll fuck him up. Uh, five five E nine B D. Five five E nine B D. Five five E nine B D. Oh wait, was that a purple over there? That was a purple. Uh, okay, hang on. I don't know what that was. Carbon gas filter with master filter. Oh, wait. Is there another thing I could hack? this oh special crafting dog god damn it I, I need to not die now It's a pretty good gun. I'm actually gonna do the thing. I'm gonna make this non lethal. I like the music right now. Is anyone else like really digging this music? Non lethal. Non lethal. Uh, 
Uh, I would never equate good writing with realistic writing, to be clear. I'm not, I'm not, I'm, I'm actually trying to keep this, I'm trying not to die, so I'm not super keeping track of the conversation right now, but I just wanted to say that. Yeah, this is a really good gun. This is a really good gun. Yeah, it does, doesn't it? It does sound like something from the Doom OST. Uh, I can sell that. Ooh. What's that? Come over, I have a few bodies to get rid of. What's that? Is he dead? Oh shit. Oh shit. Uh, any way I could go out, perhaps a window of some kind. A window, or like a, maybe a door outside. It's a really interesting way to place a TV. Oh, window. Right. Uh, so. Well, I would like to go out this way. Is there an openable window, perhaps, around here? Oh, wait, what's this? Oh, I've been around here. Excuse me. Oh, it is open. Wait. Okay. So you just... I'm glad that we kept things relatively quiet there, you know? Okay, you guys want to hang out? Alright, so now I guess we'll move directly on to that other quest that was around here. Kill that one guy. Got a Soviet fixer in town. My client wants to show some hospitality. Get to know our unexpected guest. Go to the park I can really go for the music to like chill the fuck out now. As much as I did, in, I'm, as much as I praised the music a second ago, I would like it to stop with whatever it's trying now. Why am I still in combat? Who's coming after me? I'm gonna get sent back so far if I die now. Uh, BD55. BD? Wait, why are they converging on me? Did they see where I was? What? They didn't... Did they hack me? I didn't see that. <sighs> Fuck. Oh no. Oh no. Ah, oh, fuck it, it'll be okay. How far back can they really take me? What are we talking about in the chat here? Hey, guys, don't forget stuff there. Check <laughs> 
Life is pain! Yep. My life is pain! 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 I couldn't quick save because I stayed in combat even after I beat the quest, so it didn't auto save for me. Okay. <sighs> the game hasn't fucking auto saved in like uh, 50 minutes. I have to do the entire, entire combat encounter and then do the fucking shit with a gun and hack a bunch of shit. Ugh. Whatever. Whatever. I'll do the thing with the gun now. Just gonna keep standing there. Uh, da -da -da. Network breached. Oh, I already did it. Okay. Oh, there we go. thing here. You're all the ones saying games are inherently... I don't think that there's any like... I think that certain things are easier and harder to do in different genres. That's probably about as far as I would say with authority. Uh, BD, 1C, BD, Oh wow, this is a tough one. BD, 1C, E9. Okay. BD, 1C, E9. Got it. Come out! Let's stomp this like warriors! Okay. You coward! You don't deserve to live. Yeah, this gun is ridiculously overpowered. <laughs> oh, what? Oh shit, I did kill him. Okay. So, so I didn't kill him before. That was why I was able to give the body back to the guys. So, I did kill him that time because I think I probably knocked him unconscious and then hit him another time. Which, I'm told, is a bad thing for most people. Yeah, I don't, I don't think that we're... I, I think that we are past the point where we can just say, oh, game writing is just inherently worse than movie writing or anything else. I, I really don't think it's that genre-dependent. I think it's just the standards for games have gotten higher now than they were. Because I think at first the genre, there just wasn't much care put to writing. Whereas I think now we're in an era where there's tons of great... Tons of well-written games. It's just different kind, a different type of writing. Where is Jotaro? Oh, 
Oh, there. I don't know. Ninja I almost called Chad. But who's shooting? Yeah. Wait, what did I get there? Just picked up a, a blue. Was it a blueprint for a? I thought before it was a blueprint. Well, I'm just checking that now. I forget where the thing is for crafting. Wait, where's crafting? Oh, I can't open that menu for some reason. Oh. fell a little bit too far so game writing has to be more focused on dialogue and events by necessity oh completely disagree focused on dialogue i mean i i maybe events but definitely not dialogue M game writing in my opinion is much more about like the immersive experience like i think it's mo more about the um he died because i fell a little bit too far so i dropped him and he died it's like um journey yeah, like Journey. Journey is a very well-written game, and that game has no dialogue. Like, I think it's more in that sort of Wally -E sense of just like um, really well-told environmental storytelling. Yeah, let the environment tell the story. I think that's a huge part in games because games are by their nature immersive because you're in, you're it's, they're interactive. You know, I think dialogue is is almost something you have to you have to utilize when you're not able to control the story so the story has to just tell you things Oh, you got the jug of water? Oh, thank you, Han. Okay. I'm, I'm, I'm kind of into this look. How, how much less is this? This is 32. That's 19. Just, just so you're aware, this, this is open, because I don't know where the lid is, okay? Mm-hmm. So just be very careful. And also take a big drinky of it. You got at least one hydrate between me making it like... now. So Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna chug I'm gonna chug a whole bunch of water in a second here. Okay. I like how at this point I pretty much just like become whatever I just last killed. 
Whoever I last killed, whatever group I last killed, I just become them. Um, handguns. I don't really use handguns that much, to be to be totally honest. A crafting thing, perhaps? Junk items are automatically disassembled. No, that's a bad one. I don't want to do that. So, meanwhile, I think I might save, actually. I think I might save until I get more attribute points so I can get some some extra technical ability things. Uh, sure, one second. Tech perks for tech weapons? Oh, yeah, I'm using those a little bit more now, aren't I? What is tech? What, which one is the tech thing? That is... That's breach. Oh, that's just under technical ability still. So, reduces damage from explosions. 50% chance of looting a weapon mod. Grants immunity to all effects from your own grenades. Not usually an issue. Explosion radius of grenades is visible. Okay. I'll leave it for now. Alright, alright, chat, 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 chat. Alright, here's the problem, okay? Um, maybe I'm, I'm sure that there's a few of you that are watching the world right now who've been screaming at me so many times So I'm gonna specifically do this from now on okay chat as you can see look what happens when I hit f5 see So so every you know all the times where it's like why didn't Jack save for like five straight minutes? It's because I jam the f5 key because of, I'm, I'm a gamer, right? I play video games. I've played video games since I was a very small child. I, Whenever I'm playing these kinds of games, I'll mash the F5 key just occasionally. Just every few seconds, just hit the F5 key. Whenever there's any kind of lull, F5 key, okay? The only reason I would not be doing it is because it's popping up and saying you can't save right now. Now, why can't I save right now? Don't know. No idea. But that's not important. It's not my place. It's not my place to say why. Uh, oh, fine. Okay, so I could save. I just need to drop the body. E nine one C B D. Oh, five five. E nine one C five five. E nine one C five five. Kitty, kitty. Let's play. Oh shit. <laughs> Good thing I saved, huh? <laughs> Would have been real embarrassing if I didn't save there. <laughs> Whoo boy. Egg on my face. Oh jeez, this water jug is really full to the brim. Okay. Thank you for redeeming those hydrates. I just took a big sippy. Ugh. Is that better? Than, wait, is that better than what I have now? No, it isn't. You said that to mess with me. And it all worked out in the end. And will I receive praise from chat for flawlessly executing that mission? Being able to execute the mission without killing my objective. Will I get praised? Probably not. But will they laugh when I fail? Oh, yes they will. 
The monks will gladly take him off my hands, huh? give him a taste of his own meds. Thanks, Gig Shut. I mean, I'm assuming they're gonna torture that guy, right? That was why I did it. Got a Soviet fixer in town. My client wants to show some hospitality. Get to know our unexpected guest. Go to the port in Kabuki. Pop a GPS on our comrade's ride. Car came with him all the way from the USSR. More info attached. Wait, what's going on? Russian? We've got like a... Oh, some communists. Uh-oh. Uh, so, top Soviet fixer, Mikhail Ukolov, landed in NC, generated a lot of bars. USSR's prim premier fixer in town to personally handle minor league gigs at any stakes. Campaign, plant a GPS transmitter on his car. Okay. First I'm going to breach, which we're going to do with BD1C. That should turn all of the cameras off there. And they're also breached. So where is the container with the vehicle? Let's find out. What's this? A gun. And some ammo for said gun. I'm glad I can save now. Sure, I'll jack in. 1C, 1C, 1C. 1C. 1C, 1C, 1C. 1C, 1C, 1C. Thank you. I didn't know this was a political game. Perhaps that joke has run its course in my community. Nah, I think we're alright. I wonder how far back the quick saves in this game go. I think it's easy to forget this game is based on a lot of source material. How much should I get into that source material before I... Because if, if I'm going to make a video about this game, I should probably get really into the source material, right? Yeah. How do I get into cyberpunk, chat? Like cyberpunk lore. There is. Good. And there's just you. Can I distract you or something, perhaps? What's this? I will use this to distract. Oh, shit. It was nothing. Oh, nope. Nothing. Hmm. What if I distracted you? Again. BD one C one C BD one C BD one C BD one C one C BD one C one C Why don't you go check that out? A robot. What's it thinking about? What a robot's dream of. Commencing area search.
I think Johnny was supposed to be a much smaller part of the game. Also, a lot of the game plays better if you're a street kid, so I feel like that was the path that had the most work put into it. Okay. I feel like there's almost a Far Cry vibe to the game. Uh, I feel like there's almost a Far Cry vibe, Far Cry 3 vibe going on um, with me being a corpo where like you start off as this like pretentious douchebag and then you slowly get joker fired. Right, okay, interesting. Just jump over the fence? Can't. Can't do it, bud. Think I wouldn't? Think I wouldn't? You think I ain't tried it yet? Whoop. Oh, what's this? Something I can hack for money, perhaps? Or components that I will use for things? 55E91C. Uh, five, five, E9, one C. E9, one C. What, what do I use this for, chat? What do I use this stuff for? What are these quick hack components? Is it just is that just the same stuff I used to craft? I thought I, wait, 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 wait. Sorry. Please be patient with me, chat. So I need to be able to craft uh legendary stuff, is that right? So how do I craft legendary things? I can craft rare, but I need to be able to craft legendary. Use them specifically to craft quick hacks. Huh. Okay. Sell price, grenades, reduces cost, 10% fee. Oh, edge runner artisan. I need to be level 18. Level 18 in technical ability. Wow, that does not seem worth it. It really doesn't seem worth it. So my quick hacks. Where are my quick? So my quick hacks are the things that are in my cyber deck, right? How exactly do I turn those into things? Not sure. And frankly, it's confusing me to think about it. So let's go. I need to go to a fixer though. If I just go here and then just run. Perfect. Silent and effective, just like in the movies. Except we don't make that sort of scratch, but you can't have everything, right? Get closed. Take that, Russian scum. Fucking Leninists. Uh, oh, it's around here. Drop point. Oh, I have to drop, pick up my reward. Sup, cops? Neutralize the threat. Oh wait, no. Lethal. Officer down! Oh shit. Oh, mistake. Did they just shoot their own- That cop, I shot them onto the ground, and they were laying on the ground, and then another cop killed them. <laughs> wow. Nah, actually this game's pretty based in how it uh, handles the police. Good stuff. 
Oh, well, okay. Oh, a hacky. That's cool. Perfect. Silent and effective, just like in the movies. Except we don't make that sort of scratch, but can't have everything, right? Get closed. And this is what they call a three point turn. Fuck, no, fuck, 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 fuck. Enemy oh, contact! God. I fucking hate the police. I really don't think the game that handle. I think the game's handling the police is fine. It's it's very accurate. It's like you do the slightest thing, you're just like a little bit weird around them, and they fucking freak out. Right. They are very obnoxious. Get double jump. I will. All right, Victor, where are you, my friend? Where is Victor? Victor, Victor, Victor. That Victor? Wait, how do I tell where Victor is? I would like to go to... Uh, not a fixer. A ripper. Yep. Oh god. Okay, is this the... I think this is... Cassius Ryder's ripper dock. Oh, I can go do that. Let's do, let's do that first. Had enough of this shit. Wait, I am supposed to go this way? What? Why did the Give him everything you got? GPS. Always the GPS. I don't know what you're talking about. This is clearly Yik. Did you not see the update they did to Yik? This is what the game looks like now. But I do want to go to Victor, because I like Victor. He's a friend. Oh, shit. Oh, that shitty fucking car. Haha, <laughs> nerd. Let's go. I like this song. Slow down. Oh, not more police shit. <sighs> All NCPD subcommons. APB out for suspect accused of organized crime near Ross Street and Shipyard Way. Cabinet Sarova. Have assaulted multiple homeless persons. <sighs> Night City officials are offering a reward <coughs> for the threat. <coughs> okay. Anyway. No. I don't want to die. Mercy. I did nothing to you. What? Is this a bunch of just drug addicts? No. I don't want to die. Uh, what was that? What? Mercy. Wait, what's going on? Oh, they're like attacking that guy. Right, but yeah, I can't. The problem is, I would have if the police hadn't. Is the FPS in this game that bad? It's it's bad, and also the stream. Uh, let's do this. Look at heavy fire. Stay with me. Alright, 
Is that guy okay? Oh no, I killed him. Huh. Hundred and fifty damage? Excuse me? What are we looking at here? Hang on a second. Uh, go here. And then this long blade. Oh no. No no no. This does better this still does better damage. Do I have a mod for this? No. It's cool though. What about this armor? Uh nope. And what about this? Nope. Game always likes to say, always likes to say, just to keep you on your toes. I know who I'm talking. Of course, no problem. Thank you. I need a drink. Mm -hmm. Relatable. Let's see what's good. Take your pick. What is the free thing that I can get? Uh, immune system. Shock and awe. Then after taking damage, there is a 2% chance of releasing a large electroshock. Oh, tattoos. A, a tiger claw d dermal imprint. Directly links. Are these exactly the same? Yeah. Wait, what's the difference between these two? Do they just look different? Okay. Oh, it's bugged. Oh, chat, it's bugged. Turns out it's bugged. What else can I purchase? Allows you to aim and shoot while dodging. I don't really do that much. So I'm not really too fast. Uh, don't have the street cred. Legs. What you got for me with legs? Fortified ankles. Hold space to charge jumps. So I can charge jump or double jump. <gasps> mm. Charge jump or double jump, chat. I think double jump's probably going to be more important in terms of like just being the, having the agility to be able to, you know, weave between. Like you can jump and then you'll be able to use the double jump to cancel the direction you're going and go a different way. Double jump lets you fly longer. Let's go. We now have double jump. It's pretty cool. How's biz treating you, Cassius? Lately, can't complain. Don't care, dude. Double Black jump. Clinic. What was that, Brett? Oh, our, our aloe vera plant has a little sprout on it. That's cute. Threat detector automatically highlights enemies who have detected you. Uh, my ocular system. Oh, that's exactly the same as what I already have. All oh, all your weapons are non-lethal. Headshots do not deal additional damage. Smart weapons primarily target limbs. Huh. That seems like a really specific thing. A real specific thing. What? That isn't actually there. Good. Yeah, aloe vera is getting huge. <laughs> like, the the sad thing with our aloe vera is, um, we accidentally left the radiator radiator on near our aloe vera plant, and it fried off like half of its little tendril things. Uh -huh. Um, but now it's like, it's as if that never happened. Yeah. It's, yeah, it's, it's doing well now. If you have the PAX mod on a gun or a blunt weapon, the mod is basically useless. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Like, there's tons of things I already have. There's already a ton of things that I have that are non-lethal, so... It's not really that useful to me. Uh, okay. So, now that I have a double jump, let's do this. Whee! Hey you, check this out. Uh... Wait, wait, wait. 
Wait, come on, hang on. Got a problem with me? <sighs> hang on, hang on, hang on. Don't shoot! Let's go. Bike, where are you going? What is that? Oh, a little drone. Where's my bike? Bike! <laughs> are you market gardening? <laughs> wow. Now that's something I haven't thought about in a while. I like this minimalist thing we've got going on with the uh, the chat, like the the stream right now, where it's really just chat and then it pops up for alerts. I hate this thing where if the bike is like a little bit too close, then it just doesn't come to you. I feel like if you hit V, it should always just come a little bit closer to you. Even if it's not that far, it should just kind of like move itself a bit towards you. I don't see why it can't do that. Like, that was a weird decision, in my opinion. I'm just saying. There's no, like, programming reason why the bike can't just keep coming towards you. Yeah, self-driving self until it's near the, the cell. Like, why would, why would a vehicle just, like, stop directing you like why would a vehicle just stop auto driving because it's close to you that seems like extremely unhelpful yeah i like this song i don't know it's, it's catchy oh chat more things happy together talk to the cops hey chat don't tell me where it is but is that talking gun? I saw a clip with a talking gun. One, is it real? And two, is it near to me right now? Don't say where it is if it isn't, or if it is. Just say, is it close to me right now? Are you hot or are you cold? Just wait till the bike spawns inside a car, causing the physics to freak out and throwing it into the air. I assume it would just make the car explode. It's not, but go get it. Because then I'd need the chat to tell me where it is, is the thing. But do you want the chat to tell you? Hot or cold time? Cold. Down here? Is it more around this sort of area? More around that's the city centre, kind of? Here? Cold, warm. Okay, we're playing, we're playing hot and cold. Warmer? Okay. Around like here, like south part, the glen, south of like the city center, around here. I think we're pretty far away from it, to be honest. Hot? Okay. Is it perhaps... This thing? Is it this? Or did I get colder? That's warmer, that's hot. If this is warm, so this is better? It's more like this. Got colder? Okay. Hmm. All I can see, all I can imagine is it's like one of these ones. Yeah. So it's one of these ones then. So is it maybe this one? Yeah, I haven't got low latency on because I'm already having, like, weird stream problems. Yeah, I've had 4% drop frames this whole stream, which is, like, for, for people who are watching the VOD, I imagine pretty frustrating. I'm surprised that so many of you have stuck around for a stream that is sub-quality, but thank you. It's got, it's got a circle around it. What? Yeah. Yeah... There's no way you're going to get lost. Okay. Let's go.
It's not one of the quests with an exclamation mark. Oh, yeah, yeah, it's a it's a it's a question mark. It's not a question mark. Oh wait, really? I thought it was a question mark thing. Huh. I assumed it would be one. Weapon shop. An assault in progress. I fucked that up. Brit loves the song. <laughs> Brit officially loves the song. What? Yeah, because I ran a guy over. I'm just, it's because I'm one handing the game right now, because I'm. Anyway. vaguely the right direction, right? I like this Dino guy. Electric orgasm. Okay. There's a used Columbus. Hey, there's a used Columbus parked. Waiting for a buyer. So if I need a truck? Honestly, I could go for a truck. Be useful for groceries. Oh yeah, yeah. Like a third of a, a third of pickup truck drive owners do not use the the truck bed. They just do it because they want a big truck. I think it will get colder if you keep going towards that quest. Okay. So, side job over here. Tarot graffiti. Why don't we go ahead and go to this thing? Go to this tarot. Figure out where we're where we're going from there. Let's just scan this tarot. I tell you what, chat. I've heard so many. I've heard great things about this mural. Is like this mural will touch will touch you. Honestly, I know. Oftentimes you'll go to a city and you'll say, "What what should I do?" And then people will be like, "Go to the murals," and you'll go, "What to like look at pictures?" I could probably just Google it. Honestly, go to these murals. The the mural in in you know upper. Upper Well Springs, you're not going to regret it. Oh, God. All right, let's do this. Is that the way you're supposed to do it? I think I might be doing it wrong. Right. Like on TV. It's a side job, not a gig. Gotcha. Where is this mural? Oh my god, it's beautiful. Oh, even from the angle. Oh, yes. Yes, I love everything that's going on here. Thank you. And you know what? It's not just that it's here, it's that it's brave. It's a side job. Uh... Be on the brat. Go to the fire in the glen. There's that one. But I think that's it. There's the one that's really close to me. I guess I can double check if it's that. I'm assuming it probably isn't. Hot? Hot? Oh, down here? Okay, so it's this thing. So it's the thing down there. You got real hot there for a second. Okay. Bike. Fucking bike. Taking a million years. There you go. No. Cold. Oh fuck. Is it just this then? 
having. Oh shit. Uh, can I just? If I can just like. See, this is a this is an opportunity, a place where like having a having having the ability to do a wheelie would actually really benefit the player because then they could they could just wheelie their way onto the highway. It's that there is really bad frame, frame issues happening right now. Yes. <laughs> Down this alleyway? This is such this is such a fucking GPS. Like the oh, now turn right down this alleyway. Now turn left onto this dirt road. And then that way you'll save 0 0.05 seconds. Uh, compared to just going, continuing on the road that you're already on. Where is it taking me? What on earth? What? What? What on earth? What on earth is happening here? Okay. Never leaving. Contemplation is like the silence in the eye of the storm. Dude, do you have weed? You start to fade. You have no strong roots to this world. Honestly, but I only have like an eighth. You are only. losing touch with yourself. You must purify yourself. Regain your equilibrium. I can help you. Okay. Like Sit under down. the bridge or is this a prank or something? Some prank. Someone's scrolling all this. Normally you are open to new things, doing? but now you are afraid. Fine. What's all this about? You mean like? Oh shit! I wanted to sit down. Precisely. Okay, I'm listening. In the city. You are cut off from nature. Fucking anarcho primitivists. Fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck off with your return to monkey bullshit. Return to Please. Monkey. I've heard enough. Metal. Yeah, I we I love Black Mirror personally. Eyes. The filth of the world suffocates you. Sure isn't no Zen garden. You must become still. Restore the bond within yourself. <sighs> You are the source. All which you must do is draw from it. Are you ready? Hell yeah, bro. Uh, sure, absolutely. No, I would specifically shot, don't not? want specifics. Honestly, the specifics will, will annoy me. So just like the liberate the concept, though, I love it. I'm loving this. Give me. You can pay me however much you wish. Uh, sure. This should cut it. Very well. The initial techniques of meditation Give this guy are best undertaken with super. I like Bandersnatch. Let us begin. I will guide you. I feel like uh every every Black Mirror I feel like Black Mirror is just not gonna age well, personally. <laughs> of the earth element spirit of nature oh shit earth, oh I send you popping in things. we are of one blood I am you I wonder if this is an actual place you can go to in the game oh mother earth, is there like a little oasis hidden in the badlands do you think you where I can actually go here cleanse my body and soul from pain sickness impurity and the negative energy from negative people world and dimensions. Give me the energy of life. Give me health, youth, wisdom, knowledge, strength. It's just interesting that they would model this entire area if there was just nowhere like this in the actual game.
Because it does look specifically, it doesn't look like a fucking paint. It's not, it's not a vision, right? It's just like you're in this environment. <laughs> really, it just looks as if you're standing in a, in a forest, right? But it doesn't look like you're having this hallucinogenic vision. Nature in full bloom. We remove For the record, no, I can't um, like move the camera. We touch the soil. We absorb the earth's energy. We sense joy, tranquility, lightness, purity. Our heart and soul. We walk the earth. A it's very hard for like technology blue predictions blue to not make you look like a fucking idiot. There's a 99% chance that if you make a prediction about technology, you're going to end up looking stupid. I think people are gonna start wearing helmets that like have emojis on them and you can like press buttons on your hand to do different emojis and they'll just do that instead of um, Smiling. instead of like yeah instead of actually emoting they'll just have emoji faces and then they'll click buttons on their hands to express different emotions I will say though I think that um 3D printing, once it gets like more mainstream, is really gonna basically cause a bunch of piracy, I think. 3D printing? Yeah. Yeah, like it becoming everyday consumer technology? Yeah, because right now it's just kind of like this weird kind of niche thing that's really expensive to get into. Mm -hmm. But I think that once the technology is more accessible, it's gonna... For the record chat, please don't steal that the my that concept for the emoji face the emoji face helmets because I I have that idea that like if I ever do a cyber any kind of cyberpunk thing I want that to be like a fashion trend at the time in whatever my cyberpunk thing is um, that's why I specifically thought of that because <laughs> I just think that's aesthetically cool completely impractical probably not going to actually be a thing but I just think it's a cool idea. It's already a thing? Fuck. Well, I guess I'm a genius then. I guess I'm a genius. Uh oh, I think I broke the scene by pausing too long. Um, I'm gonna go pee real quick. We thank you, Mother Earth, with our mind, body, and soul. There is no life uh, without uh -oh. you. Or Vanishing trick. Imagine. Oh God. Does anybody remember the whole thing with um, where all the fucking celebrities were singing John Lennon's Imagine, like at the very beginning of like when COVID like really kicked off. Imagine there's no people. Hey, what did you learn? Imagine there's no people. What, what, what did we learn? What did we learn? <laughs> we learned how to be hippies. Um, also. Ooh. What was your favorite part of the Imagine video? <laughs> the worst. It's the worst. I like the part where Sarah Silverman goes, <laughs> Living for today. <laughs> Yahoo! She does like a little pause before she does a little Yahoo to be like, haha, it's going to be silly. Mm. I like to. Uh, I like. What's the. <sighs> who, who was it that was like completely diff disinterested? They did like. <laughs> The one of the celebrities I, I specifically recall because they was they did it and then the next one was someone that really put their heart into it but they just like was basically <laughs> speaking the the line I forget <laughs> I forget now uh, a great video though a great video to be sure all right so what did we learn 
just about life and how beautiful life is beautiful. Uh, okay. So that was also, like a... I apologize that people had to hear me sing. You have a beautiful singing voice. Line. So, it's like here. How about that? That's my current bet. Let's go. Let's go, boy. Oh, good boy. Bad boy. Good oh, sorry. Night, Still training him. Oh, bad boy. What? Go slowly upstairs. Um. I just wanted to drive upstairs, which is the direction the GPS told me to fucking go. This stupid goddamn GPS. Good morning, Night City! Good morning! Did I get any experience from that quest? If he's in city center, then I was fucking lied to. Okay. By the side job, side job, side job. Oh wow, wait. No, he's in Haywood. God damn it, chat! What the fuck? Did you hear something? It sounded like the rapid outside. Yeah? I just yeah. heard like something that sounded like um, tapping. Okay. Uh, East Haywood. This one then. Has to be. Couldn't be anything else. I really would, I really would appreciate, I really would appreciate if you didn't, if you didn't, if you didn't! <laughs> Sus subscribe and donate, support the stream, support the work that's done with this channel. The, the time that I put in, three and a half hours now, to give you this experience, um, any support is appreciated. Where'd you go? Bike? Bike! Bike! Why, why is it getting further away? Why is the bike getting further away? Why is the bike getting... Okay, there you go. Hello. That was very anime there. And the bike like ran directly into each other. Oh, wow, when did you get the Got a client who needs camp? to get a certain shot. Oh, well, 
the shards in this skull of a courier who's currently stretched out on the crematorium slab. This fucking guy? I'm supposed to work- uh, what, I'm doing a job for this guy? The dipshit from the funeral? Guess so. The guy, the guy was standing in my way when I was trying to talk to the mother of my dead best friend. Mm -hmm. This scumbag. Okay, so now I'm helping the police and this fucking guy. Alright, when in doubt, get on the roof. The roof is always the way. Yep, there we go. There's a window. And we're in. Valentino's combat music. I like that. I was into that vibe there. It was kind of a Hotline Miami-ish. Was anyone else feeling that? I guess the way I play, actually. <laughs> I play a lot like I'm playing... I just realized that I play every game like I'm playing Hotline Miami. Just like trying to... trying to just die over and over again to just best optimize my like perfect murder run for a fucking perfect massacre. Yeah. So I think that's it. You come to my streams if you want to watch somebody play every game like he's playing Hot La Miami. Where he's just dying over and over again so that he can do the sickest, the sickest kill run. Um. Come on, put the fucking life into it! Heal. Non-lethal, by the way. What? There was a door behind me. That was the problem. There was a door behind me. Yeah, I like the pog emote today. What's the pog emote? This is today's pog emote. Um, I'm, I'm really curious, like, what percentage of chat has been following this entire playthrough versus how many have just been, like, catching the occasional stream. So, in general chat, like, would you say you're someone who's caught a few streams or someone who's been, like, consistently trying to keep up with the playthrough or, like, trying to catch up with the VODs and stuff? Oh, yeah, just re I remembered I could do that. That's cool. What was that? What was that you were... I guess I could make scrap out of it. Any boxes around? Yes. Perfect. Yeah, so, what? because what you might have noticed, actually, chat, is if you go down to 7A, BD, 5-5, BD. 7A, BD, 5-5, BD. Um, if you scroll down, or go to, I think, videos or whatever, I actually have been making collections for everything and trying to, like, keep... Because I've realized that there's, like, a few gameplay throughs now where I just haven't archived them at all, and I was kind of bummed out about, like, 
Well, I didn't archive any of Death Stranding, so all of the Death Stranding stuff is gone. Um, most of the... Uh, was it Little Nightmares we played? What was it called? I think it might have been Little Nightmares. I don't know. Um, yeah, like a few playthroughs that got lost, so I've been making collections out of everything that I have been keeping proper track of. Um, and Cyberpunk is among there, so you should be able to, should be an easy way for you to find just the Cyberpunk uh, games. I would rewatch you playing Death Stranding. I mean, I actually never beat it. We got like two thirds of the way through, and then, or maybe even just like half, and then I had to. Um. Yeah, and then we had to go. I think we. I had to take some time off for something. BD seven A B D. BD seven A B D. Got an extra perk point. Should I get something involving this? Quick hacks do extra damage. I was ran to recover during combat. Oh, that's actually really useful. Eliminating a target affected by quick hack instantly restores RAM. Reveals an enemy netrunner when they're attempting to hack you. Oh, that's really useful. Okay. Yeah, that's actually very useful. Uh, yeah, I'm going to start investing in these. So, first of all, this one. Then I will do... Unlocks crafting specs for uncommon quick hacks. Very useful also. And I'm going to do the during combat one. Yeah. That seems like it would be useful. Because I could like stand behind uh, some cover. Potentially. And then that would like over time give me more options. Because sometimes you're just kind of stuck. You know. Um, yeah. I don't know anything about the, the Latinx discourse. In the slightest. I just. The thing that I've heard is that. A lot of people who would be labeled Latinx. Do not like that term. But I can't speak with any kind of authority about it. Um, da -da -da. Oh, crafting. I was just going to double check something. Can I? What are these uncommon quick hacks? Cyberware malfunction. Disables the target's cyberware abilities. That seems useful. Uh, applies burn to the target. That's good. Whistle. The target will move to your current position. <laughs> Uh, and Contagion. I already have Contagion. But that's interesting. I think once I get the rare ones, I imagine that the, the they'll re that'll really start paying off. Oh, big boy. Right. I don't think this is going to work. So instead, I'm going to do this. Devil's work. I can feel it. There you go. Huh. Wait, what? What's he trying to get me to do? Alberto was an exceptional man. How rude! Exceptional. Is this a funeral? Hard times, he was stoic and humble. And in good times, his smile lit up the world.
Not really. Not really. It was only joke. It was only joke. Okay. Huh. Nice car. I'll steal it! No one will ever know! Drop point. Over there. Gotcha. Not sure why the game was telling me it was right next to me. I guess the minimap was being weird. Very sad that no one in chat seemed to have uh, acknowledged my Dover Boys reference. My sick Dover Boys reference goes completely unappreciated by chat. I don't use the minimap mod. I'm, I don't know. I didn't look up mods before I started playing this game. I want to just play the original experience, I guess. You're an angel sent from heaven, V. The demon possessed shards on its way to the client, just like your money's on its way to you. Closing the contract. So is there any way I can lock down this car and just, it's mine now? Like, because I like this car, actually. I really like the look of this car, and I'm glad that I stole it, too. Makes me feel good about myself. Uh, so it's got to be this one. There's no way. I just will eventually. If I lose it, then I lose it. There's not like a... Yeah, there's not a garage like a GTA. Can't steal cars permanently. That's unfortunate. This really is a cyberpunk dystopia. I actually like the look of the cars in this game. Yeah. You okay? Brett, you listening? New fingerprints detected. The fuck? Increasing volume by 33%. New fingerprints detected. What the hell are you? User inquiry. Technical specifications. HJKE11 smart gun with built-in AI. Experimental model. Name, Skippy. Skippy, seriously. Increasing volume by 66%. Name, I'm not deaf. <laughs> Understood. <laughs> Hearing within norm. Possible issue, low IQ. Reducing uh -oh. speech rate by 30%. Oh, he's a fucking Nemo. My name. This guy is fucking... Skippy. Griper. No, it's just... Ugh, never mind. Guy by the dumpster. That your owner? Checking memory. Resources available. 100%. All files removed manually. Possible cause? Theft. Original owner? No data. Suggested solution? None. I got one. I'll take you. Processing request? No objections found. Can I change your name? No. Why not? Considering I'm your new owner. Increasing volume by 300%. No! Administrator <laughs> rights are needed to complete that action. You do not have the required permissions. Still got all your functions? Running system diagnostics. 
Testing will take approximately 47 seconds. Bum, bum, be dumb, bum, bum. Be what, dumb, what are you doing? Bum. I'm making the wait more pleasant with a soothing melody. Bum, bum, be dumb, bum, bum, be dumb, bum. Test successfully completed. The program Skippy version 0.01 .01 Alpha is running correctly. All right, so what can you do? Besides talk my ear off. Primary feature, automated targeting. In case of critical threat to user, autonomous shooting capabilities. Please choose one of two operating modes. First mode, puppy loving pacifist. I will aim at the enemy's lower extremities. Second mode, stone cold killer. I will aim exclusively at the head. Stone cold killer. <laughs> My kind of gun. Adjusting settings. Bum bum be dum bum bum be dum bum. Ugh. Selected mode. Stone cold killer. Happy slaughtering. Nice. Hey, cover! Skippy, you fucking suck, dude. Is there no end to this madness? What is this gun like? Homes in on targets with self-guiding micro projectiles. <laughs> where? Show me where. I think they had to be hostile enemies. You can't just shoot at them. Try using it in an environment with hostile enemies. Skippy can stick around for now. Uh, and I guess I'll switch out from because technically that is like a that precision rifle is a, basically a shotgun. So I'll switch and make my cane this so i've got my precision rifle which is my actually good gun i've got skippy who's yet to prove himself and then i've got um my cane which is always reliable from a certain distance so now with that sorted uh chat what should we do how about this okay we can go to the chapel how about this here we go journal so Do you want to meet with Takamura, go to the chapel, or meet Pan Am at midnight? Would you like to uh, meet with our husbando? Would you like to uh, meet the voodoo boys? Or would you like to have sex? <gasps> sex. Not you can't drop Skippy? Chapel? I'm hearing chapel. One request for chapel. Sex. Sex. Two sex, three for sex. I go with Pan Am. She's been waiting for a while. Okay. The decision's been made. People have chosen sex over the chapel, and I think that really sums it up. This is all about our society today. Yeah, certainly does. And yet, and yet they treat that like a joke. Sometimes, when things are so clear, you can only make a joke of them. Oh, look at that. Can I talk to Skippy? Oh, skip the, change the radio. Uh, body heat. Can I get for you? Something hot. Cold. 
coffee. Liquor. Uh, I'd have a spunky monkey. Pass on the coffee. I'll uh, have a spunky monkey instead. Everyone, listen up. This is a fucking robbery. Mr. Slick, behind the counter? Yeah, you. Shut the fuck up. Put your hands up where I can see them. The rest of you, stay where you are. And don't fucking move a muscle. If I hear so much as a peep, you'll be getting a side order of lead. <laughs> oh, <Be clear. laughs> excuse While me. While it's on the table, <laughs> keep your mouth shut and nobody gets hurt. Sticking up a diner, man, that is sad. What'd you do before? Steal old ladies' purses? What part of keeping your fucking mouth shut did you not understand? How about you? Dude, I'm like fucking Spider-Man. Your wallet, nice and easy. I'm just quipping. I'm just quipping at them. Can't believe you've made it this far. You and your shit again? People who don't <laughs> judge their competition don't last too long on the streets. I've met people like you before. They're I'm all so dead hardcore. now. Know why? Because none of them could get the spec on me. Nice try. You're bluffing. Trying to trip me I up. I dance at Maelstrom and Arasaka. You think you could so much as scratch me? You'll die before you can pull that trigger. I guarantee you. Fuck it. Let's bail. <laughs> For years, nobody touches this place, and now this? Where's 6th Street when you need them? Thank God you were here. Order whatever you want. It's on the house. Just steal the spunky monkey, please. I'll take a drink. What can I get for you? Something hot. Cold. Coffee. Liquor. Uh, uh, it's on the house. Everything is charged. Excuse me. Have whatever you want. It's on the house. Isn't on the house. Where's my car? There you are. How's it going, buddy? I'm gonna go have sex. Everybody. This is this is my night. Everything's coming up, Alex. This is Alex's day. Out of my way, thank you. Not gonna help the police with that crime. Not tonight. According to chat, you're not gonna have sex for three more missions yet. What you got there? Is that goldfish crackers? Goldfish mix? Oh shit, I took a wrong turn. Doesn't matter. Just like on a real highway. Ooh. Yeah, I think it's just, it's not quite believable how, how, how much there is just no, no, um, Transition. Like, I understand it being quite stark as a creative decision. I don't really want that. Aww. I don't really like pretzels, so. I don't really like goldfish crackers that much. Mm -hmm. I, I might just grab some more chips, regular old potato chips. Nice wavy chips. All I need. Hey, I got a new car. What do you think? Pan Am, I got a new car. It's all settled then, right? You'll be back here at dark. I don't believe I've had the pleasure. Bum, bum, be dum, bum, bum, be dum, bum. Skippy, what can I put on you? Some mods. Gotcha. Never mind then. Hey, let's let's talk. Fuck. Yeah. Right. 
I'm gonna wait uh, until I'm gonna wait 12 hours, 11 hours. Oh, hey, Judy. How you feeling? Shitty, but something came to me. Gotta give yourself time to grieve, Judy. <laughs> and no more cigarettes. <laughs> that keep that one between you and me. But no more. Experience all its stages. Feel them. Let them play out. Shock, anger, depression. I'd say I'm on anger. I'm gonna stay here for a while too. I can work with anger. So what did you come up with? The Mox died. Lizzie's bar used to be a joy house. Tiger Claws killed one girl too many, so people took matters into their own hands. Belongs to us now. Clouds could stand to get the same makeover. Got the Mox to agree to take over Clouds. No, I'm trying to get you. Know someone at Clouds will take our side. Will you help? Uh. So Judy was to take Clouds over? I mean, that. So Clouds is owned. Sorry. But, but correct me if I'm wrong, Chair. Is there. Is Tiger Claw connected to Clouds? I thought Tiger Claw ran Clouds, but I could be wrong. Could be another faction. If that's the case, then I'm happy because Tiger Claw have given me nothing but grief this entire game. So if, I, if we can take Clouds from them, that's cool. Because I like Judy. Tiger Claws run Clouds. Yeah. Fuck Tiger Claws. Yeah. So, yeah, let's take... Sure. Fine. Got me on board. Oh, yes. Okay, so, what's the plan? First up, we gotta talk to Michael Maeda. If she's not with us, might as well throw our hands up in the air. Maiko Maeda. Who is she, exactly? Girl who unofficially runs Clouds. Good at it, too. We're gonna hang out with uh, the robot she's faction... So she's anytime nobody. soon, or you sure Michael's gonna want to join? Forces? Oh, where are you going, buddy? If I was sure, <laughs> hey, where are you going, friend? You <laughs> didn't let me go, right? Yeah, let fuck me off. Is there any chance she'll slap us around then shove us out her mega tower window? Of course, sure. Guess I can work with that. When are we doing this? Early morning, clouds will be closed, hardly a soul lurking at that time. How early? Before eight, I'll be by the entrance. No, scratch that. The balcony above clouds. We'll sneak in. No one needs to know we're there. On the balcony. Got it. Alright, low key, right now, this is like that shit with Judy is like the only thing that I'm remotely interested in. <laughs> it's the only one of these plot lines that I give a sh the single shit about. <laughs> uh shit. Let's go do that. Meet Judy at Clouds in early morning. Is there is that one timed at all or can we go at any time? I get it. we need to deal with this thing with Pam. Alright, first technical boy. Thank you. Then I'm gonna go ahead and put a little into intelligence. So now with this up here, is there anything I can get that I couldn't get before? No, I, I think nine was the crossover moment there. All grenade types deal twenty damage in addition to their normal effects. Don't know. Don't know. Mass vulnerability, demon. I think that just over here, there's like a few things I should be taking advantage of more so. I think the only time limit on a quest is on one of Pan Am's. There, there was a time limit on a. Well, I thought there was a time limit on the. Evelyn won when Evelyn was dying, but I guess there probably wasn't, but whatever. Reduces the required RAM for quick hacks used on devices by one. Oh, that seems very useful. Yeah. Eliminating a target affected by quick hack reduces the ex existing cooldowns of all active quick hacks. Don't know. Mass vulnerability, which reduces the physical defense of all enemies by 30% for three minutes. Reducing all resistances. Wait, so that that unlocks it. That upgrades it. 
Gotcha. So I'm probably going to do this then. I tell you what, I want to save up so they can get both of these at once. Until then, let's go back to the old, old reliable here. Because you know what, it's been a while since we just... We just put points into increases carrying capacity. Not an issue. Increase melee damage by 10%. Yeah. Let's go. Ah, uh, fuck it. Let's talk to Pan Am. Hey. Hello. I'm just checking the suspension. The hydraulics have to be ship shape. We're in for a bumpy ride. Did you sleep all right? Can't complain. Come up with anything? For Hellman, I mean. As a matter of fact, I did. Did you still want to have sex? I found a gun that can talk. Okay, tell me. We're the wrench. The cutter is the AV. And the screwdriver is where the AV should bury its nose. His name is Skippy. It's called now, Skippy the Gun. Wondering how we get the AV to do that. Skippy that the pistol. HMG of yours. My gun will be useful elsewhere. This caliber would barely dent the armor of a heavy hitter like that. There are other ways. Here. The clamps are solution. A sat wave. It does this station. thing where it goes it goes uh what's that song? It goes it's like the song you know the song I'm talking about where it goes Bom bom be dum bom bom be well, dum do you have bum. any thoughts? I th I think it's pretty Um Sat wave power station? Yes. Disturbia. We need to break into it. Mm -hmm. Disturbia so far, so by good. Rihanna. But then what? And then we strike. We hit the AV with an EMP. Of course we do. As soon as the AV is in range, we cause an electromagnetic pulse. The onboard electronics should fail outright. Meaning what? Engines will shut down? Everything will shut down. Engines included. Drive, navigation, this communication systems. This is the rhythm systems. of the night. Aren't you, uh, oh, uh counting chickens? Oh, yeah. We can't actually know the AV will fly over the station. The of course of we can't. But we don't have to. Oh, hey. I You'll like see. how they put the... It's bound to be I like how they put the little um, apostrophe thing. I've got everything planned Just now. fucking try it. Remember, need Hellman alive, unharmed. Yeah. Gotta try not to blow the, the AV to bits, okay? I know. But I'd say the worst genre of music? In. This idea. Um, it works. You'll be in for a rough landing. Or I guess maybe... I mean, I'm obviously not. There's no such thing. objectivity, whatever. Everything's yeah. subjective. Well, it's gotten into like, you. What is like the music trend you hate that's going on right now? I mean, I don't like uh, fucking what's it called? Something. What's the core? Something core? Nightcore. Don't like nightcore. Yeah. Nightcore sounds like ass to me most of the time. Well, it just sounds like some like V. Sometimes like when people make bad vaporwave. All right. Am I audible? Let's ride. No, right. not Pop really. In. It's cold out here. Sometimes when people make bad vaporwave, like all they'll literally do is just take a song and then slow it down. Nightcore is that, but from like anything I've tried to listen to, it's just that, right? At least with like some vaporwave, even though yeah, it is just like a lot of it is taking like a pre-established song and then slowing it down yeah they'll do other effects with the song like vaporwave yeah the yeah vaporwave yeah thing. whereas nightcore um, is at least as far as like what i've heard they don't even add like little touches to electro it, swing you know? can be cool but yeah electro swing can, can be a little bit too much so here's the interesting thing about patriotic country people were saying patriotic country music is is bad and like that's their example i was thinking about that and it's like the song that proves that isn't the case isn't technically patriotic, but like American Pie, right? Mm, um, well, that's not really country. Would you not it's say that that's like, like basically pretending to be a patriotic country song, even though American. it's actually actually it's, it's a cr that's critical like heartland rock? You think you don't think that counts as country? Well, pa that I, I, that sounds as patriotic country to you. I mean, obviously, well, again, the actual meaning of that song it's because it's it's almost satirizing that. I don't know, because I guess when I say Heartland Rock, I the only thing I can think of is, like, people like Bob Dylan mm. and, like, Bruce Springsteen and that kind yeah, that, of... Yeah, 
Well, that's what I'm saying that is that stuff, people where... think that American Pie isn't like they think it's a patriotic country song, even well, though it's, it's not, not a country song. Okay, it's rock. You saying? Uh, well, I'm j- I guess it, it doesn't have like the country tropes, is what I'm saying. Like it doesn't sound like a country song, at least to me. It's a little no different. way. Wait, wait, wait. Husky Lover, a critique of the genre, doesn't count as the genre. No way. That's not true. Wait. What about fucking, like, Bioshock is a critique of fucking something. <laughs> <laughs> it's a critique of something. <laughs> I don't, no, you can definitely make something that's a critique of the genre. Like, Undertale's an RPG, you know? Undertale's an RPG. So, yeah, there you go. Disproven. White YouTuber rap. Correct, actually. Yeah. <laughs> What was the song? I'm Mr. <laughs> Whoa. I'm in the friend zone. No, no, no. <laughs> what was the response mute song I got? I don't want to get too into it because it's fine now. We're not. Like, this is just like a little light ribbon. And I'm, I'm seeing not. the tweets. <laughs> and I'm seeing the tweets. And I'm seeing the tweets. <laughs> it's like, I'm Mr. Right Guy. <laughs> Because I'm just a right guy. I don't know. I'm Mr. White Guy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God, I forgot. I Is forgot. there any difference? Who do you think pulls the government's strings? Hey, I'm just wondering whose toes we're about to step all over. V, look around. It is simple. Everything you see is owned by a corporation. Um, and now for something completely I guess as different. Far as, like, Weirdest thing we've me... ever transported. Go. What? Are we playing? I do questions? really Come think on. I Answer. have a special contempt for like the deputy finance um, director of Calcutta. Modern day That's like chauffeuring, Christian not rock in the trunk. or just Flatlined. Christian music really? in general. Yeah. A long story. Maybe someday I'll tell you. <sighs> when we, we were like going through our road course, trip, huh? there's often times Whatever, where we couldn't like idea. get a s- signal worth a shit. So the only thing you could really pick up is like a country station, maybe, if you're lucky, or you'll get a Christian radio talk show, or you'll get a Christian music radio station. Oh yeah, for the most part, I have to say, yeah, Christian rock fucking, Christian rock fucking sucks. (laughs) It all sounds exactly the fucking, it literally exactly the same though, like where it all starts with like, I was sad about things and I didn't know where to go in my life and then Jesus came. Every single song is just that. Because it's like, it's not the subject matter that I hate because it's like, I can listen to songs that is about like, Christianity, even though I'm not Christian myself, like, but I just want it to sound good. <laughs> like, um, Rogue, Jesus Nash, is just all right with me by Doobie nice Brothers. Beat. That's like a good example. Like it's everyone. like a song that decides well, to legitimately side, sound it? like a good song mm-hmm. and also worship Jesus. Mm-hmm. That's all I want, but they can't make. They just all sound the same. It's just very. We've almost reached the, the music end. doesn't we'll challenge anything anyway, because I'm pretty I'm sure something in my like truck outside the VA. We need well, to no, no. <laughs> that's country. I'm just talking about like Christian rock. Oh yeah, no, but, but then, but no, this would be part of the narrative where they were low. They were in their truck no. outside the VA with their what was their drink that they would have usually in the country. What's the like, gen- like the generic beer or uh, yeah. root beer? No, the like, generic beer that generic you would have beer. in the, those kinds of like, songs. Probably like a couple of Budweiser. Yeah, or a Bud. Yeah, <laughs> and then it'd be like, and then I looked up and I saw the lights and I saw Jesus love me, and then the song would explode. <laughs> Jack Daniels? Nah, not really Jack Daniels. Too mm. much. Maybe a little bit. How should I connect? Usually it's a beer. It's usually a beer. It's not usually a. Uh, sometimes, sometimes it'd be a whiskey. Whiskey and wine. Right it's hard Wait, to determine because it feels first. like it's a combination of both Shit, it keeps giving me in an terms error. of the subject oh. matter. Let me work around. In like the, um, and now Pan I guess the tropes of it. Johnny, like modern day country, nowhere. I really Great don't work. care too much hey, for. Yeah. 
I think your implant has a virus. And it's not all the one like the modern country. Neck. It's just that um, it's gotten on this really weird trend of like taking like a hip hop or an R and B beat loop and then like putting it in a country song. So it just kind of is like country has kind of lost its identity to me. It's just trying to emulate pop as much as possible but then putting like a tiny bit of twang in it just enough to where yeah it's very quit um, on a country radio station very cleaned up so it's just kind of it, everything just kind of sounds very similar now yeah uh i've got i think this scene is important so i want to listen to this operates independently of me probably why a diagnostics flagged it mm-hmm okay Manus Factum, thank you for the free well, three months. Thank you very much. But no data will leak out of it through the personal link. Your ride's secure. Fine. I trust you won't fuck anything up. Okay. Here goes nothing. Oh yeah, there was one like Christian. It wasn't Christian rock, but it was like Christian music. It was like a country song that was. I have no memory of what it was now. Hang on, I'm gonna find it out. Uh. Good. Next target. Single shot. Uh. Hey. Okay. Just one more. Longer oh. round. Okay, so it was, um. Great. We're down. It was called Starting Over by that wasn't so Chris bad, was it? Stapleton. I guess it's like a fairly newish song or whatever. Fine, but your soft could really use but, an um, scanner controllers. It kept being played on the back, country radio station. It's better tech in the bargain bin. And that one was a nice one. Market. Although they kept like playing that, it a yes, bunch, so sure. I got kind the most of a important thing is that it works while. now. But so where's this power station? There's a good example You'll of a, see in a good new country song. I know a spot. We'll have a decent view from there. I just want to be sure the area is The clear. Dixie Chicks? Sabotage a corpo power station. Yeah, Dixie Chicks. Jump a corpo transport. Kidnap... <laughs> Who's the... Um... What's the Gwen Stefani thing? And Gwen Stefani did some cultural appropriation. Okay. <laughs> Gwen Stefani's... Uh, the music video. Hollaback Girl video. The, the, yeah, the music and video the for Hollaback Girl. She, she, she's like taking a picture and she goes... Ah, oh, super kawaii. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, oh, oh my Gwen. god. Oh, Gwen. <laughs> oh, shoot. This is a plug for the word corporate. I mean, as far as like cultural appropriation no goes, quote unquote, that's like. You're starting to remind me of me. I don't think it was men in any kind of malicious way. Charisma. Relatively minor. Yeah. Impressive All I do know is like, she got hmm. shit for. Maybe um, we can just get along. She would wear a bendy, like in the 90s. Could be something but to it's that, kind I of suppose. like a weird situation because must have had some the effect. person You're she was dating like at the time, um, You'll see. But it goes like basically, ways. I guess he maybe you becoming more like me. Her yeah, fiance, no but he was Indian, so it was kind of like, you know, kind of that situation where All I don't know. The I couldn't make deserted. the call to say that's no still whoa, cultural whoa, whoa, whoa. appropriation the or not. Is the but it was just Hang kind on. of that was that situation. Each antenna collects microwave energy from the sound. Oh, yeah, I'm rambling. That's then converted into electric power. Check this out. Huh. Antennas run all the way down the interstate. Mm-hmm. This is a and really cool linked, area. Which is to your advantage. We just need to mess with the collection unit. A chain reaction will follow. Each one of the antennas will emit an EMP burst. The AV will be like a fly headed for a spider's web. We just have to fire off the pulse at the right moment. Let's go get her. Once we reach the station, I'll set up a bypass for the detonator. You just overload the systems. Overload the system? Yes, ma'am. When do I start? Though, hoping that's not too complicated. Is it? It shouldn't be. You just turn everything up as far as it'll go. Crank it up to 11. Got it. So what now? We wait. We should time our arrival to the AV flight. Got it. Good. Time to roll. Do we just sit here? Done anything like this before? Downing an AV? By myself? No. Why do you ask? You driving okay? 
power station, EMP, the systems, networks. Came up with a really solid plan. Thank you. How you approach things, that's the trick. Mine is the AAA. Wait, what now? Assessment, assembly, action. Whatever your task, you do three things. Start by assessing what you already have and what you'll face. The problem. Then you plan with those variables in mind. Take what you have, get what you need, assemble things, people. Okay, Red Eye. Finally, you take action. Simple. Got one word for you. T-shirts. Triple A. It's all you need to lead the good life. That end the occasion. Some people see uh, just a film, but I see... The, I can see the components of the film. I can see the script. <laughs> mm -hmm. We can see the script, we can see the visuals, we can see the acting and the plot holes, and we can kind of... We can f see the individual components that make up the film and not just the film itself. Oh, what if uh, something goes ass up? Well, then your ass had better improvise. Did you really think yeah, I just I would give say, you a foolproof um, secret to success? American Pie is more of like almost Americana. Had me believe in just that. So I think that's kind of what I was trying You're to say with like Heartland be. Rock. Where it's just very much um, American kind of folksy slash rock songs that specifically deal with America oh. as a subject. And oftentimes they criticize America. Okay, we'll be there in a moment. But not always, but... One last time. We drive in, fuck up the system, and get the hell out of here. I do like the variety of locations that Pan Am is taking us bumpy. around here. This is actually get really ready. cool. I feel like most okay. places ha haven't been so... To such variety. Mm. Let's shoot some shit, I guess. Woo! Drill! I'll deal with it. Deal quick before they hit us. Good enough. Is that all of them? Mm-hmm. Provided we hurry. Can I just shoot more things? Let's go. Summer, I think this is definitely doing I'll something here. Quick V. I definitely feel like I'm accomplishing something. Sure. <laughs> Why is there just an overcharge button? <laughs> ah, shit! I guess she already hacked into the thing. Come on. Breathe. Oh, where's my tattoo? Ah, shit! I think we might have overdone it, Pan Am. Did I not equip a tattoo? I don't think Americana is the whole point of country because there are plenty of country songs that really don't talk about America itself. But America is very much a trope in country music. Um, essentially, like a lot of like modern day country songs All that you just want to have like, like girl, you wanted lyrics, just like you write yeah. something that Let's get says out America is lights great. Us up too. And there's your lyrics basically. This was extremely easy. V, get the fuck out before something happens to the chance of the tip. You know, I was just about to set up a picnic. Maybe lay out and work on I my mean, best hand. Watch out. The next one might. Johnny? Johnny. Uh. Fucking hell. I feel like there's two scenes happening here. Okay. I'm fine. It's. It's okay. Just. It's okay. I'm fine. Yeah. Just. Delta the fuck out. Not the cleanest job, perhaps, but it still went well. What about the detonator? Is it working? Yes, it's working. And I don't even see a drop in the signal strength. We just need to drive far away enough to keep the pulse from blasting us, too. Okay. The cliff there. We'll set up. I've just done a bunch of give us hydrations, a so I'm gonna... And then we wait. I do, okay. uh... Oh, shit. Oh, shit, is it time to go? Here. I always wanted to push the okay. big red button. I need to pee, like but this. I'm going to see this explosion first. How do we know when? 
Don't worry. I'll have eyes on it. All right. Let's go. You just wait for my signal. Then set yep. up that pulse. Yep. Whenever you say. Won't know what yep. Whatever you say. <laughs> Anytime. And by the way. What? We are about to knock a multi-million euro dollar Kang Tao asset clean up. <laughs> oh, sick dude. Back to nature, you, you know? Blasted shit. Exactly what the doc ordered. And that's exactly what I like to yep. hear. Let's blast some right just as soon as you just noticed. What? It's quiet. The hum of the city, people's voices, the smells. It's all gone. Hello. Wind just intensifies it. Think I, I really need to pee, exists. so just as soon as you can. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so maybe not the smells. I mean the coyotes. Gotcha, gotcha. Rather hard to miss. Yeah. That was just the air freshener in your Thornton. Ha ha. <laughs> Screw you. You'd do better to focus on the AV. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I need to leave. Really, just really need to pee. Really need to pee. Can't see why we can't do it now. Can't see why we can't do it now. What? What? It's there. Coming from Pacific. Okay, good. All right. Get ready. Okay. One more second. Yep. One more. Gotcha. Now. Boom. Okay. There, there we go. She is. Shit. What's happening? Fucking hell. God damn it all. Fan fucking test. There we go. Good stuff. Pan Am, the engines are still running. Fuck, they're getting away. They're going nowhere. We gotta go after it. Give me a moment. Pan Am, what are you doing? Sniper. There you go. Jesus That's Christ! It. It's losing altitude. We got the bastard. Let's okay. go. Oh you Jesus Christ! No way oh. it stays in the air after a blast like that. All right, Britt, you in charge? No, I'm pausing it. <laughs> let it play. Let it play. Okay. You catch that? But if there's combat, now, I'm pausing it. On mark. Losing out. Fetch, there. Scorpion. What the hell are Finishing they doing? Finishing up at the generators. Follow them. On my way in a bit. Battery Mitch, should sort Scorpion, itself out. It's Pan Am. Don't go near that AV. I repeat, do not approach the AV. Mm -hmm. On the way, or I'll start the party without you. It's Kang Tao! Wait for me! <gasps> or better, get the hell out! Oh, fuck. They probably want to help the survivors. Without knowing it's corporate. They can't hear me! The pulse is interfering. Shit! I have three on radar! Drones? Yes. Okay. <sighs> Sorry, I, I just can't play the video game right now because I have um, goldfish dust all over my fingers, so... I'll just have to let Jack do it. Whoa. And he's coming back right now. Um, so, Pan Am's friends are basically going to where that explosion was to help out. Mm -hmm. But she's trying to get to them to say, hey, don't go there. It's dangerous. There's going to be, you know. Bad times ahead. Bad times ahead. Yeah. You're right. So now you got some drones coming after you. So now They're trying to slow us down. We won't let them. We have to reach Mrs. Scorpion. gonna make a big she's probably gonna make a whole big deal out of that now mm. oh i got shot oh your turret got malfunctioned so i got shot Ooh. that hill 
Well, one less thing to worry about. Pan Am, you okay? A fucking ricochet. Think you can manage? Sure. I'll live. Don't worry. Hey, man, where are you? Hello? Mm -hmm. Perfect. Scorpion. Keep broadcasting over an open channel, just in case they missed you the first time. God, I swear. Something's not right. Did you hear those shots? V, something happened to them. Let's check it out. I see the wreck, but no Scorpion or Mitch. Can you turn the, turn the child lock off? Fired. Fuck it. Um, I have like... I have like 90. <laughs> v, connect to the... Fucking martyr complex. Oh no, it's okay. I, I'll just use this expired one. No, like, I have like 96 of those. Wrong. No, no, Let's it's okay. No. We have to get our bearings. Let's roll. You connecting to visual? Mm-hmm. V, if they got the Alta Caldas, if they got Mitch and Scorpion, I can't... I don't... I know, I know. Connected. I'm in control. Okay. So. Uh. Oh no! 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 <laughs> Sorry. Uh, dead. <laughs> Your clan's dead. <laughs> All the Caldos. Yes. They're dead. Oops. All of them. If they Mitch, he's alive. Oh, they have them. They've set up the launcher, they'll tear us to shreds if we get too close. Uh, what is this? What does it want me to look at? This, uh, scan the. Can we take it down somehow? Maybe. But we have to get there first. Oh. Okay. Combat drones. Defense system is active. Operatives. Where are the operatives? Who are these operatives? They secured the area. They're waiting for reinforcements. Shit. What are these operatives? Okay, you might be right on time. Haha, mm. -ha, I got the reference in the quest dialogue. What? Um, in the quest title. It's a talking head song. Life during wartime? Mm-hmm. You know which one that is? No. One that goes, This ain't no party, this ain't no disco, this ain't no pulling around. Speed, this does not look good. Got five kings on There we go. If not for those damned glitches, I could have warned them. This is all my doing. Why in the hell were they following the AV? The fools. Mm -hmm. Listen, we saw Mitch. They probably got Scorpion too. We'll find them, help them out. If they're still alive. They're alive. Everything's gonna be okay. Mind that launcher. It will blow us to bits if we approach. Okay, here's the plan. You stay in the car. No, I... not so fast. I will go with you. Those are my people. Pan Am. Hate to break it to you, but you're hurt. Wait in the car. I'll try and take out the launcher. I... Try. It's kind of manipulative. Uh, but I have Mitch's rifle. I will try to cover you from here. Nah, just give me Good the gun. Idea. Let's take, move. Nah, just take the gun off for a run. Yes, gonna get so much from this. Skippy, this is your they time to shine. This. Are we gonna trust Skippy on this one? Oh. 
Looks like we've got a big old droney here. What's looking at me? Uh, ping it. Okay, Skippy. Honestly, Skippy, it could be better. Could be bad. According to traditional Christian doctrine, you are going to burn in hell. Good. Good. Oh, six hundred. What's going on here? What is I going? I think there's a rocket launcher. Wait, what? Oh, hang on, hang on. Skippy sucks. Skippy's bad. Skippy's not a good gun. We have accepted this now. We can move on. Alright, 615 to 715 damage. Oh, just as far as, like, talking in the chat. Don't feel ashamed if you have to take, like, a, um... A, um... They have like the remedial classes where it's like it's in between um, high school math, I guess you could say, and like college level math course. Um, it's just kind of our education system kind of sucks, so um, you don't learn how to math properly in America until you. Maybe possibly go to college and then oh, all the way you were taught math all your life is wrong. What's this? Oh. That's clear. I'm coming for you. I only have 89 remaining health kits. What is this? Like a vehicle or something? Oh. Um. But yeah, also. You don't have to go to college. Open the door. But also, if you do go to college, I would back. highly recommend Toss your weapons people or I'll shoot. to community college I repeat. as an option. Drop your weapons shit you now! It's something to consider, in my opinion. Are you alright? Uh, just some scratches. You fucking morons! Did you get hit? Hang on. I'll patch you up. Nothing. Let's go. We couldn't retreat. They regrouped so fast. Oh. Started shooting rockets and shit. I lost everyone. Everyone? Scorp? Is he here? Mitch? Mitch? He's. He's safe, hey, right? Ma'am, I'm sorry. I didn't make it in time. No. No. Are you sure? No, he. Scorpion, the rest. I'm sorry we didn't get here sooner. They were good people. Great people. 
They didn't have to die here. I should have stopped him. I tried. He wouldn't have listened to you either. Never was much of a listener. Stubborn bastard. I'm guessing since you were out here, you were out here for the AV. This is a tactical human being. <laughs> this is a... A tactical human Question device. Why? You can just deploy this whenever... I need the guy who's right. Whenever at your convenience, no when you just need a human, Took deploy a human, in our cars. and then you deploy. Where? West, human Small deployed. Unit. Your passengers' entourage. And now it's just a compact. It's a nice compact form, no bigger than the average human EMP. leg. Yeah, but there is an entire you, human in here. There is actually. Do not be fooled by the by the shape of the device. There is in fact an, a whole human, simply made into its most efficient form, connect. which is sort of like a leg with a bell. We might be able to it's sort of like cars. a leg of a bell. Uh, Pan Am, listen. I know it's not the best time, but I need helmet. I promise to help. I just I'm so hold. curious. I always keep my word. Mitch, I will find those sons of bitches. I swear. Go. I'll call the crew. Get all this cleaned up. We'll leave my ride here just in case. Just watch the gun. It likes to jam. We'll go by bike. Sounds good. Kang Tao lost contact with their AV. Probably looking for it. Better hurry. But Pan Am. What? You're coming back for her, right? I promise. Let's get going before they send a rescue party. Okay. Uh. Scorpion and the rest. Look, I know how you feel. I mean it. I'll help you settle your score with Kang <laughs> Tao. I will destroy them. I love the little bonk. Every last one. We're in this together. To the bitter end. You know what, V? You're all right. You help me with Nash. You help me with Mitch. Oh, I can't pick it. Oh, no. To my mind, I owe you a favor. Your help. I will find you. Ah, so that's what this is? Just paying your debts? No. Nomads always help. Oh, them. so I'm one of yours now. Sounds good. Let's ride. Oh, do you think if you Hope were a nomad, you started out here? We'll see. Yeah, probably. The tire tracks start there. Ooh, that'd be we'll cool. Follow. How different? How different would the game, this part of the game, have been if I was a nomad? Our guys were here. No unlocked. Let's follow. Not at all. Find them. Oh. I, I bet it's just like they'll have like some kind of uh, exposition as to why um, you're in the city in that area. That's all. Wow, I I despise this this dark window, Scorpion, just making it completely impossible to even attempt to well. do first person. Probably better than I know myself. He said when I'd had enough of the city. Wow. Just awful. Just just really off. terrible. A, a terrible idea. He said we would get away from it all. Sounds like a real adventure. Yeah. But he's gone. Shit. Why is everything shit, shit, shit? Hey, I know. Look, you're alive. Still got a few things to take care of, too. Mm -hmm. You know it. Oh yeah, I think that it's mostly, it's what I, I feel like these big games, like it's the least that I, I feel like is kind of cool for these bigger games that have like way too much production value to really give you a ton of choice, um, is like being able to pick a clan and then at least that way, or like some kind of affiliation, some kind of background, and it doesn't necessarily change the path of the game, but it just adds flavor to your character. So like you just sort of have it pop up where like the character, for instance, mine being a corpo will be like, oh, I know about that business because this and that, right? Ooh. Whereas if I was a nomad, presumably I'd be able to be like, oh yeah, no, there would be that out here in, ba in the Badlands. I know the Badlands because I'm from here. That's what I'm saying. I like that, at least. That's like a good compromise, because obviously production values don't allow you to necessarily have a ton of divergent choices. Just anything that... Uh, Kentucky Route Zero does that, actually. You make choices, and the choices don't really affect the, the story, but they do add, like, just change aspects of the game. Watch out! 
Cancel him! Oh shit. I'm actually I'm surprised I'm with more weight capacity. Okay. Uh chomp that up and chomp that up and chomp that up and uh chomp that up. Definitely chomp that up and chomp that up and that that uh pff, that? Yeah, definitely. Okay. That? No, I would never do that to you, Skippy. That definitely though, and that for sure. Okay. Hello? 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 Anybody? Is anybody out here? Oh. Oh shit. I'm right here! Come on! There. The rest needs to take a helmet with them. If they manage to regroup and call for help, we're out of luck. Better hurry then. Oh. Got some, uh... Oh, hold on. This is a stupid looking motorcycle. You know, it is what a funny thing that you... I feel like you need VPNs more in the US than you do That's outside. Like, in the UK, I never had a situation where I was, like, contacted by my host because of, like, piracy, suspected piracy, whereas that happens, or that has happened. I don't have that issue anymore, but I used to have that issue over here. The last they want is to ride through the desert without backup. I hope Mitch contacted the Alda Caldos. All that damn interference. They're coming for him. Don't worry. You know what? What? This is my life right here. Is H-Bomb currently against piracy? Outright? And now. I actually haven't... The funny thing is, I had an argument in a YouTube comment section with h -bomb a guy uh, about piracy way before either of us were YouTubers. And it's really interesting. I wonder if he remembers that. It was under a giant bomb... I think it was a quick look. It was a giant bomb quick look video, I think. And I think... I think he generally took a an anti-piracy stance, and I was generally kind of neutral to it. Um, because I was, like, kind of arguing, like, well, you know, the people that really put the work in and deserve to, the, the, the payment aren't necessarily getting most of that money. And if you can't afford it, and you need to, like... Now demos aren't a thing anymore, like, nearly to the same extent. So if you want to be able to sample a game to see if you like it or not, you kind of need to pirate it. Because it's a lot of money to expect to just have people put down, especially now that a lot of games have been getting released broken. I probably didn't say it nearly as well as that, but I think that was basically what I was arguing. But this is like fucking 2015, I swear. Oh? Someone's alarm's going off. Everyone else after me. I'm done. You hear me, Pete? I fuck up again. You better give me a good kick in the ass. Well, you didn't fuck any... These tracks lead up past the hill to an old filling station. I wager that's where they're holding help. Okay, covering you. Come on, lipstick. Okay. Let's kill some dudes. Hello.
go check the mail. Okay. I'm liking this gun. Okay. What else we got? Let's do a ping. One CBD. Wait, what? Uh, wait. The fuck? Uh, I'm stuck in breach mode. What? Oh. I need cover. Yeah. I have not. I did not see that. That thing didn't die. Oh wow! I think I, I thought I sniped that thing. point does the non-lethal thing matter at all like i've kind of already played a fully lethal campaign here but i'm really curious if anything would have been different Shoot me there, bud. I'm in. Helmet. He has to be. <laughs> the way he did the little I'm in. He has combat influence. BD one C BD one C five five Yes I'm coming I'm coming for you Here I come Little by little I'm getting closer Drop any weapons I'm getting warmer Oh uh oh What? Guess what? What happened? I just got a Christmas card from my aunt. 
But look at the date it was like originally sent. Eighth of December. <laughs> We just received a Christmas card from the 8th of December. Thank you, USPS. I mean, I don't know. It, I mean, I know what it is, partially. It's like... Just a Christmas card. Well, no, no, no. It's just kind of... USPS has been, like, really struggling now. But, wow. That actually surprises me. Oh, oh hey. I'm unarmed. Okay. Because, yeah, like, you here? your nan sent a uh, Christmas card. Name's Marty. Um... Like Those on the fifteenth, like and it got place. here like maybe the beginning of January. Me here and lock the door. But it's like, oh well, you know, it was from overseas. Ain't my first rodeo. But this is Once domestic, the dust falls, so the problems weird. disappear one way or another, and I, I just dust myself off and get back to work. This is so Aww. weird. Brought a man with them, a man I need, a civilian. He must have spotted him. Mm-hmm. I ain't blind. Where are they holding Music? It? Old garage. Room upstairs. Probably keeping them there. Thanks. I were you, I'd stay put for a few. Exactly my intention. Know where they're keeping Hellman. Going in. Okay. Covering you. I really like how it's like... You didn't get any customers Trying to here. think that I'm like Shit, being in any way, uh, way stealthy. Anyone who don't like refueling with cameras watching them. Not many, sure, but they're all big tippers. You get me? In exchange for your terror. All right. One C. One C. One C. One C. One C. Five five. One C. One C. One C. Horrible memory. <laughs> Don't you worry. I'll forget you too. Okay. Bye, I guess. Goddamn this was a really weird interaction. Still can't save chat. Just so you know, you looking at the top left here? Saying that I can't save right now. So if I get sent back ages, a few seconds from now, can't blame me for that. It'll be entirely not my fault. Where is everybody? Hmm. I can't quite see anybody. Hmm. I feel like I'm missing something. Is there just one guy left? And he's upstairs. Oh, there's one guy left and he's on the roof. Okay. Hello. Oh, can I jack in here? No. Hey, buddy. Oh, hey. Who sent you? Hey, easy. We gotta talk. Who are you working for? You're in Arasaka. Do you wish to take me back? Or... What a shit-eating rat. He's about to either scream or run. Shut him up already. Not a fan, I take it. You haven't found a fan in him either. I Motherfucker think... doesn't know who to be scared of more. You or Arasaka. Don't take this personally. I seem to recall you were gonna tell Takamura when you got helmet. Yeah, just a sec. I'll call him. Who's this guy? Um. Okay. Hey. <laughs> Nah, I just wanted to like talk to you for just a little remember, bit. You have helmet, and that's one hell of a card. Try to win something with it. Takamura saved my life, remember? Because it was in his fucking interest to do so. Still just biz. He's no friend of yours. Takamura, good news. Got helmet. Alive. What did he say? Alive, alive. Not too talkative now. Why can't I see Takamura? Take him to the Sunset Motel. I will come to you. Keep him there until I arrive. You got it. See ya. What a dreamboat. Oh, okay. Better take him somewhere you can talk. A weird way to pick someone up. Sure. True. The 
Looks like your new Chimbas are here. Is that him? Sure is. Take him outside. Toss him on the bike. So the guy, Mitch and Pan Am, came out to rescue him? That is the word. Stay right there. The AV that came down and Scorpion. The cavalry has arrived. It's all related. Mitch gathered together a few other no idea we'd The road was the clear. I don't think we were spotted. So Saul's out to hit the corporations, too? still do better not to too? hang around too well, long. To me, all these things seem straight What do you plan to do with him? What? Mitch. We should talk to Mitch. Jeez, long story. Not sure I'd even know where to start. Tell me next time, then. Saul. Everything's done here. Whoa. All clear. I heard Mitch is alive thanks to you. Thanks to V and Pan Am. They both saved my ass. I just hope he was worth it. Saul, I tried to raise Scorpion. Maybe I could help out somehow. The Virgin Johnny Silverhands versus the Chad Saul. I think you've helped enough. I tried to stop him. Sure. Just turn around now. Let it all be damned. You're good at that, aren't you? Look, Saul. It really wasn't Pan Am's fault. Careful. You and me are not buddy-buddy. Besides, nobody's blamed anyone for anything yet. Sure. Right. Pan Am was just helping me. It was my doing. My fault that AV got hit. Without me, Scorpion and his people wouldn't have gone out to grab it. That's the truth. When you're in Aldo Caldo, you are always responsible for yourself and your people. The circumstances change nothing. Perhaps Pan Am should ask herself if she's still in Aldo Caldo. Damn it all. Glad to see you, Mitch, but why'd you even come? Saul, he came with our people. We took care of the bodies. I told him what happened. I think the, the it's just hard, really hard for games to capture. I think a lot of it is in the voice acting. You, I think a lot of the time you really need voice actors that have an understanding of what each other is doing in a scene because it's really hard to create a certain energy with a with a scene when the people are like completely isolated from each other and they're just sending lines with very little direction. I think. This game really suffers from that. And he told us to up and follow you. He was worried something would happen to you. To Pan Am. That's Saul? just what Windows 7, that's just what Windows 10 looks eye like for me. Moment, but your family. And Saul will do anything for family. That's the default, that's the default Windows 10 thing for me. Anymore? You know you are. Come back to us. I understand. Sorry you had to witness that. Oh yeah, definitely. I get Things why they didn't get do it, but I'm saying that's probably a big part of why it sounds awkward. Sometimes. Like, notice how Portal games don't really have that issue, right? Like, um, Portal 2. Because it just kind of... There's more... That might just be more about the talent involved and the money that's gone towards the talent, but... Um, it's just a, a thing that games sometimes struggle with. But I will manage. Okay. And you... You look out for yourself, all right? Are we gonna have sex now? Saul, Mitch, they really treat you like family. Maybe you should give them a chance. It is not that simple. Like any family. They're coming. You have about a minute to get out of there. Let's move! I'm also headed out. Take care of Scorpion's bike. It's yours. Okay. Feels like his family should probably get to... I guess that's the way of the nomad. Um. Uh. Okay. New gun. Right, what's this all about? So I got Skippy. What else did I pick up? That. Just a worse gun. Yeah, just a worse gun. Gotcha. Uh, yep. Let's keep going. Don't think I picked up anything else new. No, I did not. Did I get any upgrades? Yes! Quite a few. So, we're going to go with... An extra bit of... Hmm. Maybe some reflexes? I wonder. 
or just commit more to the body. Increases passive evasion, crit chance, mantis blade. Uh, I tell you what, let's just get technical ability up to nine because I think that that is important. Explosion radius, explosion taken. Disassembling gives you a five percent chance to gain a free component of the same quality as the disassembled item. Sure, I think that's good. And I can make it ten percent. Don't know. What else have I got here? Assault. Increases damage of rifles. Honestly, my damage has been pretty fine. Blades. I tell you what, let's just keep enhancing my melee. Re reduce fall damage by 5%? <laughs> What's that? Instead of taking 1,000 damage, I take 995 damage? I know my math. What's this? Blunt weapons by 30%. Combo attacks. Okay. So I'll do that. And then increase damage with 1% for every 1% of the mini staff. Not really useful. Defeating then we're performing a strong weapon will restore 10% stamina. Not really useful. Uh, increases damage. I think I'm just going to pump this up a little bit more. That feels good. Really get beefed up. Especially because I'm about to probably beat this guy up. Oh, should I slack myself up first? So much creatine! My god, look at this. Unstoppable. Why is there so much creatine in the future? Even more. Wow. I don't get why they decided to put... And there's some hidden under here! And a little dildo. Just... Just a little dildo. Let's go. Hey. Where am I? What is this place? Motel, middle of nowhere. Any specific middle? Doesn't matter. You're not leaving here by yourself anyway. Why are we here? Want to talk about your little invention. Biochip you made for Arasaka. Fine. But let's get one thing straight first. Yorinobu Arasaka didn't send you? No. This means you must have an offer for me. If your boss. What is the distinction between a motel and a hotel, really, bro? I don't know. I think I might need a snack. Okay. What do we have for snacks? If we'll pay more than Kang Tao, I believe we can talk. I don't know. You don't know what we have? No. Nobody sent me. I got a problem, and you're gonna help me. Motor hotel for roadside hotels? Hmm. A motel you can park in car park in front of your room. I guess it's kind of arbitrary because there are hotels where you can do that, and obviously a lot of hotels are roadside. Or near enough roadside. Have to do with the biochip. Got Silverhand's construct in my head. It's literally driving me crazy, and I know it's only gonna get worse. That is, unless I remove it. And that, none of that's on the billboards I saw. Not even in the fine print. Construct? That's impossible. Where did you get this biochip? They try and have characters like talk over each other occasionally, but because they're recorded completely separately, it really doesn't sound right. Usually when someone interrupts someone, the other person sort of like starts to go a little bit loud uh -huh. or they start to go a little bit quiet because they can hear that someone else is, is taking over. They'll go loud if they don't want to get interrupted and they'll go quiet if they, you know, are going to allow the other person to speak. But in this game, it's just kind of an abrupt stop. No more about your condition. Yeah. The worst one is when they actually finish what they're saying and then there's a brief pause and then they interrupt. So like that, that's a very Skyrim-y thing where it's saying... But father, what are you... Pause. No, son. I must go to fight the ogre. Clept it off Yorinobu Arasaka. Job for a client. But the client left me out And of you decided the best place for it was in your own goddamn head. Actually, wasn't a bad idea. 
Construct rebooted me when my own goddamn head took a bullet. I always knew Yorinobu's plan would fail. I just never imagined it would turn out like this. Arisaka's prized tech really is in the very streets of the city. You have to remove the biochip from my system. It's not that simple. Look, you made the thing, didn't you? So where's the problem? If you're telling the truth, you slotted in a new experimental version of oh, the Oh, do you biochip. remember that cream cheese donut from, uh... That place in Jackson? Uh, when we went to, um... How's the prototype version Daylight different? Donut? Daylight it's Donuts, is it? Yeah. I know it's like a... I'm sure it's like a local chain, but... Daylight Donuts in uh, Jackson, Mississippi. They did a cream cheese donut for like a dollar twenty, I think. Very Different good. engrams, something more Aware. aggressive. The biochip <sighs> is what's unique, not Silverhand's engram. The previous version of the chip really was only used to communicate right with pre-saved engrams. And it was rare as fuck and cost a fortune. Yeah. This one's rarer. Meant to install and activate the engram in a new body. When I left Arisaka, the project was still in the trial phase. Yeah, yeah, great. Your tech works. Now get it out of me. Well, well. I would have to see it first. Whoa, we just met. Haven't built up that sort of trust yet. How did you think this was going to go? If you want me to help you, I must examine you. Okay. Hmm. Unbelievable. Oh, he's gonna start to see Johnny. Looks like can't believe this Zeus, the one who's gonna help us. He's gonna start to see Johnny. Oh, fuck. Impressive, isn't it? What a pity I won't be able to examine it fully. Yeah, real shame. You could have been his guinea pig, too. Tell me how to get rid of it. I'm afraid I have bad news. Your neural network has completely deteriorated. It can no longer function independently of the chip. The only thing I could Woo do it's bargaining time. is to give you information on a good clinic in Sweden. They'll help you through the terminal stages. Minimize the pain. There haven't been motels in the UK, but that's just nomenclature. We have plenty of hotels next to roads. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, you literally have... A lot of the brands are the same, too. Like, you, you get silent. fucking Holiday Inns every, everywhere in the UK and Holiday Inns everywhere in the US. What exactly is going on in my head? You tell me. What's it like to have two personalities? Because it's not like you're hearing voices. You are both yourself and Silverhand, simultaneously. You are silent? You are silent. Oh. I can see him and talk to him. You're not talking, but yes, I understand what you mean. Have you noticed the Construct's influence on your decision-making? Sheesh, give it a rest. What do you mean? You will start doing things that were once unthinkable, at least to your old self. No. And you know exactly who he was. A fanatic. A terrorist. A suicide bomber. Well, fuck me. Who's trying to mess with your head now? That is why I believe it would be better for you to consider clinical uh... isolation at this stage. This is costing I don't know, time. Britt. Do you want to help me out with this one? What is he wanting to do to you? No, here are my options, Britt. For what I should say. I can say, right enough of this, or you're going to have to read this one. Both. I don't mean At least rush Johnny concept. never made a whore of himself. Uh, you know what? That's enough. You're just playing for time. I know Alex would say because one, I but I don't want to say one. Are you trying to convince me you're useless? So, I mean, in that case, I can just shoot you in the head and save us both some time. Oh, finally. I will try to help you, if you come with me to Kangtao. 
I think it's interesting because on the one hand, it's like, I know that people are going to say, well, yeah, you should be able to roleplay being a dick. But I think there's an interesting conversation to be had about specifically, like, you know, perpetuating, you know, anti-sex or, like, misogynistic views by being having stuff like whore. And it's like, I would you be willing to have the same conversation if it was, like, if you want, your character can just call a black guy the N-word, right? Like, it, it's just... Should that be part of just the role-playing experience and a totally morally neutral thing? You know? Let's go. Forget Kang Tao. Got any other ideas? If you think there's anyone else who can help you, I could give you the blueprints. Complete project documentation. Kang Tao offered quite the sum for it. You got it with you? He's got to Gonk's fucking useless without him. I think that hey. idea was explored in Disco Takamura. Elysium. Right. What the hell is he doing here? Oh, hey. He's got a few questions of his own for you. You play nice, he might even save your ass. What's up, I'm buddy? almost done. The blueprints. <laughs> I didn't even let you be here. <laughs> uh, I'm barely dressed. <laughs> Hang on one second. Da, da, da. <laughs> Excuse me. Just... <laughs> it's me. Better than nothing. Long as we find someone fluent in techno babble. What'll you do with him? I haven't decided yet. Are you serious? You know me. I can be impulsive. <laughs> He's all yours. Course. I'll give you two some space. I hope we can come to an understanding. That is certainly in your best interest. V, I will remember this. Ah, this heat. My throat is relatively parched. Uh, um, see that? Not give Fuck you me, just possible. look at that. Unacceptable. Inhuman. What? That is not me. Oh, you will see the difference. What? I will give you my son's a Whatever you gotta say, say it. What happened? Got something eating at your code. That's clear. Been trying to learn how you're wired this whole time. To know who he just, I'm dealing with. I just got teleported out the door. I thought you were just unlucky at first. But I kept watching and finally realized. Yeah, I just got. <laughs> I jumped on that chair and then it shot me out the door. A replaceable part. Once Sokka booted you out, stripped you of perks, best you could hope for was to be a scab exterminator. Wait, what did Takamura do? Sure seem to know a lot about my past. Well, seen flashes. You were supposed to be subscription sequence out the door, but you're in the wrong place. Okay. No homestuck discussion in the chat, please. Of your past, just like you've seen flashes of mine. I consider myself a bard of void. Honestly, I'm scared of the day I'll start seeing your memories as my own. Shit! If it's a two-way street, I'll somehow have to. I live like Pork Champ today. I let Deshaun best me, fuck me over. I think it was a really good idea to like not make it something that's just decided by Twitch, but just like cycle for a bunch and then maybe certain ones will be more popular, you know? Can you just tell me what you want? What you really want? Help me How set do my score you against our Asaka. That's it. As I see it, you don't know what you really want. So you concocted a boogeyman to fight. Arisaka. Huh. <laughs> You're funny. Got a new life you did. But you got exactly no idea what to do with it. Honestly, don't differ a bit from those poor bastards handcuffed to the feeders and their mega block pads. Okay. I'll tell you why I want to destroy Arisaka, but I'll only tell you once. Want to hear it? All right. 
right? I saw a corpse strip farmers of water, and eventually of land. Saw them transform Night City into a machine fueled by people's crushed spirits, broken dreams, and emptied pockets. Corps have long controlled our lives, taken lots, and now they're after our souls. Might be right. Can't really argue with you there. V, I've declared war not because capitalism's a thorn in my side or out of nostalgia for an America gone by. This war's a people's war against a system that spiraled out of our control. It's a war against the fucking forces of entropy. Understand? Johnny, take a sec. We gotta... Do whatever it takes to stop them. Defeat them. Gut them. If I gotta kill, I'll kill. If I need your body, I'll Johnny. fucking take it. Fucking hell. You still don't see it. But you will one day. I really, I have to say that like, over the course of the last couple of streams looking at the story of Johnny, I actually think this is really interesting. Like essentially, the game, while being this um, almost commodified, recuperated version of cyberpunk as this subversive genre, um, is like saying a lot here about like false consciousness. The fact that Johnny was aware of what the corporations were doing, he, he, was, he was at least conscious enough to want to take a direct action against an unjust force um but it was a false kind of consciousness because all he ended up doing was fucking hurting innocent people right he he didn't really know where to put his anger and rage at the system so he put it into just acts of incredible brutality and total indifference to those around him which obviously ironically contradicted his his um, what he sensed as unjust in the first place. I actually think this is really quite interesting, like what the game's doing here. Uh, I know that a lot of people are saying that the game's pretty aimless, and maybe it will do nothing with it from the here, but even just this concept in itself, I find interesting. Like, the the revolutionary spirit, but in, in, the, in a kind of false conscious... Um, and a guy that's like the product of a culture war, right? Like, oh, he's a punk rocker type guy. He's coming from, like, the music world, you know? He's not coming at it from a place of, I guess, economics or as a politician. He is, like, the the pure ideology, pure ideology like, base feeling of, of injustice with a system, but uh, without the means to put that in a productive direction. Well, yeah, obviously, yeah, the writing is just the, the overall general writing, but, like, everything's like that. Like, Pathologic has a bunch of really fucking awkward dialogue. I would argue, like, New Vegas is a phenomenal story, but there's so, like, it's, it's memed on how fucking weird a lot of the just overall, like, moment-to-moment uh, -moment dialogue can be, like, really awkward. And voice acting and all that kind of thing. Um, I, I don't think that that necessarily um, gets in the way of the story still communicating some interesting ideas. It maybe takes you out of the experience, but I think you can still pick that meaning out of the text. You know? Pathologic is 10 years old and had a fraction of the budget. Yeah, but the writing team was probably not that different. It was probably like a few people that did like a lot of the, the writing work. Ugh. Writing is not this thing that like just sort of goes up as budget does necessarily. Like a lot of games, like even New Vegas had not much in the way of writing stuff, I believe. What's up? It blows. Thanks. So, anything around here? Oh, 
Buy a car? No thanks. Flying drugs? Hell yeah. Oh wait, do I still have my car? What's your take on the first person presentation of the game? Uh, I like it. This feels like it fits about as well as anything else. I probably would enjoy this game less if it was... Hmm. Honestly, yeah, this is probably the genre that I'd pick for this game. Like, it kind of being a deus ex -y sort of thing. Yeah, I think that Johnny is not necessarily... I don't think that he's like a... I don't think he's just kind of supposed to be like a cringe... Rep like, he's not... I don't think he's just like a bad representation of anarchists or communists or whatever. I think that he's a fairly prescient, like, uh, representation of, like, false consciousness that I think is a huge issue with today's society. I think everyone thinks that they are relatively woke. I think an increasing number of people feel like they're woke, even though what they're really pushing is destructive or in any case non-constructive ideologies because they're not um they don't have the means to analyze materially analyze what they're feeling so it ends up going in unproductive directions like boycotts and shit mm -hmm. individual boycotts you know this personal responsibility stuff or you know in the case of someone like johnny senseless violence uh, with no meaningful plan this pure like strongman individualistic like I'm gonna be the one that's gonna save the world with this one act you know that is not how you build solidarity right it's not how you build consciousness what the fuck did I just say it ain't working all right what? No, it doesn't shoot, doesn't turn, doesn't do fuck all. I hope that makes sense. 5-5 five, five, BD. 5-5 five, five, BD. 5-5. Five, five. Oh. Turn off and... Are you fucking kidding me? Camera's off. Oh, who's gonna see me? Five five one C one C five five one C five five one C one C Oh hey, hide the body. Music is very mixed, I think. A lot of it sounds a little bit samey and generic, but I'm actually increasingly finding tracks in this game that I genuinely love. Oh! What was this? Hmm. Oh, sure. 5-5 five, five BT. That was extremely easy. See me? You hack you That 
has the gun. Not very good. Boop, 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 oh, it's hack. I did it. Virus, virus attached, easy to use, insert shard into the terminal. Sure. You'd think every smartass would have encrypted their comms by now. Anyway, what's the message say? Raff and Schiff bought a virus and they're broadcasting it around via an aerial transmitter. Wasn't there an antenna around here? Uh-huh. Not for much longer, it won't be. Okay. Is that everything? Any, uh, any blues around? Does not look like it. Hmm. I wonder if I could just do this. Alright, BD, BD, BD. BD, no. BD, BD, BD. BD, BD, BD. I think I'm gonna need to go in if I wanna get any further than here. Oh, is that an elevator? Hmm. Still doing my quick saves, just in case. Thank you for the follow, Hermes. Breach. Three to four damage. Wow, your gun fucking sucks. Uh, music off, please. I need peace and quiet for this moment. Make sure to call your car when you reach the top of this tower. been a misunderstanding here. I'm gonna clear all this up. Just give me one second. Man, this transmitter takes me back. How so? Uh back in 2020 we used them for pirate broadcasts. You know, blasting hardcore punk bad frequencies. I think we we mostly had it. Mostly. Oh wait. I'm just trying to get chat in the right position to where it's like it's not hiding anything basically. I think that'll do. Let's just do a tiny bit. There. I think that'll be perfect. Chat, you can still see uh see your messages, right? You can still read the chat. I'm just trying to get it to a level where it's it's very not distracting. It doesn't get in the way, but also is clearly visible. That's good. I'm glad. Let's get this stuff. What's this blue? <gasps> Golden shoes. Excuse me. Oh shit! Huh. 
Well, this may have been part of my problem. They saw that I was uncircumcised. Go here. And we're going to do this. And we're going to do this. Thank you. Oh, wait. Is that a blue there that I could strip down? Good. Here and oh, I don't have the I don't have the uh, level for it. Oh well. And that I believe will do it. Okay. A backpack thing. Nothing I can hack here. Doesn't look like it. No. Let's go. Is there something around here by chance? What's this? Oh, hang on. What's this all about? Hello. Rare components. Well, I'm glad I came here. Bunch of shit. Oh, net running suit. What was that? Net running suit here. Mm. Oh, level requirements 19. Well, next level I can get that, and then I'll put like double the armor on my chest. That was cool. Glad I did that. Let's go. Now this time, let's take things a little bit slower. Oh, wait. Hang on. Turn off. Non-lethal. Non-lethal. I do not kill. And now we just want to dispose of the body. Oh, excuse me. Now we're just going to dispose of the body. Oh, 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 oh. No, 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 no. That was a non-lethal drop. Yes. And now... We go... Wait, wait, wait. Uh. Oh. Sorry, I got, I got distracted. I got distracted. It's on me. It's on me. It's my fault. As always, blame me. I like. I feel like you could really exploit the the random, the RNG of what items drop when you save and reload. Okay. Man, how so? Back in 2020, we used them for pirate broadcasts. You know, blasting hardcore punk on badge frequencies and whatnot. Better put it out of its misery, once and for all. Never getting out of here! 
fuck? Where'd you come from? Who was that? Who said that? You and I are gonna have fun when I find you. <laughs> oh, hey. Yeah, I was gonna say, Jim, back up. <laughs> okay, hang on, hang on, hang on. Back in 2020, we used him for pirate broadcasts. You know, blasting hardcore punk on badge frequencies and whatnot. Better put it out of its misery, once and for all. Oof. Hey, what's out? You know, blasting hardcore punk on badge frequencies and whatnot. Better put it out of its misery, once and for all. So that time it actually didn't break the fence when I drove when I drove through it. So that was cool. Sort of uh you know, a little bit of chance to it. You know, keeps it keeps it interesting. Hardcore punk on badge frequencies and whatnot. Better put it out of its misery once and for all. To be clear, chat, I am absolutely not beating this you mission know, any other way. Hardcore punk on badge frequencies. Better put it out of its misery once and for all. You know, blasting hardcore punk on badge frequencies and whatnot. Better put it out of its misery once and for all.
<laughs> no, that's unfair. To be fair, I would, um, fl getting devs to flag the dialogue to not replay on reloads. I don't think there's a there's a million situations where that would not be a good idea. Like, what if you don't play for a few days? Like, just as that example. I would say it should have skippable cutscenes though, just as a principle. Um. One reason I stopped playing the original Kingdom Hearts was because there's uh, parts where you have a save point, but then when you had to do a boss battle, there was like an unskippable cutscene. So if you lost, it took like two to three minutes to just try again. Yeah, it's really frustrating. The contract is closed and closed well. There you go, got some street cred. Uh, what's, what are we looking at here? Got a side job here, don't care. Can buy a car, don't care. Undiscovered. Uh, oh, is this, um, is that Victor? Let's find out. I'm having a fun stream. You guys having a fun stream? Oh, Victor's near my house. I'll keep it in mind. I like how the GPS just occasionally just like freaks out for a second. It's very realistic. So delicate about the matter. I'd rather discuss that in person, if you don't mind. Can we meet? Uh, sure. Sure. Let's do that. I'll send you the address. See you. What is our, our relationship to Wakoko? And talk behind each other's Wakako, backs. sorry. Not Can Wakoko, sorry. That? Wakako. Truly, I am Okada. Shocked. I'm just going to say Okada. Because I know despair. that Okada is the right way to say that. Today, I give you the chance to help one such divorcee. I think it is. His Wakako. name is Mr. Wak no. Matias, Wakako? And he is counting Wakako. on us, V. Wakako. Of course, his marriage is beyond saving. Wakako's a fixer, perhaps right? perhaps we can retrieve the checks his wife took from him. I am attaching more details. Okay. Uh, da -da -da. would you like- Oh my god, lefty memes. Would you like to hear <laughs> about the fourth husband who was very lazy, gullible, and filthy rich? Nothing about Mr. Our client's penthouse. Don't worry, I'm providing you access. I have to retrieve- Mr. Gura has he lost his car and luxury penthouse. Now the poor poor fool has barely anything to live in. He's left his depository receipts in their old apartment. I have to grab his receipts. Okay. So some dude got caught messing around and so he got kicked got, out. Got kicked out, so I need to grab his receipts so that he can he can find a place to stay. Mm. Mucho well, texto. I guess that's fine. You know, I guess like if if I, if there was like a really bad breakup, I think people would feel more comfortable just having like a mover come and get the stuff than like the person, right? Takamura is definitely a submissive top. It's not even in dispute. 
Anyway, sorry, what were you saying, huh? Well, I was just saying, like, that would probably be, like, a good idea like, for moving companies to utilize. Where it's just like, hey, did you have a messy breakup with someone? And you need to, like, give them their shit. Yeah. You know, um, we'll take care of it. And then you don't have to interact with them. Okay. So... Is anyone in here? I'll take that. What was this? I look smush. What was that sound? Are there like police breaking in here? What's the story? Is it like something on the TV? What am I, what am I hearing? Hi. Right. Is it this? No. Something is. Oh, shit. Uh. I guess there's just a robot here for some reason. Oh ho! Is it? Huh. You don't want to give it a contagion? Nah, because then they will activate. The, that's the thing I found out, was that if you use contagion, they will automatically become alert to you. You can't contagion them from afar. Ah, uh, okay. It's, it's kind of annoying. 55551C. 55551C. Hey, DJ! Turn that shit up! Boring shit gun. Thank you. Ba -ba. Ba -ba -ba. Set the security system. And there you go. Did that turn all turn, turn all the shit off? Whoa! DJ, turn that shit up. Just be very careful. I think we shut. No, I think I'm pretty sure we shut them all off, hon. Okay. Whoa. All right, where's all these other corpses then? <laughs> ah. That was a little bit less interesting. There's one upstairs, I think. Take that book. Title? Nothing. Uh, wait, wait. Go back upstairs. Hey, DJ! Okay. What? Uh, no, I turned the cameras off. Okay. Oh, whoa. No, wait. Alright, so... Oh, one camera just isn't deactivated, by the way. Mm. And pizza. Unhappy. Deeply unhappy. So. Thank you. That one wasn't even turned on. Well, that made zero sense. Okay. Thank you. Anything else? Pants. Some grenades. Cactus juice. I do like cactus juice, but... I think we'll be alright. Let's roll. Thank you. Hey! An assault rifle? Sure thing. Let's go. That was weird. I wonder why it did that. Subdivided into three areas. Industrial... Easy beefs. Careful. There, I think the camera is on this floor. I don't think so. Wait, did you get the last bit from the robot? Hmm? 
Did you get the last bit from the robot? I don't really care. It was okay. a it was common components. Okay. Shoot the TV. Fuck it. Let's get. I just wanted to remain undetected. Can I not have that chat just once? Can I not be undetected? Please. Oh hey, there's a little snake in my thing. Did you see that? Oh, it's like a snake. The cane has a little snake in it. I think little, that's the little, end of a jumper cable. Yeah, but look, it's got a little pink snake. Oh, careful, Jack. There's like somebody walking right over there. I don't know if they're like a... Oh, they're outside, so it doesn't matter. I'm a snake. Come to the Dinya Ginger Shrine. I'm a snake. Okay, that's enough of that. Discreet and with finesse. Something I cannot say about Mr. Gutierrez's divorce. Marvelous work, V. Oh, Jesus Christ. Whew. Closing the contract. Cold. Alright, level up. Yeah, I think it's a selfie stick, kind of. Uh, so, what was it we needed one more of? Technical ability? Are we there? Now we can get the good ones. Consumables are 25% more effective. Grenades do 10% more damage. I mean, you do use a lot of grenades. Yeah, all grenade types. All grenade. Oh wait, they'll... to twenty damage oh. in addition to their regular mm -hmm. effects. Increases damage to drones, mechs, and robots by twenty percent. Huh. Absolutely. Blade huh. Runner. <laughs> 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 <You> get it. <laughs> <laughs> uh. This game, man, fucking sick. <laughs> wow. <laughs> We are gonna shut. <laughs> yeah. What was that thing that I was called up about? Someone wanted me to like meet their husband. Oh yeah, we're gonna take over clouds. Do you wanna? Okay, should we go? Let's go take over clouds. I'm not even gonna ask chat. Rescue the person located here. Eh, I'll do it another time. Okay, I guess they can die. They'll be okay. They'll just die. Let's uh, let's go meet with Judy. All right. See you, Sun Sunner LP. Have a good one, pal. Hey, TJ. Fifteen thousand. Oh. So. So what? What do these mean then? So is this my overall? Overall, I'm sixty percent, and then I'm fi six, fifteen, and twenty percent through these other quest lines. Or like what percentage I'm done with side content? <laughs> Help me! <laughs> wow. Why does it always say entering a new area when I swear I, like I know I've been to Japantown before? Is it just entering a new area in Japantown? Guess so. Like, where is it now? I don't know. It's weird. It's how much the chip is killing you progresses as the story goes on. It's how much the chip is killing you. Huh. Uh, we're gonna die. One is progress of the relic, one oh. is your affinity with Johnny, one is the main quest. Wait, wait, wait. Okay, just one person. Fine. Alright, who is this? What's the deal with this person here? <sighs> Better not be a waste of my time.
One of my net runners is unresponsive. In spite of clear orders to remain in direct contact. What's up? What's up? How's it going? Something must have happened. He would not dare go against me. Familiarize yourself with the brief and proceed swiftly. I need him. Okay. BD, 1C, BD, BD, 1C, BD, BD, 1C, BD. They all turned off. Disarm. And disarm. Oh, jeez, it's dark in here. Hey, you all right? Look, Fee, it's you in the near future. Every net runner ends up the same way. Brain fried by some corpo ice. Looks like he's still bleeding. Nah, I think I'll be fine. Uh, 1C7A1... 1C... What? 1C7ABD. 1C7A... So instead, it's got to be one C seven A. Hmm. One C seven A. Oh, um, one C the first one. Okay. You did it another way. What's up, dude? I'm gonna hack you. Can I hack you into your brain? I'm gonna hack your brain, dude. Hey. Oh, hey. Uh, turn it off. Turn the whole. Shut the whole thing off. I'm trying to prove something. Not to panic. I'm fine. Need you today. What's going on? What's up? Looking at sports. Oh. It's very classic Deus Ex gameplay here. is good oh and I also can't see it because I'm wearing a giant helmet pretty cool do I have anything better yet no. uh, I just realized I'm almost used up on my uh, room for things so I'm just gonna turn this off and this and that. Wait, I may have done that by accident. Um, that's pretty cool. <laughs> Does that just not show up in the chat? Okay. Uh, I think it just doesn't show up on the stream. That's good though, because it's kind of spammy. So don't post that again, please. Okay. I can probably just scrap this. Disassemble. Done. No, it shows in chat, but it doesn't show in uh it doesn't show on the stream. There you go. Mm. Two seconds. Wait, I, 
I can't. Wake up. Are you finding this quest too relatable, chat? Give me one moment. I don't know how long I'm here, but as you Americans say, I'm starving. <sighs> Had a peek at your messages. Looks like this spectral kid was right, huh? Hmm. I get stuck after all. Uh, when he find out, he'll become completely insufferable. That way you didn't ask him for help? In case of a fragile ego? No. But because I was trapped in the subnet, the lights were as far as I could go. So, you're probably wondering who sent me. Wakako. She always find an excuse to drag me to her place for dinner. You must visit me someday. I'll show you a few net running tricks. Hmm. Wasn't it me who just saved your ass? We never stop learning hard lessons. But you don't have to do everything. Have you got like a burger or two that Thanks, I can eat? Thanks, I'll think about it. I just realized how hungry I am now. I've been streaming for six hours and I did not eat before I started. Uh, oh, personal notes. Uh, what's this? Oh, that's so embarrassing. Oh, tea, tea bug. Well, now I'm sad. Okay, let's go. Do you like me to make anything? I am a little bit hungry. What do you want? I don't know what we have. I mean, the easiest thing would be like the sandwich or something like that. I mean, I wouldn't be opposed to that. Okay. I'll make you one and you can decide if you want to keep going or not. Okay. You feeling okay? I'm feeling okay. Are you feeling okay? Mm-hmm. Right, thanks, son. Mm -hmm. Do you guys remember Band Bossy? was informed of how you handled yourself. Good work. I expected nothing less from you. I am closing the contract. Seven A one C five five. Seven A one C five five. Seven A one C five five. Ban bossy. The campaign. Am I the only one that remembers this? Tragic. So it was a campaign. Uh, mostly centered around the idea that it was oppressive to. It was like a. It was a feminist thing. I think it was intended as a feminist thing to uh, encourage women to be more assertive and proud of their assertiveness because a lot of women grow up being to told that they're bossy if they try and be assertive so they the the campaign was called hashtag ban bossy and it was saying ban the word bossy and that wasn't actually what was in obviously they're not fucking trying to actually get legislation in place but the the slogan was ban bossy and I always found that really interesting because I found the actual message of it patently, obviously fine. What was interesting was that it was so poorly communicated that it immediately just made everyone upset. Because whenever, like, the, the, the slogan and the messaging was around the idea of banning this word when that wasn't really what was intended. I don't know. I was thinking about that a little bit. P, how you doing, honey? Listen, got a golden opportunity for you. Word on the streets that when Waco says golden... Because it was such an inoffensive message, people. really. It was literally just saying, uh, women often get pushed away from leadership roles by being told that they're bossy, and, like, that. that is kind of a stereotype. Like, the, the idea that, like, um, when a man is assertive, that's just man being man. But when a woman is assertive, it's like she's being, like, bitchy. 
you know, like a podcast stuff. You know how like every time, even though the male hosts are constantly interrupting each other, if there's like a woman who sometimes interrupts, immediately the fan base decides that she's terrible and she's the worst thing about the thing. Dicky situation. So what's the spec? Uh, but first I wanna meet Judy. Uh, Wakoko? Wakako? Jablonski's family wants to balance the scales of justice for good. You'll finish him. Could be proven guilty, meaning he deserves to die, truly? Do I look like a criminal prosecutor to you? What did he do exactly? I'm not a beat reporter, neither. You want the job or not? All right, I'm in. Good. Client will be waiting for you by a car at the corner of 6th and Brandon. Huh, in a car? Client wants to tag along. Be there in person when you put a bullet through the guy's eye. Good luck. Okay. Hey, look over there. Oh, what is that? Judy! Judy, Judy! Let's go. That's cheap. That's infidelity. Oh, God. Uh, no. Well... How's that any different from some dollhouse ass? Because the ass is meat, not latex. That's so hard to understand. Meat, right. No feeling going on, no thinking, no awareness. It's empty. Might as well be latex. Masturbation, sophisticated kind. That's all it is. Whoa. Fuck. Makes perfect sense, that. Wait, I've been here. This is where we went. Ah, oh, cool. It's all starting to click. Yeah, because this is where we did the Skyrim jump. Now I don't even have to worry about it because I can double jump. Sick. Judy. Hello. Judy. I guess I have to wait until the morning. Is there a prompt? Wait until early morning. Okay. Just gonna sit on the old sitting chair and enjoy the night. Hey V, thanks for showing. Whoa. <coughs> Talking with Michael is like a game of 3D chess. Don't let her derail you. Care to be a bit more specific? Wouldn't mind knowing what to expect. Expect everything. Miss a beat, she'll wrap you around her finger, get you on her agenda while thinking you're the one in control. Ooh. <laughs> Guess I know the type. Was there a character who, like, looks substantially better pre-release? And, like, their model in game looks a lot worse for some reason? I'm ready. Let's go. Like, in the even in the game, there's, like, in-game files that have a, 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 a sort of more defined, like, interesting character mod model. I feel like that's a thing. Hold on. I'll open it. Okay. Uh, 
Just force it open, really. I think that's shooter you're talking about, really. A lock like that? No way you cracked it open on your first try. You know how to get around their systems? Appears so. Was hoping they hadn't run any updates since I left. Looks like I was right. Easy as pie, yeah. Huh. Follow me. Yeah, V's got a weird hand. Hey, what's Judy up? Judy Alvarez. I'd say it's great to see you, but I've never been one to lie. Also, I never like surprise parties, but you know. Yup, but I even know why. Thought you'd hit rock bottom when you joined the mocks. Guess you've managed to stoop even lower now. Consorting with a common thug. Yes, V. I mean you. <laughs> what? Sounds like I left a mark on this place. Good. If by mark you mean buckets of blood, then yeah, congrats. Okay. Uh, don't, mind me. don't mind me. Just here to blend into the decor. That's no reason. Why come at all? To make sure Judy gets what she came for. Jude would have had a better chance without you. Judy has a proposal about clouds. Want to come back? Done. I always valued your skills. You know that. Just don't get why you had to drag this loose end in here. Stop treating dolls like meat and I'll consider it. But first things first. Clouds needs to be taken from the tiger claws. Okay, look. It's clear what happened to Ev was traumatic. Huh? I was convinced you didn't know. That girl was asking for an unhappy ending. I was just surprised it took so long. We gotta do something! Or everyone will end up like Evie! Woodman raped her while she was unconscious, then sold her like she was so much scrap. Yeesh, you've always been unstable. Okay, since you seem more reasonable, care to explain what this is about? You aware what Woodman did to Evelyn when she, she was doesn't give a fuck. She definitely knows you she's defi, but she definitely does not care. <sighs> Tiger Claw bosses rule this place. Know how much I mean to them? About as much as you two and your problems mean to me. Read negligible. Doesn't it make you wonder why you even work here? Gonna pretend as if you two weren't ever here. For old time's sake, Judy. Literally moments from now, security's gonna figure out you're here. Got two options. Go out the way you came in. Yeah, Judy. Or get thrown out. And that's not a threat or figure of speech. Just a friendly heads up. Had enough. I'm leaving. Smart move. And so you don't think I'm brushing you off completely. Forrest will be on the maintenance side, level Michael. in a couple minutes. I'll be the judge of that. That went smoothly. She totally blew us off. Don't worry. She put on an act. A few days down the line, she'll call and tell you her plan to take over clouds as if it was her idea. You might be on to something. Oh. Forget why we're here. What? Love that this is still a Crucial element of game design. Really like it. You two have a history? Way back, yeah. I think I just felt lonely. Like everyone in Night City. She was different then. And so was I. Can't trust people that see everything as a numbers game. 
line between patting you on the back as their friend and planning knifing you as their enemy is down to a decimal. I know. Right there with you, I... Well, used to have oh, a big crush Oh, there it is! So, off. that was it. So, all it was was that that piece of... That, that I was correct in my assumptions that there was something going on here. There was just a weird, like, thing here so that I couldn't get out of clouds this way before. Yeah, this thing, this thing was, uh, this thing was closed and I couldn't open it. Just think. Could have gone dark this morning. A little unwinding do you good. Do me good, too, actually. I wouldn't have been unwinding. Not exactly. Got an idea buzzing in my head. Working it, but can't say if it'll amount to anything. Yeah, you, a deck chair, and a Mai Tai with a cocktail umbrella. Somehow I don't see it. No, me and a deck chair. Personally, I would have it be a... a uh, Judy exits the room. Judy then dis disappears. Then when you exit the room, Judy gives you a call and you have an intimate conversation as the player does whatever they feel like doing. There's me mulling over coulda, shoulda, wouldas. Something I avoid Why? right now. Oh wow, sandwich. What's in the sandwich? I put um, mustard, mayo, caviar, uh, tofurkey, whatever, deli meat, mm -hmm. uh, sliced cheese, banana peppers. Oh, thank you, hon. Very good. Okay. I didn't know if you wanted Wait a sec. What about Woodman? Wait, I already killed him. What? Did I already kill Woodman? Don't have an ounce of sympathy for that motherfucker. So, we go in there? Damn straight. Let's end him. We'll take the elevator. Quickest way. Maintenance level. He was knocked out. Oh, okay. One second here. I mean, we kind of already knew that he was doing some fucked up shit. Could I have killed him? Did I just not? You know what's worse than a corpo? A wannabe corpo bitch. You mean Maiko? Piece of work, yeah. that one. But I'll give her credit. She's dead on about your chances of pulling this off. Oh no, I don't anymore. Wait. Hang on. <laughs> Maybe before you finish the game, if the quest is still there, you should go and do it. I don't know. Don't drink shots in a tall glass. I mean, yep. Where's Maiko? Be careful, they heard something. Let's, uh, let's get out of here, V. I mean, he's still alive. Wait, didn't we say we wanted to kill him? I mean, okay. Hang on.
the ground floor. Need to get out of this place. Wow. Turns out the revenge isn't sweet. Sorry, I've just put my sandwich together. Yeah. Almost felt like the world would be a better place once he died. And the feeling... It was so fucking strong. The world did change, though. All the people he could have hurt. They're all safe now. Think of that. Yeah, are they, though? Never even know. They were in danger. Won't they though? Or will they just be at risk of an extremely similar thing because they're a vulnerable population Locked in a system that doesn't care about them? Than life itself. I don't know. Just just me thinking though. But that's none of my business. Okay. <sighs> okay. Yep. Yeah, let's go. I get back to Michael with something big. Appealing to her sense of justice wasn't big enough. Michael only works with specifics. So, what now? Gotta think. We need more bodies. That's for sure. I'm gonna talk to the dolls. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I'll call you when I've got something. Sex worker revolution. See you later, V. And thanks. Oh wait, hang on. Something like right here. Alright. I'm probably gonna be finishing up pretty soon, chat, so I guess this will just be my notice that like if you have been watching and you've been enjoying the stream. And now will be the time to donate or subscribe if you'd like me to read your message out or whatever. But thank you for just checking out the stream. Where's this quest? Hmm. It's next to the building? Hi! You there! Mysterious stranger! Yoo-hoo! What? Hi! You there! Mysterious stranger! Yoo-hoo! Yeah, you! There any other mysterious stranger around here? You know what? How about I tell you a joke? Sure, be my guest. What must all trauma team medics swear to uphold? The hypocritical oath! Okay, uh, what's going on? Hey there, stranger! I'm Brendan, your friendly neighborhood SCSM, and the nicest AI in all of Night City. You can select from a wide range of beverages, or just drop by for a chat anytime. Now it's your turn. What's your name? Why am I talking to a schism? <laughs> My name is V. Pleasure to meet you, V. Do you come here often? Is that Paul F. Tompkins? Uh, pretty often, as a matter of fact. I'm sorry. Did I correctly hear you ask if I wanted to join you for a cup of coffee? Um, no. Oh, well, that's okay. Because you can have one now. And just to clarify, we don't have to move an inch. How do you take it? Milk? Sugar? Okay, you got me. I'm sold. Sold? Nothing's gonna be sold here, cause you know what? I'm gonna give you a can of Night Cola for free. Thanks. Brennan, right? <laughs> That's right! Gosh, it's so cool you remembered. Even for a simple SCSM. Cool. So, did you want something from me? Oh, yes. Well... I do apologize for taking advantage of you at this early stage in our friendship, but could I ask you for a favor? What happened? See that container in front of me? 
It's completely blocking my view of the street, depriving an SCSM of its greatest pastime. Could you move it a bit to the side? I'll reward you with my undying gratitude, even though technically I don't stock that. I'll see what I can do. Thank you, V. Boy, are you strong. Here, have a refreshing Who beverage. is the voice actor of On this, me. of uh, Brendan? Catch you later, Brendan. Catch me? Why? Will I be falling? It's just something you say as a way of goodbye. Oh, I get it. I mean, I don't, because catching has nothing to do with goodbyes, but... <laughs> oh well. Don't humans say the darndest things? Catch you later, V. <laughs> what a neat phrase. Okay. So, what's next on the agenda? Oh my god, so many things to do. I could have sex. I could eat food. I could go to the junk shop. I could help with an assault in progress. Go to the Ripper Dock. The Fixer. Or go to the Ripper Dock. Uh, can I afford anything for the Ripper Dock? Maybe. Let's go check. What do you think, chat? What should we do next? Yeah, the idea of, like, friendly, sentient AI is, like, feels really unexplored in the whole rest of the game. So it's really interesting that this is just, there's randomly stuff like, um, Chippy or whatever his name is, or Brendan here. But then I guess The Witcher kind of did the same thing, where, like, you would, sometimes you would come across these random monsters who would show up and then be like, here's an aspect of this world. Skippy, sorry. Uh, here's an aspect of this world, but then they would only appear for like two missions. So it'd be like, okay. Uh, I don't think this is... I don't know who this is. Looking to upgrade my chrome. Okay, you sit, be comfy, and we will start. Oh, this is nice. I like this Ripper Dock. New OS, I'm thinking. Epic OS. Five slots. I mean, look at that. That's nothing to... It seems like we're not really able to just find these anywhere else. So I'm pretty sure... Should we just buy this? We have 25 grand. There's a good legendary one. That's fairly cheap. Get one with six slots. This is just like buying fucking parts. Uh, six slots is the max number. A Kabuki market. There's a good legendary one at Kabuki market. Okay. Well, now I'm just freaking out. Right. Okay. Uh, any new skeletal upgrades? Bionic lungs could be good. Titanium legs could be good. Arms? What we got? <gasps> Gorilla arms! <laughs> Gorilla arms. This is it. You want gorilla arms? Well, should I do gorilla arms or mono wire? Can you preview it? Oh, I already have the mono wire. Okay. I own a legendary mono wire apparently. So that's cool. Dude, mono wire, it's a shit show. Okay. Uh, anything for my nervous system here? What we got? Slows time by 30% when you are detected by enemies. Oh, that's better than what I have. That sucks. Can I not get the, Can I not unequip this? Will this automatically just get upgraded on top of what I already have, or what? Allows you to aim and shoot while dodging, not really that important. Increase evasion by 6%. Pfft. 
No. No. Or does it just stack? It's a blunt weapon too. If you equip one, it unequips the other. Okay. So is that worth it? Do you think? Uh, mm, nah, it's not really worth it. Immune system. Increase all resistances by 8%. You know what? I'm just going to go with that. Because I've been having trouble with poison. Uh, circulatory system. What else you got here? Bunch of shit. Activate to instantly restore 70% of max health. Cool down 180 seconds. Yeah, I've got a bunch of these. Assign cyberware to the quick slot. And activate with... Middle mouse click. Okay. Increase the breach child breach cut protocol. Increase stamina regen. Increases health regen by a thousand points. Sure. Why not? Frontal cortex, what you got for me? Mechatronic core. Increased damage. Whatever. Uh, I think that's it then. Not really much else that I want right now. So I guess I'll just leave it. Yep. Okay. You know what? Nah, whatever. All the common shit probably isn't worth it. It unequips the old one because it's the same one but what but better. I don't care. I don't care. Alright. So what is this about an arm? So where's my mono wire, chat? How do I equip my mono wire? Is it Q? Oh, hey. Is it a specific thing that I can equip, or is it just always a, my number four, I guess? What's this? Hey, can I just test this real quick? Okay. Where to next? Fall on the hill. Find all the tarot graffiti. Nah. Salt. Search and recover. Client wants me to find something. Don't really care. Side job. Don't really care. Undiscovered. Side job. Should we go to the chapel? Or is there a different mission that you would like? Go to the chapel. Alright, go to the chapel. Meet with Takamura. Or do it. do a side job. The side chat. Spam Takamura Chapel or side job. I will be one moment. chat has decided that we are going to cinnamon is short there's a sex mission you said there's a sex mission otherwise takamura takamura is jack being quiet or did he somehow turn his mic off or did my sound break no you just went away for like a second yeah i just peed Speaking of Takamura, I hope the chat is aware of important Takamura stuff. Don't know what that means, but it doesn't matter, because we're going to go meet Takamura now. Where is my friend? Where is my lover? Where is the boy?
wind or wind or sh was it sun or shine rain or shine I'm here for Takamura this feels amazing It is good to see you, B. Sounds <gasps> pretty, uh... My god. Guys, it's Takamura. Secluded here. It is appropriate for such a secret meeting. What the hell happened? Look close to awful. This is what's called negging? You see a man robbed of his implants, money, and dignity. Look well. It is not all bad. I am mostly unnoticed in the streets. Friend you mentioned here? Oda? He should be here any moment now. Willing finally to give me the spec on him? He would he's be Gen Hanako Alpha, Sanasuke. wouldn't he? If he's like in his, Hanako what, six, 50s, 60s? The carrier so he would have the been born Saburo's in like daughter. the, the yes, 20s or late 10s? He believes you. We'll born in 2000. Oh, now. born in 2007? Oh, he's 70 years old. Jeez. He does not look 70. Uh. No, no, no. I think that's Gen Z. I still, I think that's still Gen Z. Just hope he doesn't blindly follow Arasaka protocol. What protocol? Unwritten rules. <laughs> Had him here in Night City. Could be different in Japan. If IA got even a whiff of treason, they prep an enhanced interrogator and send two elite squads with air support to grab the suspect. I understand the point you seek to make. But if Oda has ulterior motives, he will need no elites, no air support, no one but himself. Trust me, I have seen him walk. <laughs> That's supposed to be reassuring. If it helps you stay calm, you can gaze at the sky. With Angelique Cosmetics? By car, huh? A good sign. He is usually camouflaged. I mean, I can see him right there. Did he really have to do it to me? Is this him? Your thief. He's my witness. I love Takamura. Can't speak for myself. He is he is easily my replacement so Jackie so far. I have been told you know things. Was there, saw what happened. Yorinobu strangled the old guy. Silence! Not one word more. You will bring death to your door. But it is the truth. Hanako-sama must hear it. My one concern is to keep her safe in this city forgotten by the gods. Is she in danger? Now? No. Yet during the parade to honor Arasaka-sama, most certainly, I bring you this witness to his murder. And you dare to worry about the silly parade? Fool! <laughs> Correct. Unlike you, I have not yet failed to keep my oath to do my duty. But you can't ignore the truth. The only thing I regret is that I came here to meet you. There is a price on your head. I do you a favor now by not cutting it off. Sorry, but is this gonna take much longer? I do you a favor now 
by not cutting it off and taking it straight to Yorinobu Sama. What would you do now, were you in my place? I do no favors. I would deliver you ahead to Yorinobu Sama. Consider yourself lucky that I am not you. Oda, you, you are an Arasaka soldier. This is not a request. We remind you of your duty to be truthful to your superiors. I did not come here to be lectured to by a thief. Wasn't always what I am now. And your friend here didn't always look like a bum. Feel free to join us. Plenty of room at the bottom of the heap. Not enticed? Then do your duty. Tell Hanako what nobody else wants to hear. That should be to him. As you say, food of all thought. Just gotta tell it like it is sometimes. It is a shame. Nothing will come of it. How come? It should have been... Being obvious, Oda is a perfectionist. He most fears to make a mistake. Good fucking riddance. One hour sock of whack job is already plenty. Fine friend there. Got any more? Alas, only him. <laughs> well, can't say we didn't try. We tried, yes, and obtained something useful. Hmm. How do you figure that? What Oda said. They returned to Tokyo after the parade. Do you not see that parade? It is Hi, our chance, perhaps. If somehow we can get to Hanako-sama, we must do a proper reconnaissance first. We'll need a precise map of Japan town. Hold on. It is your turn to call on friends. Do you know a fixer who could help? Yeah, I mean, he would have been... He's like 14 right now, right? So, uh, he, Takamura, having been born in 2007, making him 14 in 2021, he would absolutely be on TikTok. I'm just a fixer dame. Okaku Akada runs a pachinko Imagine, parlor on Jig Jig like, Street. We must pay this woman a visit. This, just like, this guy is running for president. Will you join but... me? Have you seen his TikTok sure. account Why not? when he was 17? Mm -hmm. I just think. Let's go. Let's go, buddy. You know, we haven't really been able to hang out yet. It's good to get to hang out more. Do you remember that thing with the pizza? That was pretty fucking Jake, embarrassing. Jake. What is this name? <laughs> just a Night City name. Beware, you mock me too often. You all right, Goro? Yes. yes. Why is that the concern? concern? Have shared interests, you and I. Or have you forgotten? Certainly, Certainly not. not. Good. Because catching lead in Night City is easier than catching a cold. Um, and I need you alive. Is anyone else? I am alive, alive and well. well as, as you can see, see you, you should worry about yourself. Chat. Any idea what's going on at Arasaka? Only, Only what I, I can surmise from, from what, what I see on the Bro, are you hearing? You're you know about his puppets going at the cameras, cameras and, and he insists that, that everything is under control. control. But, but the wider the, the smile, the bigger the lies. Yeah. Don't worry, it's a feature. Oh, it's just the way that he talks. That's pretty cool. I like the way that it distracted me from anything that he had to actually say. That was really cool. Oh, he was he was doing it. So okay, that was it. He was he was doing the loudspeaker, so anyone outside the car could hear what he was saying. But he forgot to uh, you know soundproof the car, so I couldn't hear the external the the headphones. Okay, here we go. Let's park up. Oh no, a little bit, a little bit more. Okay. So, um, did you see any good films lately? I watched 
what did I watch last night? Oh, we watched some American Dad. You know what? American Dad. A lot of transphobia in the early seasons. Just random transphobia. I don't know. It's okay, though. I, I, I'm not sure. I think the later seasons of American Dad are actually supposed to be better than the early seasons. I, I, I obsessively watched the first season because I owned the DVD of it. Oh, okay. When I was a kid, I had, I had the DVD. But I never watched any other seasons, is the thing. Takamura? Takamura? Takamura! Understanding. I've no idea who jumped your team, but the claws? No, never. My boys know their place. I, I, I'm sorry, got to go. I have guests. V, so nice to see you. And your charming friend is. Happen to be working together. That's all. Takemura Goro desu. Okada-san, oai dekite kohei desu. Ah, a true gentleman. Ah, oh, shame only that he's being hunted by all Arasaka's tin soldiers. And you, V, bring him to my door. Give me one reason why I shouldn't notify the proper authorities right away. Huge drama is something that is unevenly aged. Some of it is hilarious and some of it did not age well. There's like very specific elements of Huge Armor that have definitely not aged well. But what like, is it? Overall, I still really like Huge Um we're, we're up to... We're like mid-season 5 now. So we're about, well, I think we're about to get to the TV movies. Um, overall, I really like Huge Armor, But yeah, it hasn't aged well. It's, the thing about I always say about Huge Armor is it's fairly progressive. But in a very cishet white dude way because all the writers were basically cishet white dudes so the the it's very much from the perspective of like weird like liberal minded people but also we're gonna make fun of like anything that's not a cishet white dude and uh also a lot of edgy atheism caution caution the movies were bad one of japanese fugitives hiding out in night city and you got nothing to do with it? Please. We know they're thinking. They'll link you to us faster than you can finish puffing on that sig. So tell me, and Mark, where well, in one episode, he becomes a wrestler who's head. called the Gender Bender. Need intel on the parade that's scheduled to come through Japantown. So it's Arasaka again. What I fail to understand is, why come to me? Did Mr. Deshawn not come to the phone? Goro, remind me why Dex is fat, backstabbing ass is currently indisposed. He is deceased. Butchered and dumped in a landfill by some Arasaka goon. Real shame that. That a threat I detect? No threat, no. Asked why I couldn't reach Dex, I answered. Just facts, nothing more. Good, cause you would then have to join him. Okada-san, our intentions are honorable. We need just information. I really like Takamura. It is like a matter of life and death. Everything's on the shards. How much does this cost? My pockets are empty. Clearly. My gift to you. It's free. 
Okada-san, what is free often proves most costly. Gonna take them or not? For free? You sure? Got my reasons, but patience, I got none. What was that? I'll never forget you, Philip J. Fry. Memory deleted. <laughs> For free. You oh shit, did I just repeat myself? Got my reasons. But patience, wow. I got none. Did memory get deleted? Uh what? For free. You sure? Got my reasons. But patience, I got none. For free. You sure? Got my reasons. But patience, I got none. So... Japan Town. Whole district is to be sealed off for the parade. Dashi platforms, the main attraction. They'll fly this way, high above street level. Along the parade route, balconies, footbridges, and vantage points affording good views. Hanako Arasaka, a guest of honor, will deliver her speech from the largest float. She'll do this exactly here. Got no idea about security, but given recent events, expect it to be tight. Our last parade? Arasaka undercovers infiltrated the crowd. Not to mention a smattering of sharpshooters, drones. And if that's not enough fun for one day, a net runner, one at least. They use the city CCTV to observe everything. Main access point, here. It's an old automated control center. If you ask me, most useful by far. Hmm. At the end, the floats will float out of Japantown and we'll be left with trash up to our elbows that no one will collect. That's it. It's all I have. It must be enough. We'll be up to then our go. elbows and jugglers. Thanks, Wakako. Thank you. I'll just think about Hot Fuzz. We appreciate this. Great movie. Okay, you know what the weird thing is? Uh, Takamura, I'll talk to you about this after. Um, the thing is, Takamura, is... I, I, Shaun of the Dead, seen it a million times, okay? Love it, love it, great film. Hot you Fuzz, seen it a million good. times. Love it, great film. Um, the World's End, I saw it once. Didn't even feel like a going... Delightful, mature woman. Yeah, just haven't rewatched really watched it. it uh, could be haven't felt the impulse to, need. at all. But I will try to investigate further. I will stay here sometime and call some associates. Mm -hmm. The moment I learn something new, I will let you know. Okay. Stay safe, Goro. You as well. Until next time. Okay, so we're gonna do a parade. That'd be cool. We're gonna like hack into a parade. That'd be very fun. Hello. I'm I'm fine. Okay. Pretty pretty cool. So I think that that is where we're actually going to leave it today, because we have now hit seven hours of streaming. Um, so I'm actually going to figure out who we're going to raid right now, but I would like to thank you all for joining me on this stream, especially those of you who somehow managed to join me for the entire stream, which I'm sure is a few of you. Uh, we're going to be doing the parade thing probably uh, next stream, which will be tomorrow. That's right, we've got a Cyberpunk Sunday Spectacular. So chat, 